Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 29th of April, 2022. Sure. Um, trying to get through the rest of my tunes. Um, look, it was great. There were so many chats. This was a very, very, very chatty stream. Uh, if you'd like to catch us live and join in for those chats, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma, and you can add a forward slash schedule to that URL to get my schedule converted to your time zone. Very convenient. And if you'd like to catch me... Uh, offline but like it's online but not live social media all those links are down in the description box trying to work on that instagram following so if you wouldn't mind i would love a follow it's free and it actually helps until then enjoy the vod and i hope that i'll see you in chat next time yes the gift badge has changed and it is pissing me off i don't like change vote on the poll vote on the poll vote on the poll vote on the poll everything Hi! It's me. Who else would it be? Hi. Um, vote right on the poll. It's only up for a minute. Uh, it's versus beta weekend. Uh, it's up for another 11 hours and a bit, I think. Uh, and I want to know whether you want to do versus battles, which I uh, have a five minute placement period, much quicker. Uh, but because we're doing something passive, we're doing shark farming again today, it's uh, something that we can do kind of today, it doesn't distract too much from the game. Um, or we can keep working through the campaign, uh, which is elemental at the moment. So your call, do the vote. Uh, you've not got long to do it. Um, what are we doing? What's our answer? Campaign, all right, we'll do that. Um, and we can check again in a little while and see if people, more people who filtered in whose minds have changed. Um, it's, I have to say, it's a really cool feeling. Like, having the ability to have a 75% vote. I remember when I first started using polls, I'd get like three or four people responding. And now like 75% is six, which meant we had like, you know, 10 people, 10? No. Nine. Nine people. No, fuck. I'm bad at math today. Yeah, it, it's it's like eight people, right? That's eight. Good. Yeah. Like, it's good. Numbers going up. And especially right at the start of stream when I haven't even, like, said hello yet. That's pretty awesome. Uh, where's my war beast? I'll be my last war beast. And I can turn in my quest. I like completing things. Who to thunk it? How are you? What's up? What's happening? What is going on in the world of chat? All of the things. All of the quests. Oh, did my story go up? It did. Brilliant. People have already seen it. Good. Um. Mount. Face. Thing. Um, so, it's an interesting one today. Uh, it is mostly black. Most of that colour is black. Uh, I have, like, a red, a darker red in the middle of my eyelid. Uh, and then in the inside in here, you can kind of see it on this eye. It's actually, like, a pale green, but it's super, super shimmery. So, as per usual, the camera doesn't want to show you the correct colour. Um, but this lipstick is my new mellow one. This is the chocolate. Chocolate lipstick. Of course, it doesn't stick to the wet the wet bit. Nothing of it does. Um, so it looks a little bit strange on me sometimes, but it is it is the shade chocolate, and I like it a lot. It's really comfortable. Really comfy. I've only just put it on, like, half an hour ago, so I don't know, like, longevity and things yet. But it was really easy to apply... Um, great pigmentation. It wasn't like I didn't have to put seven layers on to get it to be opaque, which can happen with some dark lipsticks. Uh, it just doesn't want to, like, be when I'm a pale person. Yeah. Uh, but no, this one's really good. Uh, recommend. And I think it is still on sale as well. Like, uh, it's pretty, pretty darn cheap. So if you're a fan of dark lipsticks, it's not black. It's not black lipstick, it's brown, like it's a really dark brown and sometimes they aren't as harsh. Like if you put a black lipstick on it can look quite like it can wash you out and stuff like that. But because this has a touch of warmth to it, 
a hair somewhere around my mouth and I can't. It's fine. Um, because it's not black, because there is some warmth to it, it won't wash you out as much. Uh, so, there you go. There you go. No! <sighs> it's not like I have 28 characters to get through today or anything. God damn. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Whew. Okie dokie. Uh, Qualitron was asleep because I restarted my PC. Um, I'm still having that issue when after I've re like after I've uploaded a VOD to YouTube, the 130 gigabyte file on my hard drive won't delete. Uh, it just won't delete, and I have to do a check disk and restart the PC to run the check disk in order to be able to delete it because I don't know what's going on. It's just getting corrupted way too easy. Um, so I'm pretty much every time an upload a YouTube upload finishes, I have to restart my PC. Uh, and today, I forgot to restart Qualitron after the PC had restarted, so that's my bad. My apologies. Sunwell. Yuri with the resub! Thank you so much for your support and generosity. Amazing. Thank you. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Uh, here we go. Seeker with first, Zam with firsty. We know it was really Zam as we hit it at the same time. E yes, before Qualitron rebooted, it was actually Zem who was first, but that's fine. Uh, how's everyone's day been so far? Uh, productive. Uh, I did have a productive day today. I'm still behind. I'm never going to be on top of anything, which is is actually becoming an actual problem. Um, but I'm going to teach Jas how to do some admin stuff um, because I, I need help. It's gotten to the point that I need help. Um, which is a good thing, because it means growth, uh, but it also is bad, because it means, damn it, like, I, yeah, so it's, it's fine. Um, so, oopsie. Uh, shoo, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I did do a lot of stuff today, but I'm still behind. I'm still about... I mean, the VODs are going to be behind for another two months. Like, there's, I'm, because I can upload, like, I, every night after stream, I set one to render and one to upload, right? And I only stream every two days, not every day. So out of my, like, out of a seven day week, I stream four days, which means that I can catch up by three streams a week. But the next thing I have to upload is the 14th of March, so I'm more than a month behind. So it's going to take me like two months to catch up. Um, but that's okay. Look, I'm I'm doing I'm doing what I can. And hey, at least it means I'm not breaking my exclusivity agreement with Twitch. Uh, <laughs> um, that's good. We don't want fear to get banned. That would be a bad idea. Um, but yeah. So apart from that, I am about a week. To a week and a half behind on everything else. The the VODs, I'm actually up to date on what I wanted to do, like what I, I've gone through and done okay if I'm going to render this on this date and this on this date and this on this date, etc, etc. Um, and in terms of that, I'm only a day behind. I'm a day behind on, on VODs as to where they were and where they're supposed to be currently. Um, but I'm about a week and a half behind on everything else. So I did a lot of work today, but I'm, I'm still about a week and a half behind. So that's fun. Um, knowing that it's practically actually impossible for me to catch up is not a nice feeling, but that's why I'm gonna get her just to help because then I can't clone myself, um, but I can effectively clone my abilities into somebody else through a method called teaching. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So if anyone's really interested on what goes on behind the scenes, I mean, I could prompt teacher um, if, you, if you're willing to help me out, but we'll see where we go. Because a lot of stuff requires logins, which I'm not really willing to share, but um, Jas can do stuff that doesn't require logins. Anyway, um, um, free, for is, free for all is open. It is. Do the thing. I wonder who won. Second, yay! Second dupe, and hello, do first with surf. I said, how did I miss you? Good lord. Hello. Um, it's a little horror of day at work. I'm home with squeeze and happy little chat. Oh yay! Everything is coming up, Millhouse. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, chaos. How's everyone's Friday going? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone free for all. Yep. 
Um, what did we get to? Dano, well done. Congratulations. Yes, the gift badge has changed and it's, I'm very not happy. Um, mostly because there's no way that I can actually recreate that new badge as a cross-stitched thing on my substitches that I am still actually working on. Um, just, I don't, I'm having trouble finding time to work on them, funnily enough. Um, I'm a couple of months behind on that. Uh, yeah, not chat bubbles. Awesome. Very relieved to be home now. Yay. Love the makeup. Thank you, Chaos. I'm pretty happy with it too. Oh, captions. God damn. There we go. Captions on. Good. Um, I was going to find those differences in colors quite a lot. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. Good evening, Dunno. So working won't be too chatty just yet. That's totally okay. It is not midnight. It is not midnight. Uh, oh, I have it. And it's, I believe, it's a ground mount. It is a ground mount. Ooh, sure. I'm at works virtual pub. Vicious War Scorpion. No. Oop. Yeah, look. Hit it when that happens. Yeah. It is a thing. Well done on last, Yori. It's really going good. Curse on the moderation. Yay. Indeed. Hey chat, did you know Fear hit 1,000 followers on Instagram? Let's get it at 3,000. Follow Fear on Insta today. Then follow, on, follow her on your dog's account. Yeah, look, it's a bit that way, isn't it? Pants. Oh, I already had those. That's okay. I already had that appearance. But that's fine. Uh, hello, Zalk. Uh, are you suggesting Illidan should have his own account? Yes. Always. Just a entire feed of puppy photos. This is what I'm hearing. Two. A couple days since I catch the beginning of the stream. That's all right. Not a worry at all. Look, it happens. Days are, days are a bit that way. Hi, lovely viewers. Want to support Fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Fear's just recently hit 1k, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all her profiles here. Thanks for getting involved. Yes. Losing money, finding my spear. When you hit that, that's funny. That's really funny. I. That's still, that's so awesome. Let's have a look. I, I don't think I've checked. My, I've got an app that tracks like follows and unfollows. Um, oh, it mustn't have. It's okay, I'm, did I check? I must have checked it at some point recently. But yeah, we did hit a hunt. We did hit a thousand and four, um, and then now we're at a thousand and two. But it happens. I told you it had happened. If it doesn't dip below a thousand again, I will be very surprised. Because it's just how it works. You know, you gain followers, you lose followers. It's just, it happens. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Ugh. Alrighty. A thousand. It's, oh, it's unbelievable. It's so cool. And with it sitting at 8,939 followers on Twitch as well, getting close to that 9k. It's, oh my god, it's so amazing. You guys are just, I... <laughs> um, I've been emailing with a person of interest over the last few weeks. It's the big thing I can't tell you about. Um, but they've been asking for some of my stats lately. Uh, I think they're trying to build like a, they, they're trying to figure out who exactly they want to partner with and um, they're like comparing stats and stuff like that. I, I think, I think that's what's going on. That or they're like, we want to go with this person as long as they reach these milestones kind of thing. Like, I don't think, like they wouldn't be asking me if I wasn't being considered, right? Because it's a waste of their time as well as mine. Um, but actually going through and pulling out some of my stats has been like really interesting like really really interesting um let me let me grab the one that i gave them most recently i i found fascinating i thought you guys might too i just need to pull it up because i can't remember exactly what the number was um how do i already have new spam emails i checked you like two hours ago my lord Right, 
So, we, we, like, my streams are six hours, right? And I average between 30 and 40,000 minutes watched per six hour stream. So, a six hour stream is 360 minutes long, right? Six by six, six, six is 36. Yep. So, 360 minutes that I'm live for in a block. And those 360 minutes accrue 30 to 40,000 minutes watched. To calculate minutes watched, so if you have one person watch half an hour of your stream, that's 30 minutes watched. If you have 10 people watch three minutes, that's 30 minutes watch, minutes watched. If you have 30 people watch one minute, that's 30 minutes watched. So that's how that works out. 30 to 40,000 minutes watched generated from 360 minutes streamed. How mind blowing is that? I'm gonna go set my hearthstone because no doubt you lo Oh, it is already, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. It's fine, everything's fine. How cool is that? How cool is that? All in, yes. Go for it. I'm not, but you can. Here I am excited to reach 100 on Insta. Grats on the 1K. Thank you. Look, to be fair, Yuri, I've been working my bloody ass off and like pumping it and pushing it and all that kind of stuff. Like it's, it's not like, yeah, you know, you know, you've seen, you've seen. I've been experimenting with some new stuff for my stories as well. Because that was one of the things I was told is that I need to post more stories. Like one when I go live every day is not enough. I need to, because um, one of the other things, the more stuff, the more of Instagram's bits you use, the more likely you are to, like the more the algorithm likes you. So yes, there are, you know, follower numbers, but things I can control, things I can directly influence are things like, you know, posting to your feed also posting reels, also posting stories. And then there's IGTV, which is streaming to Instagram. Um, and I don't know if I'm actually allowed to do that. From my interpretation of the contract, I can, but from some other interpretations, I'm, yeah, it's a bit of a gray. I need, I need to get a lawyer to really look at that contract and tell me what I can and cannot do. Um, but, uh, yeah. So yeah, stories are the next thing for me to kind of work on. Like my reels, I'm posting a reel a day. I'm, I'm posting to my feed every day and that's great. Um, so I need to like my real stuff, I need to incorporate some videos in there. And I also need to incorporate more carousel posts. That's kind of the, the advice I was given. So like, for example, um, I was posting pictures of my food and now I'm posting pictures of me with food, like with my food, like the, with the, the dumplings place. Yeah. And that's good. That, that's a positive shift. But what I need to do is have that as the first photo, but then be able to scroll through and see all the different things I ate. Like that is the character, like that's the kind of, and then with the, um, with the mount makeup, instead of having like eyes open, eyes closed and picture of mount, it needs to be eyes open, eyes closed, picture of mount, also maybe video of me doing the makeup. <laughs> like that's kind of, yeah. So it is, it's less work in some areas, but more work in others. So I'm trying to figure out like what I'm doing. Yep. <laughs> what I'm doing. Ah, oh, Person of Interest is such a good series. Oh, yes, I remember that one. I don't think I ever finished it, but I really did enjoy it. It's that whole, like, the the algorithm has identified a person and we don't know why, but you need to go and apprehend them. Is that, was that the one? And and it was the guy in the in the computer room and he was just like, I'm, I'm doing this thing. And then the, the guy with the military experience or whatever it was would go out and like grab them and they'd end up finding them like in the middle of committing some kind of crime or being violent or something. Yeah. Yeah. I loved that shit. It was so good. Ow. What do you, what do you want from me? Oh, it's because it's the lights and my, I want to put these back on. I know, I know Noble Garden is gone. I know it's gone, but I like my lights. They're pretty. I'm going to take them down probably tonight. <laughs> um, 
What if I just read for 10 times what Seeker put in instead? I mean, your call. Your call. Um, what if we watch it on two devices? I don't know. If it's two different accounts, probably counts as, as double the minutes. Um, if it's not signed in on one, it might not count. It might have to be from accounts. Like actual like logged in account. I'm I'm not too sure. But if you if it's two separate accounts, yeah, absolutely, definitely. Because you know, you could have a PC and someone else could have a phone. Like of course it's gonna count as as two people kind of thing. You thank me later. <laughs> well done, everyone. It's tempted to go all in, but wow. That sounds amazing, Hufi. What about an Instagram live vid? Yeah, the IGTV. Um, the IGTV. Put your VODs on Insta. Can't do that. Can't do that. Way too long. It wouldn't be not mm 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 mm. I love the Instagram reel. I realize that's where I go first. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Are you happy with just clips? Or would you want something else in your reels? What kind of reels do you watch? That was the one. Yeah, and they were a victim or the bad guy. Yeah. Wonder I can stream that. I've been watching Ghost Whisper lately. And then you're like, you're thinking they're a victim and you're helping them and all of a sudden it's like fraud. And yeah, it's, yep. Yeah. Yeah, equivalent of having Christmas tree up in January. It's fine. My Christmas tree comes down on the 3rd of January. Uh, let me install my biddies again. I wanted yellow. What the fuck is it doing? I... Hmm. Okay, so I've been ignoring an update in Lumia for about three weeks now, and turns out one of the fixes is what you're describing. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> hmm. So Lumia may not work for a brief period because I'm gonna update it because it obviously needs to be updated. Um, where do I find the update? Update available. I can see there's an update available, but how do I update you? Help? No, but none of that is release notes. Ah, no, wait. No, that didn't work. Just update now. Update now. It might just not recognize bits and bobs. Um, you wanted yellow. Which of the reels are TikTok repost to be fair? I don't do TikTok so the reels are entertaining. Expose me to a lot more content. Fair, fair. Good luck with Shabba listening intently. Thank you, Dunno. Enjoy your lurk. We'll see you soon. Updating 100%. Update downloaded. Install now. Noises? Oh, closing Lumia. Noises, me, not you, me, not you. It was me. Installing. It's still pink at least, enjoy it when your clips pop up my TikTok for you page. Good. I'm pleased with this. I am very frustrated that they took away the trending page because I was considering doing an extra TikTok each day where I kind of like, you know, do one of those silly things where they have the rotating thing above your head or something like that. But they took all that, how do I find what is the popular thing that day now? Where is it gone? Help me, those of you who use TikTok, where do I find it? Where is the bit that tells me what content to create? <laughs> Help me. Hello, Josh, how are you? Welcome back. Run Lumia stream. He just finished updating. So do you do TikTok? If so, maybe repost from TikTok to the reels. So I grab my clips and I convert them to vertical and I put them on my reels and put captions and everything. And then I save that to my, my phone and then I post that to TikTok. That's it. <laughs> That's it. If I did make fun, silly TikToky bits, I would absolutely convert them. Like I'd definitely copy them over to my reels as well. But 
Because that way it's cross-promoting both ways. Because when you copy it from Instagram and then paste it on Reels, it has like Instagram Fiamma.29 down the bottom. So if I took it from TikTok to, it, it does the same thing. So people would be able to find me on both. Um, so you're saying you're doing silly TikTok. But no, I want to do silly TikTok, but it's because I feel like it's fun and more people will like me. Um, follow me. Also like me generally. Like they might check out my content if it's fun and, and stuff. Um, but I don't know how to find the trending stuff now because they took away the trending tab because they're sillies. Is there another update? Settings, advanced, no. Nope. It looks, oh, general, check for updates. Update is not available. Hey! Fantastic, right, now. I did the thing. There we go. Hopefully that works now, sheeps. <laughs> oh, everything is awesome. <clears throat> um, so, do you do Be on TikTok for sure. The Discover page. I shall be happy to get. Hello, Landa. Discover page. Don't make noise. Stop making noise. Okay. I do not want to invite a friend to join TikTok. I don't know how I would spend your $30 of rewards. Please go away. Discover. Food TikTok. A sponsored one. Mecca made me love it. Oh, wait. People are voting in the Mecca election things. Uh, digital art trending hashtag. Rom-com trending hashtag. Tips and tricks. Trending hashtag. None of these are like the, the cute filtery bits. These are all hashtags. And none of these apply to me. Really, I don't think. Um. If I, this annoying thing in the middle point phone at outdoor environment. No. The windows are closed. Um, although it seems to think my stream deck is a building, which is nice. Um, oh, and, and yep, my screen is also a building. It has a thing hanging off the side. This is bad. Go, go away. Go away. Go. Thank you. Effects. Okay, effects that are trending. Um... So there's like, these are, these are just filters though. They're not like, how old you look. Absolutely not. Piss off TikTok. Absolutely not. Um, uh, no, that's just, yeah, mm -mm. None of these are like, these are just, these are the artsy Snapchat filter things, you know? Like, not the... Hi, the sun well. Chibi! Thank you for the re- I think that's a resub, isn't it? Yes, the resub! Much appreciated! Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for the, the support and the generosity. So you're doing silly TikTok bits? No, but I would like to. I think how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, totally fine, Seeker. Totally okay. Um, when I've seen it, Instagram it mostly goes the other way. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because TikTok has more fun stuff and Instagram's just trying to catch up. But for me, I like the caption format on Instagram. Better than TikTok. Like TikTok, it's like one font and you can stick it here or here. I like being able to move it around on, on Insta. Um, so I use that and then send that to, to TikTok. Um, 
Uh, I think the TikTokers people threw literally whatever trending hashtag in their captions, even if it has nothing at all to do with the vid. So that's what I should be doing. That feels bad though. And do I put like all of them or does it like, do people actually read the captions on TikTok? I feel like they don't. I don't know what it is. Can you search for WoW filters or WoW? There's a search button. If I type in WoW, it's absolutely not going to have World of Warcraft. WoW, these eyeliners. Yeah, no. Nah. Uh, Warcraft. No results found. Try these trending effects. I don't want effects. I want... Um... Like... Silly things. Green screen. Funny? No. Accessories. Interactive. Ma Walking maybe. Down. You should know, like, which Sailor Moon character are you? And all that kind of stupid bullshit. I'm gonna have to record it from fucking Snapchat and drop it into TikTok. That's a bad idea. Uh, hope you're doing well. Very well, thank you. Go, home we go. Oh, the makeup job tonight, thank you. People should make more messes, for, uh, more guesses for the mount makeup, indeed. They have been back, yeah, it's um, it's curled, um, but it got a little bit, like I was gonna brush out the curls and make it sort of wavy, but it's to the point, like, cause I slept on it and it's got some hairspray in it. It's um, very curly, but also a bit me of a mess. My hair mats really, really easily. Um, so if I brush it out, it'd kind of go boomf. Uh, so I decided not to. Uh, instead I just whacked it up in a ponytail. So, <laughs> I do kind of feel like sometimes it makes me look like I don't have any hair. Um, which, I, d I actually get more views when I have my hair down. I, my, my average viewers is higher when I have my hair down. It's funny, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, this, um... None of these are what I was thinking of, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. Um, sounds bad algorithm wise. Yeah. Pretty much throw whatever at it as far as I can tell. My few pages are always full of vids using random hashtags. This joke videos will pop up on my new page where it's literally I'm saying no hashtags. If this finds you, you're the chosen one. Which member of the Burning Legion are you? Oh dear, I thought fear would miss out. No. Come on. Come on. Have faith. Axeful. I need to... Um, good afternoon, drama. How are you going? Welcome back. Wow, really? What are you... I'm not sure what that's in response to, sorry, Chibi. Are you angry with me? I'm not, I'm confused. I uh, sometimes get random Twitch clips from my few page. I can let you know what kind of hashtags they use. Yeah, that'd be really awesome, actually. Like, honestly. Um, because I do, I have got a couple of people who I know that I follow. Uh, Silver, Zam, Faye, Demon, Gooses. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, uh, head down comment. Oh, that makes sense. Cool. I was. I thought. I thought you were kind of being like, "Wow, really? Like, what the hell are you doing? You you know that kind of yeah, the snarky bullshit. Yep. No, but yeah, absolutely. I get more views when my hair is down than when my hair is up, because people click on pictures of people that they consider to be attractive. And apparently, I am more attractive with my hair down. So that's fun. I want to place a centurion. Yep. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's nice to change it up. Also, sometimes my hair is crap, so it's fine. <laughs> um, 30 minutes to knock off. Fantastic. Goes ahead and yes. Uh, ship kids off to Nana's. Enjoy, Seeker. Have fun. Makes sense. Pretty hair equals more views. Yep. Yep. It's, yeah, look, human behavior is what it is. It's not really something that Twitch can alter. Um... But, yeah. And I'm sure there'll be other people who have long hair 
who have the opposite kind of thing. It's like, I, I'm sure that everyone is different, but for me, my personal results, hair down equals more views. Um, so it's why I do try to have my hair down as often as possible, or at least like my fringe out, but my hair is entirely too greasy today. It's really, really greasy and um, I didn't have time to wash it today, so I'll be washing it tonight. Well, Queen doesn't have hair, just saying. I need to get some braids done. Get the get the lumpy thing right. Uh, some mount makeup for the day. It has not yet been guessed. You are welcome to try. Uh, there is black, there is red, and there is pale green. Uh, and I own it, and it's a ground mount. You are welcome to do a guess. But yeah, for anyone who missed it in, in the announcements channel in Discord, um, Panquan, I, I reached out and gave them the reporting that I needed to per my contract. And um, they let me know that on the, the it wasn't twin in it wasn't a 24 hour period because obviously time zones and stuff exist but for the 27th for that event particularly uh they raised over 30 grand that's us as well um so that's super enormously huge and amazing super enormously huge amazing and uh yeah really really awesome and like two percent of that came from us i think i think that was the math i did 550 ooh. I hope on. 550 out of 30k. Yeah, 1.8%. And given that they had, like, a bunch of stream, I think they had 29... Uh... How many did they end up... I know they applied for front page for a bunch of people. Um... 23. They applied for 23 people to be on front page. Um, I was one of those and was successful. However, it was for the wrong time period. The conversion was done wrong. And so Twitch gave me front page for the wrong time. Not like, you know, it's not anyone's fault. It's, I mean, it's probably Twitch's fault, but it's fine. Um, and so obviously some of those people who did get front page would have had more viewers and therefore more people who are able to donate. Like it, it just, it makes sense. Like if you're on there, then you're going to have uh, a, so the given that we weren't, and we were one of very few creators who weren't on the front page for the whole thing. Um, we did incredibly well, like really, really well. Uh, headless horseman mount. Nope. Ah, uh, grats on that. Yeah, they, like, so not, not just me. Like, we, we raised 550, which is freaking awesome. But yeah, the event as a whole, over 30k, and that's amazing. Super great news. Uh, Headless Horseman Horse does fly, yes. Crimson Slaver more. Nope. The skies grow dark, the flames burn bright, none shall escape the horseman's sight. So I was going through, because I did my calendar for May today, which you would have seen pop up in the Discord, um... Which I now just realized I need to update in here as well. Um, you may... Uh, because I was doing May's stuff and, and we have, like, uh, goals for May. That, you know, channel point goals, as, as you guys have been enjoying. So I, I popped in some more of those. Uh, but I had to make sure that I could actually fit stuff in for June. Excuse me. So I started, like, I drew up my calendar for June on my mirror slash whiteboard. And... Uh, <laughs> and we've wrapped back around to midsummer, which is just so trippy. Like I, I, so, like I remember the hype that we had around going and doing the bonfire loop to to buy all the rest of the stuff and all that kind of stuff. And like, I don't need to this year unless they unless they update it and introduce more stuff. I I don't need it, which is an interesting feeling. Um. Also, June is my part anniversary. It has been just over 10 months since I made partner. What? What? 
Mm-hmm. Like, that's... That's interesting. That's interesting. Um... Great Red Dragon Turtle! No. Hey, Assass. I hope you're having a lovely day as well. If you one-year partnership, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a celebration stream. Um, we're gonna have a, a an elongated stream, I reckon, like a bonus stream. Um, but I am yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what we're gonna do just yet, just yet. But um, it will be. It lands during midsummer. It lands during midsummer. Um, and I do have one last item that I actually need from Midsummer, and it's Ahun's Staff. So I'm gonna have to- it's not all 50 tunes because it's a staff, and it's a- it's a transmog. Um, so not- not every class can have it drop and then use it. But I'm gonna have to- it's most of my classes can- can use it, so I'm gonna have to run them through the dungeon every day to try to get that. But we'll see. It's not quite the same level as the as the Heartbreaker Farm. Celebrate good time, right? So the answer to that fear is leveling. Yeah, but here's the thing: we have a leveling stream goal. What if it doesn't get met? I can't just go give you leveling on another day, even if the goal doesn't get. That doesn't that doesn't work. It's not how that works. Hopefully, I'll be around for it. I hope so. I hope so. Started playing again on Wednesday evening after not playing for four months. Didn't even know there was a new zone. Played around it yesterday. Wonderful build. I hope you enjoyed Zareth Mortis. Good luck. Hope you get that. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so too. It'll be the last. It's the last item I need for um, Midsummer. So um, at least I think it is. Was I on account only mode or? Ooh. Actually, maybe not. Give me a second. Let's have a squiz. Uh, it's a holiday. Right, so alliance achievement. <gasps> hey guys, guess what? We're doing bonfires. That ability to reach an ember goal. What if I pop it up? What if I make it harder to achieve? I'm gonna have to. You guys keep knocking them out way too easily. I have to bump it up. So far it's been fun. Good! I'm glad to hear that build. Wonderful news. I have to do bonfires on Alliance. Not many. It's just Broken Eyes, Kulteris, and Zandalar. But I didn't know I didn't have those. And then yeah, the, the Frost Scythe. So maybe we do that on um Maybe we do that on the the Partniversary stream, the celebration. Like I can start with the runs and then do the bonfires and then we'll see. And then we'll see. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this annoys me. Like I have matron, but I, I can't get patron. So it doesn't count it as complete. Let me confer with my so sources. silly. No. Mount now. I, I really hope so. That would be lovely. I would appreciate it greatly. Mount Ink. See, either like it makes it happen or you've jinxed it. You've jinxed it. Look what you did. Look what you did. Oh, I've got to get the claw. May as well get the claw. You jinxed it. Hello, dragons. Yes, welcome to chat. Welcome on in. <sighs> hey, Ashai. How you doing? Welcome back. Good to see you. See you jinxed it? Yeah, probs. Mod powers. Screw me over. Yeah. 
flaming seeker for jinx yep okay okay sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i know right i know it's one of the what is it like 70 percent of the time it works every time i don't i don't remember the exact quote i'm very sorry i probably butchered it <laughs> i'm a giant jinx well thanks how are you good to see you too yeah i'm i'm doing all right doing all right i had a productive day today so i'm pleased with that using mod powers to force you into giving us more content To be clear, everyone here is aware that if the Shah Mount drops, I start working on Undasta, right? Y'all know that, yes? You are aware? Because I don't have that one either. <laughs> uh, which mount is that? Oh, the one that I'm riding at the moment. Give me a second. Let me double check. Ironbound Proto Drake. Oh, is that one of the ones you can't get anymore? I'm going to feel horrible if it is. Ah, Glory of the Ulduar Raider. So it is, it should still be available. It should still be available. Uh, Ulduar was Lich King. Why is it so high up on the list? That's silly. It wasn't that long ago. Shut up. Um, but no, it'll be... Ulduar. This one. Yeah. So it had the Rusted for like 10 men and the Ironbound for 25 or something like that. But because they've merged the difficulties for um, time walking, you now get both of them from the one achievement. So it's, it's the meta. And that, I believe that one is entirely solvable now. I believe that one is entirely solvable, but I don't, it's been a while. So I don't quite remember. <laughs> yes, more shark content. Y'all love it. Yeah, it comes out when I'm like, excuse me. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. I do remember you saying when we had our first big shot stream. Yeah, exactly. Like, I do still- I don't have any of the world boss mounts from Mists. There are four of them. They are all meanies. They're all 1 in 20k. So we've got, um, like, there's Undasta, 1 in 2k. Sorry, 2k, not 20. Shar is 1 in 2k. Nalak is 1 in 2k. And Galleon is 1 in 2k. I am- once Shar has- is got, I will be switching to Undasta. And once Undasta is got, I will be switching to- to Nalak. And once Nalak is gone, I will be switching to Galleon. Like, you are not gonna have any shortage of fear, mind-numbingly farms mounts. It's we're not gonna run out of it for years. Like it's a thing. <sighs> we think you'll just turn off the stream, stop playing WoW forever. Yep, yep. Game complete. Finished. Done. It's over. Running all the way right now. Hey, there you go. I see, thank you. You're very welcome. No worries. I was just like, shit. I know some of the Lich King achievement mounts are gone. So I was like, ooh, hang on. I wasn't too sure. Yeah, that's good. Black Hawk Strider. Nope. Let it go back with Shah. Thank you, Rel. Looking to buy? We'll see you later. The Russian accent comes out on bonus shit. Yep. Yep, exactly. Fear. Look at the door. Hair Poodle Fire. Prud Poodle Fire? Go, yeah, have fun. It's noisy, especially when you're holding it right next to your ears. It's noisy. Just be aware, it will scare the shit out of you the first couple times, but it's not like dangerous. Like it doesn't hurt or anything. So just, yeah, don't be frightened. Don't have any mist mounts. I have a lot. I just don't have these ones. I'm gonna go farm it now. Yes, Shy, do the thing. Let us know when you get it, yeah? Just be, the only advice I would give you is to go and have a read through of the, the stuff you need to do for each of them before you get to the bosses, in case there's something to do with like the ads and stuff. And um, Crazy Cat Lady is Oriya. She walks around the middle bit. So there have been a couple of times where I accidentally thought she was trash and just killed her because we can now, like just one shot her. So be careful because that is it. And don't like, don't use any AOE on her because um, she has to die and the cat can't. Um, but yeah, most of it should be quite easy to do these days. 
You guys should totally use code Fiyama to get a discount on a Wailera Dreamwave hair curler. I agree. Did I actually make that command yet? Of course not. Why would I do that? Wailera. Nope. Good. Let's do this. Wailera. off, isn't it? <laughs> when did you buy that as well, Seeker? What date? Like, was it this month? Make sure jealous, pick one of the Onyx Cloud Serpents, I can. Yeah. The original Zappy Boy. Um Hello Barry, welcome on in. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Just to check them. Got a new animal for my Ardenwield flicker form. Alpaca. Oh, the soul shapes! I was like, what? The soul shapes? Awesome! Well done! It's looking so pretty. Aww! Fairy, thank you! Thank you! Uh, let's see if this works. Um, 52 shaman, mostly one shutting everything. Perfect. Swift war strider. No. 23rd April. Oh, that's awesome! That was super quick! Yeah, that was really quick delivery wise. This toy salad. I cleared my sinuses. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. That's awesome. Well done. Of a hydrate, which I'm going to do now. Thank you, Jupe. Mm. Ah, dear. Crimson Water Strider. No. Nope. I'm so pissed. I set up my phone to record doing my makeup and it didn't. It didn't. I'm so pissed. Ah, angry fear. Ah, okay. Less, less angry, more frustrated fear. Camera is totally dead. What do you, what happened? What happened to your camera? Battle Gargan Vrednik. No. Yeah, it's pretty much how I feel, Sam. That's exactly it. Frustrate drink. 
froze midstream and now doesn't show up in anything. <gasps> oh no, how old is it? Seen 20, no big loss. Yeah, but like, is it still within, um, what's it? Warranty? I think the Logitech warranty is what, like two years? I'm gonna send you a free replacement. You would have to have the receipt, but um, like if you got it from a regular placey place, then you might, like if you ordered it, you'd be able to log into the account and check your order history and stuff. Convenience. Three years old. Oh, bugger. Bugger. I'm so sorry to hear that, Barry. My OG stream cam? Yeah. Money Battle Bear. Nope. And instead it's followed fear. Yay! Yay! You watch. You're gonna have so much fun just posting puppy pics. You're gonna get so many followers, maybe. It's gonna explode. And YouTuber for a while. Fair. Fair. Um... Yeah, I did have a couple, like I've got a, I think mine's a C922. I did have a C920, but it mysteriously disappeared just over a year ago. Um, so that's fine. It might, if I open up this engineering toy, Shah will spawn. That's how it works, right? Oh, no, not that one. This one. Stonehide Elahorn. Yep. That's it. What's your number, Shiva? Try and gear up my druid, least played spec ever, feral. I level all my druids in feral. All of them. Sometimes I do guardian, but like, all of my druids are feral. <laughs> this fucking saddle gets me every time. Yup! 68! Alrighty. Give me a second! King among guesses. New to come in handy? Indeed, indeed. Not as often as it used to, but like, the, the single mount I used to be focused on was Shah. But since I changed, uh, we have like a whole lot of, um... Different, uh... Different mounts that I, I wouldn't have gotten any of them if I'd focused still on Shah. Uh, okay. Shiba, where are you? Dungeons 3. Enjoy. Enjoy. That is the key that you have won. Well done.
All right. Um, I was not distracted. I was distracted making Illidan's Insta. Not fair. Oh no. Oh no. Look, there are there are drawbacks to creating accounts of adorable puppers. I guess. Um, hey there chat pals, want to support Fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Can confirm. It is ridiculous how much of an effect that kind of stuff can have. Like, there are, there are creators out there who are, like, how do I put this? Like, I don't want to come off as, like, big-headed or anything, but there are creators out there who have smaller followings than I do on Twitch have uh, fewer concurrent viewers, all that kind of stuff. But because they are smashing their social media game, they're like miles ahead of me in terms of brand deals and sponsorships and stuff like that, just because of the social media side of things. It is ridiculous. Uh, he was just recently hit 1K, which is a trigger for the algorithm in allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. But that means we need to keep it moving. We gotta keep it going. We can't just like let it, you know, I still have to, obviously I need to keep creating content for the algorithm to like me, but it needs to see increased growth as well. Like the growth has to keep going. We can't just like stop now. <laughs> um, but you can click the all my links uh, button, the all my links link, ha ha ha. It has all my social media links in there, as well as any uh, affiliate programs that I have. And I don't think I have well area in there either. So good to be reminded of all this kind of stuff. Um, yes. Or you can scroll just underneath the video player and it has like the about Fiamma section. Uh, and you can follow, I think my Twitter and Instagram are directly linked and then the socials as well. And like wish list, I think as well. But yeah, Dr. Zoo was fun. Also, hi all, hello Kaz. Hello, we're not a cheap game oh, either. So Looks interesting. Well. Yeah, a good one. Hey, <gasps> Nick, thank you so much for the resub. 19 months. Oh my goodness. Far out. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. So kind of you. Hey, a lich. Been commenting. Fantastic. Love that. Much appreciated. You know what else is free and able to support for easily? Host this queen. Hell yeah. Post me on your own channels, even if you're not a streamer yourself. It does get those, it does get the things happening. Just a pity that Twitch broke hosts, so. Eh? The API is just, is just, it's having a time. The API needs a weekend away. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Hi, the ah! sun well. Tussie, thank you so much to you too for your resub. That is a resub, is it? Yes, it is good. Four months. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Thank you for your ongoing support and generosity. I appreciate it so much. So much. Uh, announcements don't come through in the mobile app unless I have them turned off. Uh, that's odd. It should just come through as a normal chat message just with some fancy stuff on it. That's really odd. Um, definitely report that. Like through the app if you report that, like report a problem to Twitch. Uh, I would also love to point out that we have three and a half minutes left to trigger a hype train if that's something that people want to do. If you've got the resub button there and you were planning on hitting it, now's a really good time because you'll unlock yourself some extra emotes. Um, I'm going to ask a lot of colour in today. I'm going to touch my head. My hair squeaks. I'm going to have a shower. Totally not going to cry because she will want to get all meaty. Oh, no. Enjoy your shower. Um, There we go. Shower cry is a good thing. 14 key healed on a 238 healer. Good job. Priest is broken. Yeah, look. Do people usually notice that it is chicken backwards? I had to be told. I had to be told that um that next name was, was chicken backwards. Hmm. If you want, I can show you how to have an alert for one user host. You do need to have a third party app. No, I'm not talking about one user host. Uh, I had a host the other day for like 70 or 80 viewers and nothing happened. The, the lights went off. There was no message in chat. There was no alert, nothing. It's the Twitch API that's broken for hosts specifically. I don't know, I'm, I don't know how the lights are managing to get the alert because it doesn't even say such and such as hosted you in chat anymore. But 
if people come in and say, oh, I hosted you, I don't know if it worked properly, I just let them know. Yeah, hosts are kind of broken at the moment, definitely recommend raiding instead. Where's the reporter problem in the app? Not sure. Sometimes it's the, the dots on the video player, sometimes it's up in a corner somewhere. Um, but it should it should be there somewhere, I'm not too sure. Um, I also don't know which, uh, uh, what's it you're using. Why is that saying it's in the red minutes? Uh, we just killed Shah. Did World Boss Time miss it? Interesting. Uh, okay. Meaty, Silver, Zalk, Fade, Zem, Turbo, Demon, Neke, and Seeker. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Um... Is Essie in need of a reauthy? No, I use Streamlabs. And I've reauthorized it a bunch of times lately for a few different bits and pieces. I was having some unrelated issues with the chatbot. Um, but no, this has been something that's been going on for months and months, and it's not just me. It's like a lot of people across Twitter, in, in uh, both the Discords as well. Um, people have been talking about uh, how they haven't been working for ages. So I'm gonna guess it ain't just me, but that's okay. Uh, found it. Report for Yama. Yeah, don't, don't, don't report me. Report playback issue. Have a look at that. Okay, perfect. Mm, yeah, it's it's a bit of a thinker, isn't it, Barry? But yeah, I just, I mean, I always use raids, so I never have an issue with that. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a sticky one. Uh, let's head towards that skin. Oh my god! Traz! With the gifted subs! So generous of you! Thank you! Oh my goodness, congratulations to the five of you who got caught in that sub bomb! Well done! Nice score! It's the tank, isn't it? It is. Hi, the sun well! Amazing. Thank you so much, Traz. And here we are in a hype train, level 3 already. 5% into level 3. Well. No way. Oh my god, it's a choo-choo! It is! It's a choo-choo! Oh, it's because this tune's on war mode, that's why. By the sun well. You are in for a treat. This is going to be interesting. I imagine that there are going to be, like, no people here because no one wants to die and not get their tag, but we'll see. Yeah, especially considering I'm level 50. No bueno. If you tag a world boss but then you die, do you still get the loot? By the sun well. Jas with the tier three resub. Chibi with the 5k biddies. Holy cow. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Thank you both. Thank you Jas for 57 months of subscription. And Chibi, thank you so much for the biddies. Holy crap. Oh my God. Uh, how long have hosts not been working? They they work, as in, like, when you slash host somebody, their channel is featured on your channel and it says is hosting, blah, 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 but the alerts don't work. So I, as a streamer, if somebody hosts me, I don't get a message saying, Barry has hosted you for 11 billion viewers. Um, you don't get, if, if it's a, you don't get the, the alert like you do with raids. The only thing that seems to be, like, the lights still do the, the green, purple, black thing, like the, the you are not prepared but nothing else works. So the API, it's still sending the fact that it's happening, but it's not displaying anything about it. Everything, it's all it's all broken. Uh, and it's been months, like literally months and months. Um, yeah. Oh my God, 107% level five hype train. Absolutely bonkers. Amazing, you do? Fantastic. Thank you, Nick. I'm just gonna hang back here because uh, I don't, I don't want to die. 
I want to get a I want to get a tag. Okay, I can see those little ones, so hopefully um that will mean I'll see the things when they go off. Um Wow indeed. I wonder if anyone has a longer sub here than their actual wow sub. I mean there'd be a couple of people. I know for a fact that I have encouraged a handful of people to I've influenced a handful of people to actually start playing World of Warcraft. Um I've also influenced people to resub when they haven't been playing for a while, but I don't have actual figures because there's no like referral code or anything like that. Um Uh my email notified me that it expired on a reoccurring sub. Oh, so you've lost your you've lost your chain? No, so um you haven't I don't you haven't lost your so you've got a full 30 days to if you've got like a, a recurring sub and you're trying to keep that consecutive streak going, you've got a full 30 days to keep it going. So it's it doesn't drop immediately. Um and if it had dropped, it would have said they've subscribed for 57 months and then have like a one month concurrent streak currently. Like it'd have a, a separate thing. So don't worry about that. You haven't lost your streak. Me probably. We sub through mod view like what? Oh dear. Like February 28 months. No idea. Maybe? Maybe. Uh, I think it was longer than that, though. I think it might have been longer than that. Wait, does that mean we won't get an alert each month on a recurrent? What does that... What do you mean? An alert each month on a recurrent? I do six monthly. I can drop the notice, which adds to a hype train. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just, you just get a button that you can push. But you won't get an email to say, because it's not being charged again. You get charged as a lump sum. I'm pretty sure. So you won't get an email about it. It'll just... I don't, I'm not sure. The old V5 API was shut down. Uh, look, it's possible, but I'm pretty sure it's been happening since before Feb. Uh, let me see if I can find people bitching about it in the Discord. Level 4 hype oh, training mode for fear. Storm. Amazing. Uh, September last year, I see a mention of it, but um, not, and that, I'm guessing it's not going to be the first one. Anything that's ranged through glaive. Because they are all. Oh no, there's a orc shaman over there. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here before any of them try to kill me. Cool. Good. Um. Uh, hey, Aspart, doing well? How are you? Hope you're having a lovely day. Alrighty. Uh, open that. Hop on out and go to the next one. Yeah, it looks like it's been going on for like a while, while. Mm. 
He's just waking up. Wonderful. Da, da, da. Ah, cool. Hey, y you guys uh, have clickable names in chat, yeah? I know that you don't see as much detail as I do, for example, but you can click each other's names in chat, yes? Do you have a follow button when you do so? Because Twitch is uh, phasing out the whole, like, you know how you can add a friend on um, on Twitch? Completely useless feature. Yep. Um, <laughs> the last vestige of Twitch trying to be a social media platform. Uh, and they're removing it. They're getting rid of it. Um, there's been an alert on some people's dashboards. I haven't gotten the alert personally, but some people have received an alert on their dashboards that um, the friends feature is being removed uh, towards the end of May. Um, and when you clicked on someone, it used to have a friend button, like add to friends or whatever, send friend request. And now it says follow. Um, so that's really funky. So when people raid, I don't have to say like, go through and check them out. I'm like, just click their name in chat and drop them a follow. That's really awesome. Because the last thing you honestly want is people who are already watching you to leave your channel to go follow somebody else. It's, you know, so that's really cool. I like it. Uh, no follow button on mobile. Okay, interesting. Yeah, mobile is often rather different. <laughs> rather different. What happens to the friends I've already added? Ah, uh, they go and disappeared. They're just removing the whole feature. So there will not be a friends list. You will have no connection to them. There's no, like, it's just a little box down the side that you can click and then it brings up a website that has your list of friends. So those are gone. They will be both removed. Both the list and the little bit in the sidebar. Um, uh, follow, whisper, and gift a sub. Yes, yeah. Listen, I always follow and I have a friend, correct, because they're removing the friend. They've removed the friend one. They've replaced the friend button with a follow button. Um, and yeah. Um, it was useful to see who's streaming since the alerts well don't work. Yeah, but on the sidebar, you have people you're following and then your friends. So, why, why were you using friends to see who was streaming? You should be following them, and that's how you see that they're streaming. Uh, friends, show you who your friends are watching. Yes. Yep. That was the only thing that it really did. Um, but Discord does that now anyway. If you're friends with somebody, it shows you, like... If they're streaming or if they're playing a game, I think it shows you if they're sitting in a channel. I don't remember. I can't remember. Um, I do just curious for you, how do you feel about giveaways? Uh, I do them quite frequently. Why? What's the problem? My goods are crafted with great care. Uh, I do a giveaway almost every stream, in fact. Uh, and then during big events, I do multitudes of giveaways. Uh, quite valuable. Uh, it turns out the real friends of the treasure. We lit it along the way, indeed. Yep, always. Absolutely. Oh, I think I missed this kill because I was on war mode on the other tune. Uh, targeted way to see without going down the entire list. Uh, sounds like you might need to clean up your follow list somewhat. If your list is that freaking enormous. Um... There might be better better ways to, to check in on those couple of specific people. Um does she when you're in a voice chat in Discord? Yeah, not voice chat, I'm talking about watching a stream, Shy. But I mean like it's also maybe some people don't want to share with others who they're watching, but they still want to have an avenue to kind of keep up to whatever. Um pseudo favourites to say. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Kate okay, so and hosts are sent via user notice IRC tags. Hosts specifically are only visible to the broadcaster and may may not work. 
There's no documentation for hosts, unlike raids, so I guess it's just unsupported and barely tested. Yeah, I, ha I have a feeling that they just kind of abandoned it after a bit. When they introduced raids, because there was a, like, back back when I started yeah, streaming, right. back in the day, the only way to, to share the channel was to host. And so what you had to do was you had to go and grab the URL and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it in chat and go, this is where we're going. Go jump into their chat. I will be doing a host, but you need to, you need to, if you type, because if you host, let's say I host you, Jack. Hey, new ones. Let's say I host Jack. Um, and people keep typing in chat to say hello to Jack. It comes through in my chat channel not yours because all it does is change the video player not the whole website so you're not in the correct chat channel when you do a host you've got to follow it through to be able to chat with them and so that's why that and people used to do fake raid like they used to do raids that's what we called them but it was a host and we told people to click a link to go through to this person so they could talk to them it was a whole mess and every time i did it I would every, every stream, I would sit here watching my own chat and people would be like, hey, such and such, how you going? Why are you ignoring, why are they ignoring me? Oh my God, this stream is so rude. They're not even talking to me. I'm like, fucking bitch, you did not listen to me. I said you had to go to their channel. Good Lord. Uh, and so to avoid that bullshit, um, Twitch introduced actually raiding, which takes your whole chat Chain, well, not the whole chat, that you can opt out, but chain takes the whole chat, changes the URL, and drops them into the new chat, which is a far more effective way to do what we were trying to do before because then no one gets like missed out because they don't understand what the hell is going on. Um, and I think on it, and that was years ago, so I'm pretty sure they probably just phased out, they're phasing out hosts bit by bit, not telling anybody because they're kind of like. They're not super duper like useful anymore because when you trigger a raid, it also triggers a host. So it's kind of, yeah. The only thing is I don't think that you can trigger a raid if you're currently offline. So if you're sitting there offline and you decide, yeah, I want to feature this person on my channel right now while I'm offline watching them, to try to, you know, see if if, there, if there's anybody watching my channel while I'm offline, then they'll see this person. But so few people actually visit channel pages while the streamers are offline. Very, very rarely do people actually do that. Unless there's like some kind of Gleam giveaway going on where you have to follow to, to get an entry sort of thing. Um, so I think that they just don't care because it's not super useful anymore. Mm, hey Ruby, how you doing? Welcome back. Also, hello X. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. It's fine. Oh look, X is here. Yeah, right. Uh, I was curious to have a ton of games back well, from Humble Bundle, wondering if you'd like to get a lot of them. Oh, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Uh, I will absolutely take keys that are. Uh, for, for giveaways and stuff like that that people uh, have no use for and stuff. Absolutely. Um, there have been a couple of times in the past where people have sent me a handful. Uh, and yeah, I'm always grateful for that because, I mean, it's a little bit less money that I have to spend, right? For for the giveaways, for the makeup guessing games and, and all that kind of stuff. So, for sure. Sure. I'm just going to try and get Matt, of course. Best of luck. Hope you're doing well. Lurk Ninja Hydrates. Enjoy your Lurk eggs. People listening and or reading, have you seen human beings? Look, not, not, not in person for a while. Through a camera, sure. The show, to be honest with you, I get tickets at work from actual paid professional testers about how there's bugs in my code, which if there are the documentation or intended behaviors, so this doesn't shock me. Yes, but if something is an intended behavior, but it's confusing people, does that mean that your program is not as user-friendly as it should be then? If something's specifically doing something where people go, oh, that's not what that button should be doing, then that's not a very intuitive program, no? It's like when I was testing out my Surface for the very first time, and I had the, the pen, and I'm like, there's a button on the side of this. I reckon, like, if this is designed the way I feel like it should be designed, if I press and hold that button and then tap something, it should right-click it. 
And so I did that and it right clicked because it's intuitive. I didn't read any documentation. I was just tapping and playing with it, but it made sense. And so it, that's what it did, you know? Shouldn't necessarily need documentation for much th for for stuff unless it's you know supremely technical. This is how you turn off this particular feature, sort of thing. Um, at least in in my world and what I do. Uh, I just realized why isn't there a favorites list on a site like this? Uh, the favorite list is the follow. That's the thing, Lander. They don't expect people to be following seven hundred people. It's just not really. How the site's designed, honestly. And you get your you get your list of people who are online and you have a scan and you click the one you want to watch. It's not designed for, to be following hundreds and hundreds of people. Josephine needs a leader of water. No, I've got it. I'll, I'll start with my glass. I'll go take a, a chair stream if I need to. Um, your favorite specific games, not streams. Yeah, favorite categories. Yeah. Um, stuff. Back to see people. I will. I will. First time. What's the best way to get them to you? Um, probably Discord message. Uh, my disc. My DMs are open to anyone who's in the server. Um, that would probably be the easiest way. Yay! Hack, yay! Packs. Hopefully. Uh, honestly, at this point, I don't see them canceling it. We've gotten to. We've gotten that far. Like back down in the emergency protocol thing. Um, there are far fewer tickets being able to be sold, but beyond that, I don't see it being canceled. I work with APIs and command line services. There's no UI to rate. Um, fair enough. But yeah, I mean, like if it's, if it's code, if it's like language, then language tends to only work a couple ways, right? That's just what I'm saying. Like, if it's if it's such a bug that it's like, I don't know. Anyway, regardless, uh, need better release notes. She's got feet and hands and stuff. I do. Pretty sure there's a limit on how many you can follow, like on Discord. Uh, yeah, but I, mm, I've never heard anybody talk about it, so it must be pretty big. There's definitely a limit. I think it's like 2k. Oh god. Oh my god. I mean, I'm following a few. Uh. Where's my... I did do... I've been slowly every so often, like, cleaning out some people who haven't streamed in five years or... or whatever, you know? Um... 186. And I only ever have, like, three or four people online at once. Sometimes I have maybe 10 or 12, but not often. Not often at all. But yeah, I need to do a bit more... Of a clean out, I reckon. Yeah. five discords it's stressful enough I had reports like using dash k as a switch ignores all of the switch uh, fair enough I have the time <laughs> green mustache I can do that um I have this is gonna give you a heart attack seeker uh, let me un let me open up my folders one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 33 discords. But vast majority of those I only ever click on when there's a ping and I have everything else turned off. Like I have ev e at everyone's turned off and all that kind of stuff. It's when I'm specifically pinged. Um, some of them are game developer um, ones. Some of them are like uh, other streamers, their own discords and stuff like that. Though I'm not in very many of those and I've tried to stop joining them because I just had entirely too many like 
You know, you want to support all the people, but goddamn. <sighs> goddamn. Um, yeah. And following them on socials is more support than being in their Discord. So, yeah. Work, time to lurk. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, Alright, so take that off. And sit up straight. Very bad at this. I'm um, like 100 follow channels on Twitch. I feel like I need to clear out. I don't know how people will even get to 2k. Because they go, oh, this is cool. Follow. Oh, this is cool. Follow. Oh, this is cool. Follow. And because it only shows you like 12, not even 12. How many does it actually show you on the side panel? Five. I've got five. And then I have to click show more. Uh, but that might only be because I've only got four people live. Um, and then it shows you a bunch more. And, and like, so people don't realize how many they're following until they do what you do and check out how many people they're following. You know? It's, um... Yeah. A little bit tricksy. Hmm. While I was here, I decided to scroll through my front page, uh, my front page carousel, and I'm like, that's my face. Okay, sure. <sighs> Backfill, baby. Um, anyway. Uh, the notifications stress me out. What, the little white dot on the side? Yeah, all mine have that. Eight, like, so there are one, two, three, four. There are four channels that I actively read everything every day. Like, once a day I jump in and I read everything, and then I close Discord and I'm done for the day kind of thing. Um, except for when I get a notification that I've been tagged with something, obviously, and then I jump in to make sure it's not super important. Um, but, like, none of them are... One of them is pretty active, but the other three are, are chill, like they're, they're, they're quiet. Um, and the rest of them I don't care. As long as those four have no dot, it's fine. And then I'll get a ping on one of them and I'll jump in and see what it is and, and then that'll be that. Um, I see five, only two alive, and I see five I'm not following. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the recommended bit, yep. Uh, raids are a symptom of that as well. Uh, a symptom of what? Oh, as in raid, like you hit the follow to get your name and then you bugger off and never come back, yeah. Make the window bigger, the second list grows. Okay. Yeah, the dot. Yeah, I don't even notice it anymore. You can move, if you don't have the window maximized, I have most of my windows on my second screen shrunk just a bit so that I can have that strip for chat. Because that's where chat loads up when I open OBS. So I can move it just across so it cuts off that dot. It's useful. Well, I just got permitted, no white dots, just check them when I want to. Fair enough. Yeah, there are, there are some where, like, uh, I'm in a lot of discords for bigger add-ons. Like, I'm in the ATT discord, I'm in the TSM discord, etc, etc. Because if I have an issue, I want to be able to jump in there, type in a search thing, and then find the, the solution. Um, without having to, like, find a link, and then join the discord, and da-da-da. And they're just all filed under the same folder, so I can minimize them, and they're, they're you know, can't see them. Um, I should have a bunch of them, so I can look when I want to. Yes! Uh, two 4K displays, get the increase amount of space, many small windows rather than one big window. Yeah, I don't, because I'm broke, so that's cool. Uh, my two screens get me by just fine. Um, and they are regular, standard, very old screens. Uh, I've had this one since way before streaming, and I bought this one when I was setting up to start streaming, so about six and a half years ago. Is fear broke. Yes. It was suggested to me that I should do subathons outside of special occasions. And I'm like, but then people will hate me. Because they'll think I just want money. Ah, oh, God. It's funny because, like, so much of the time I'm just like, it doesn't matter what other people think. Blah, 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 blah. blah. But then my job is literally what other people think of me. So, excuse me. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, if people don't like me, they stop following. And then everything goes to shit. It's very fun.
I would very much like to have Shah's mount. Preferably approximately now would be really nice. Really nice. Oh dear. Oh, that's my wish list. Ah, oh, thrown. Ah, oh, cool news. Um, they're one of the features that's been requested of them for like a long time. A long time. Um, is the ability to. Uh, like crowdfund a gift. So, for example, laptop, right? No one buy the laptop. Don't do that. Um, it's there to remind me of which model that I, I'm going to get. Like, I've made my decision and I'm happy with that kind of thing. Um, but they're looking at implementing an option where you can, like, contribute some dollars towards a I'm larger, grateful. more special gift. Ah, oh, Landa! Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Um, yeah, so they're, they're looking at adding in, I think obviously it's going to take them a little while to figure it out, but um, they're adding the ability to like essentially crowdfund a particular gift on your wish list. Uh, like you can sort of flag it and people can chip in towards it. But it looks like it has to be completed within 60 days or the cash will just kind of either be refunded to people, kind of like a Kickstarter, or you keep it but put it towards other stuff or you fill in whatever's left, like you pay for the rest of it kind of thing. Um, but, you know, sometimes we can't afford that, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's I'm I'm really curious to see because they, they sent out like a little survey to creators who were using it um, to ask how would you use crowdfunding on throne if it was available uh and so yeah i filled that out but um it's interesting it's interesting but yeah it definitely would help with um some of those bigger things like especially um especially like stream tech because it's expensive stuff, um, it's it's cool to kind of be able to, instead of putting up a donation goal for something, like a donation goal for a new mouse and keyboard, you can like put the gift in and then do that that way so that you know that the money's gonna go straight for that. They can't like take it and then not buy the gift, the mouse or keyboard sort of thing. Like it's, it's kind of funky. I like what they're thinking. So I just realized that the wish the throne URL has changed. Um totally for oh no, I I fit <laughs> Okay, cool. That that fixed it. Brilliant. Alrighty. Um. Congratulations to Zalk, Dano, Silver, Fader, Meaty, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Oh, it's skin chest time. I have both of them. Fantastic. You guys are gonna get yours as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, fresh mounts can be interested in a quest giving claw. No. Is off. <laughs> Do not want. Have one on literally every tune. No more. Go away. Uh, I actually need to go and turn a few of those in because uh, it gives quest rewards that are transmog that I don't have. Which is hilarious. Buy a fear a laptop. Got it. Yes. Okay, so they added in that caller right at the end. I said it slowly so that people heard and understood me. Do not purchase via a fucking laptop. Like, good lord. 
I would just feel so sick with guilt. Like, that's, it's so much money. I would feel so sick with guilt. Uh, so we can all pitch in by a new phone. Yeah, stuff like that. So I could, like, stick something up there that I'm, I'm I, like, I need or that I want. In fact, it is getting to the point where I actually need a new phone and it's really sucky because phones are bloody expensive. Um, but also, like, I need a laptop. I, I need the laptop. That's, like, the first priority in terms of big expenditure for me at the moment. Um, it's getting to the point where I, I actually proper need it. Um, so that's fun. Um, but... <laughs> what character is this? Oahu. God damn it, that's one I'm not supposed to be leveling. That's so funny. Uh, but yeah, so it's, um... Oh, this is the last Horde tune! Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, doing crowdfundy kind of bits, it will be kind of awesome. Um, but we'll see how they go with it. We'll see how they end, we'll see how they end up going. Uh, on Amazon now, but it's on Throne Cookie. It's on my wish list, so you know which one I want. I'm joking. Uh, I like the idea of crowdfunding it. So do I. So do I. Big time. Big time. Uh, if you try to please those people, you won't like you. What you've managed to do here is build a community of like-minded people who like what you have to offer. I, I appreciate that, meeting. Thank you. And I know, I do know that. Um... It was more like, cause I'm, one of my things is like that I don't do subathons very often because like it's, it's essentially a money grab. Obviously you're giving things back, like there's goals that you, you're giving back to the community in a way um, by giving them certain types of content or whatever as, as it goes along. But it's also, I, for me, it feels like I'm asking for money. Like, please give me a sub. Here is a bribe. Like here is what I'll do if you give me subs. Um, and but there are some streamers out there who do them every month, or every fortnight, or something like that. And I, I, I don't like. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of. I haven't done a subathon in a while. I think the last subathon we did was, um, maybe even when I made partner. It might have been the partner celebration stream. So almost a year ago. And I did have a couple of months where the challenge point goals were sub. Like if, if I got this many subs, I'd do the thing. Um, but it didn't, it didn't really work very well. Um, it didn't, it wasn't super great. So I ended up, and the, the channel points things are like, people go bonkers for them. It's great. So we do that instead, different type of engagement. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, Hmm, that's interesting. Stuff for thinking about. Food for thought. So yeah, I feel like if I do start doing fairly regular subathons to, for example, like, finish getting the money together for my dentistry or to raise funds for a laptop or to raise funds for a new phone or to raise funds to move to Melbourne or, like, if I, if I do those kind of things, people kind of think differently of me, including the people who are here. Uh, the people who I have already attracted doing what I'm doing, if I change what I'm doing, they will leave. Like, that's kind of, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. Ah, uh, Def's not poodling here as we speak. But it's so easy, Seeker. Why aren't you? I know you are. It's fine. We turn them in as well. At this point, I delete them on principle. If you turn them in, they stop dropping. Because it doesn't drop a quest item for a quest you've already completed. Ding, ding indeed. So we mouse and keyboards getting you mouse to match keyboard. Hey, you got Mother's Day last year. I'm slowly moving over to Logitech from Razor stuff. Good. Well done, Ruby. Used to be all Logitech back in the day when they only had the cheap keyboard mice uh, and mic combos in. Yeah, in JB Hi-Fi. Yep, yep. They're like the office gear. Yeah. But no, they've they've they have advanced. They are. They're doing some pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Oh, uh, was that like 300 XP? Uh, 270. Oh, that one was 300, yeah. It was 300 and then I got 270, 270, 270. But yes, it was the tiniest, teeniest amount of XP that I needed. 
Uh, if we have a really evil person in chat who wants to believe fear, may I suggest buying her a really expensive laptop just to make her feel guilty? <sighs> Actually, I do have a question because I don't think the laptop that I have on the, the wish list at the moment, I don't think that's functional. Um, I don't think it can actually be purchased because um, it's not available on Amazon anymore using the link that I gave them, so it would break. But I do have a question. Um, those of anyone who has tech like that that they use super, super frequently, uh, that they purchased with a power point, a power plug for a different country. On a scale of one to ten, how irritating is it? And here's why I ask. Um, there are two version. There are two listings on Amazon for the the laptop I want. One of them ships from Amazon AU. And so every you know, it's all good. And one of them ships from Amazon US. So it which means that the plug will be US plugs on lead and adapter. But it's two hundred dollars cheaper. And that's yes, that's in AUD. That's not in US dollars. It's in Australian dollars. I quadruple checked. It's two hundred dollars cheaper, but I'd need to use an adapter. Opinions and thoughts. Floor is open. It has her own secret crowdfunding. <laughs> I make her feel exceedingly uncomfortable. <laughs> um, some people might, some will stick around regardless. So of course, of course. But yeah, it's um, not all, not at all once you have an adapter. I just left it on. Okay. Always just get the local power adapter. Yeah, there's no problem at all. A local power pack. Oh, so you can buy power packs separately. Is that a hassle or is that something easily done via like their website or something? I'm guessing there'll be a model number on the power pack that you can just kind of... JK, I sell awesome adapters. That's where I got mine. I would buy the more expensive Oz laptop. 200 more. $200 more. Just so you don't have to use an adapter. Pretty sure you can get a proper plug installed after the fact. Well, yeah, it's a laptop, so the cable's completely removable and everything. I imagine that you probably could just get... Maybe? It depends on how it works. You got any glue? Sorry? You got any glue? Glue? Uh, what kind of glue? I don't know. Something that makes me glue. Snap them out. Snap. Um, can you... Be fair. <laughs> I want to have a look. But I want to give you, like, I'm not a paladin. Like, super glue, and it sticks the key down permanently, you're screwed. Baby. Okay. Oh, da, 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 da. Want some of my. Jungle love. Hello? Hello. She has this up really loud. Like, it's crazy loud. No wonder she can't hear me ever. Fixed it! What'd you do? I put the key on the switch and I pushed it down. You realize that there's two cracks running up the mounting, right? Which mounting? On the inside of the switch. It, like it, it doesn't- I tried lifting it off and it didn't come off again. That's weird because there's very, two very, very small cracks running up either side of the two keys That's mounting. That's fine. Like, as long as you don't pick the keyboard up and shake it vigorously and make it fall off again, it doesn't need to- like, they're designed to sit in a little slot and everything. You're fine. Hi. <laughs> Transmission spell worked. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe I'll make sure the battery power is also compatible with the battery. American friend use an adapter without voltage compared to 
Riders Power Pack. Um, yeah, if I was looking at purchasing, like, I mean, obviously I can use an adapter, like the, the travel ones and stuff like that. Um, cheap travel adapters, yeah, but the more expensive ones are designed to, like, convert that properly. Like, they're not just going to let all the power straight through, especially if they know that this, the, like, the, the pointy ends mains are stronger than the not pointy ends mains, if that makes sense. Um, like, the, yeah, the, the proper travel adapters that have, like, warranties and stuff like that, they're not gonna, like, they won't do that. If you use a cheap shitty one, yes, it will. Um, but what I was talking about is actually, like, if you get the, the cable with the brick in the middle and then replace that with an official Australian one from ASUS in this, in this instance. Um, I don't know how long the adapter will last converting electricity. Yeah, fair. Cut the plug off. Put a local on? N no. <laughs> uh, you tend to need to be an electrician to do that kind of stuff properly and not in a, in a way that won't fry yourself or the laptop. Um, uh, most new will charge a few USB-C these days, right? Um, this one does have a DC in point, a port. The one I'm looking at is a, a DC in. I just realized how angry I would have been if um, it would have dropped for jazz. I mean, not angry, but like, yeah, anyway. Um, I'm gonna have to stay outside to get there. It caught fire! Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Not just a plug, it's electricity. I got a transmission spell worked. Do something influential. <laughs> I used to hear all the noises. I do, absolutely. 100%. Is she little deaths? I mean, I might be. It wouldn't surprise me. Alright, that's all the hoardies. Uh, no fires, please. I would also like no fires. We really need standardized power around the world at this point. We do, we do, but there's gonna, like, it's gonna be, you know, but ours is the best. No, but ours is the best. No, I don't want to spend all of my government's money making that change in all of our mains across the country. That's a waste of money. Well, it's a waste of money for our, us to do that too. Like, to standardize it at this point, it's, who the fuck's gonna pay for it? You? Like, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's not a, yeah. It would be very good, very useful, but it's not a not a feasible thing. Unfortunately. Uh, even on dirty, messy hairs is working and fun. Yeah. How good is it? They drop out quicker if your hair's dirty. Like, if you've got greasy hair, um, the, the curls will drop quicker. But, um, so, like, when I had oily hair, the top dropped out pretty quickly, but then the ends that are really dry were still, like, perfectly curled. It looked really funny. Really funny. The cost of a good adapter make your savings neg negligible. Uh, good adapters don't usually cost $200. There's a $200 difference between the price of the US and the AU models. Uh, an adapter for my pedals. I had a UK plug instead of the Dutch ones. Worked fine until I sold them. Awesome. Awesome. Importantly, I got my adapter from JCars. It was 100 bucks nine years ago, so it's not far off from the 200 You have so many tunes. I have 50. The full account. I reckon the Aussie one is superior because when I've tried the ones in other countries, nothing seems as snug in the hole. So heavy adapters dropped out. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. That's like, look, these are all very, re and this is why I asked because my brain goes less money. Good. Like, you know, quit, quit your whining about a small inconvenience, less money. Good. Uh, so yeah, actually having that conversation is, is really helpful. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, adapters are stupid prices. Some of the adapters we order at work cost more than an actual full actual PSU. Ah oh, dear. I guess it depends on what you're trying to adapt, right? And how many features and functions they have. If they have, you know, like power shaping. I know it's not actually shaping, but you know, like when they shape your internet connection, same deal. So like shaping the power, or like you know, surge protection inbuilt into the thing, and blah blah. Like there's just there are so you can just have something that converts one shape to a different shape. But then you have all these other, I'm on Alliance, um, fancy features that, yeah. yeah. Three prong is the reason I like ours, basically. Yeah. No, I, I do like the, well, the fact that it's grounded, like anything with two prongs, I'm pretty sure one oh, of them. the Alliance. I'm, I'm pretty sure one of the, like there's the two slanty bits for the Australian one, and then the straight one in the middle is a grounding peg, right? 
and the ones that have two, I don't have a grounding. So it's probably good to have that, I feel like, maybe. Yusufur is a 100 dollar a meter for server cabling. Jesus. Look, hey, if you're selling to businesses, businesses are made of money, right? There's literally, if there's no money, there's no business, so. <laughs> right? Okay, good. Okay, good. I thought that's what it was. I just, I'm, look. Oh god, this is a terrible place for us to be ported, dropped into. Oh, the Alliance one sucks. I forgot about this. Let's see. Uh... Oh, use the twos, they're still grounded. I don't know how it works. Oh, interesting. Uh, two prongs are active and neutral, third is earth. Leakage, I'd say. The two case of cables in that server box as well. It's insane. Hey, if that's how you make the business function, you gotta, like... Like, you gotta, like, it's, ama it's amazing. You know, you think about these businesses that start from the ground up and they start, like, I, I'm a business, technically, literally. I have an ABN and I'm sitting here and I am making DOSH and I pay tax uh, on everything I earn from Twitch and all my affiliate programs and all that kind of stuff. I pay some tax, let me tell you. Um, and, but I, I have a computer and it's just me. And at the moment I'm looking at teaching Jazz how to do some of the back end stuff I do because I need help now. It's grown to the point that I need help. So it's gonna be a business that has two people and then maybe one day it'll have three people five people and a second PC and then like it could it, honestly if I if I keep growing and I, I keep pushing this and stuff and I end up making some awesome content and whatnot I might end up having several computers you know one that does rendering stuff so it can pop it up on YouTube and another one that does this out of the other and but blah, blah, and like all these different things you know a two PC set up just for streaming so I can run the game on one and then render the stream on the other one and send it to Twitch and like it it really like what, I'm never going to have a server room full of million dollars, millions of dollars worth of cable, but it's still, it's, it's interesting to think about where a business starts and then how big, like, you know, you think all these tech companies that started in the garage and stuff like that, and just a couple of people sitting around with their computers trying to make stuff work, and now they have campuses because that's how many buildings they need for all of their employees because that's how big the fucking business is. It's amazing, unbelievable. Yet, it's true. It's really cool, hey. Fair means business confirmed. Ah, yeah. She works hard for the money. Yep. I do, I work my ass off. <laughs> oh, I work my ass off. Fair Inc. You already make amazing content. Aw, oh, thank you, Sal. You know, I, I mean, like production value and, and that kind of stuff rather than like the actual content of the if that makes sense i know that my streams don't look the best and they're not like super beautifully integrated and all that kind of thing but that's okay and uh, yeah whatever okay mainframe skills the cheapest part after cabinets cost millions oh yeah for sure for sure <sighs> Hmm. All right, what? Does it have Bluetooth? Something I just... It's 15.6 inch standing screen display size, 1920 by, 10, uh, by 1080 screen resolution, which is the max, 1.2 gigahertz core i3, 8 gig of RAM. This is not a gaming computer. This is a computer for doing admin work. This is the laptop I'm talking about. It's very specifically for like admin, for checking emails and scheduling socials and, and maybe using GIMP uh, to, to do graphics for bits and pieces, but it's not for like the hardcore stuff that I do for stream. This is not a streaming or gaming laptop. This is an admin laptop. Uh, 4.1 gigahertz memory speed, 256 gig SSD hard drive, which is fine because I have a two terabyte external. Um, uh, integrated graphics, wireless type, 
What does that mean? There's two USB 2 ports, but this says one. But the picture has two. I'm confused. Rear webcam. What? Doesn't have a. It's got a. Why is that a rear? That makes no sense. Why is that called rear? Is this the one on throne? Ah, uh, yeah, but it's out of stock. Um, let me. There you go. Oh, look at Zoe Foster Blake selling my stress room face stuff line in her garage. Sold her share for 40 million or so last year. She's out! I didn't know she was out. Jesus. However, however, Zoe Foster Blake was also like 20 years in the like beauty critic space. So she had all of those industry connections and all that kind of stuff. That's, you know what I mean? It's a little bit different. Hmm. Shrimp Dill was honest in good conversation. And wow, it's great. Thank you, Cookie. I appreciate that. Famous restaurant saw by selling dumplings from a bicycle on the streets of, say, Vietnam now own restaurants in multiple countries. Two computers and three screens should be okay. And someone to edit and manage content, but the sky is the limit. Mm. Yeah. Look, um, like, I, I do like being hands on with my stuff. I would love to have some spare time, but at this point of my growth, I'm still trying to figure out what works for me um, and trying to control who I am and where I'm going with my content. Uh, so for example, for the Instagram stuff, you know, I, I, I post stuff that I think is nice and fun. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. Uh, and the stuff that doesn't, I'm going to be cutting back on and I'm going to invest more time into the stuff that does. But like, how far do I want to take that kind of thing? Do you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's, I'm still trying to figure out what I want for my content to be, especially on social media platforms. Um, so having a, a social media manager come in at this point, because what usually happens is you like, especially if you're part of a big stream team that has, that's like an actual, you're an employee of a team of streamers or something, you usually have like one shared person who manages all the social stuff and all that kind of thing. But I still have to create that content and then they just sort of caption it and post it kind of thing. But what do I want to create is the question. But yeah, I wouldn't want too many people involved, but it does sometimes get to a point where like some creators need it. You know, they sit in front of the camera and they do their stuff and then someone edits it and puts it up. Or, you know, you have your mods in chat who handle that kind of stuff. And then someone manages merch and drops something new every three to six months. And then somebody else manages your emails and, and schedules, you know, like sets up sponsorships and charity streams and all that kind of stuff for you. Um, they just kind of come to you and say, here are a list of charities who want you to do something next month. Which ones do you want to do and when? And then you kind of, you know, um, but I do all that myself. Uh, I do everything, everything, every last thing myself, which is going to change soon. Um, like tomorrow, literally tomorrow, because <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Um, it's too much, but it's the stuff I have to do to be uh, effective in this space. I know what you meant. You deserve it. Aw, thank you, Silk. This earworm refuses to leave. Oh, Media, I'm so sorry. Uh, she's still involved. She's a Cosmo for years. Some sort of editor. Yeah. She's still involved. Okay, that's good at least. It's got two USB, a USB-C, and a USB-3. Yeah, but then if you scroll down, it says number of USB 2.0 ports, one. I'm like, that's not right. That's wrong. Incorrect. <laughs> wrong. Oh, here we go. No mount for fear. 
Um, Alright, so if I'm going to go for the Australian one. Yeah, free international delivery, but it's from Amazon US. Um... difference. It's 250 difference. Jesus Christ. But that's fine. Mm, this one says number of USB 2 ports 2, number of USB 3 ports 2. I think that's counting the USB C as a 3. But that's okay. Alright, off we log. This is an author, plus her dad was in newspapers, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, I read. Spare time. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Which is why I'm trying, that's why I'm going to teach Jess how to do some stuff, because I, I really need the help. Because um, I, I would like to be able to not do anything for 10 minutes. Excuse me, for me also, I did it, now I regret it. Especially as I really don't know much of the song, so looping. Excuse me, on the one bit. Oh dear. Glad it backfired. Enjoy your lurk, Aelin. Have a fantastic day. Once went in a sensory deprivation pod, they asked if I wanted light or music. I said no. Five seconds in, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. And I knew no other words. <laughs> 60 minutes on loop. I couldn't do sensory deprivation. I could not. It sounds like the worst possible thing ever. Uh, maybe with music, but it sounds like the, like, when, when all is quiet and dark, um, my brain does anxiety things. So, no thank you. I'm good. Tomorrow, what happens tomorrow? I teach Jas how to do admin. Um, starting with clips. Because clips is something he can do really easily with the access he already has. Sometimes even the strongest of independent women need a little help. I am only as strong and as independent as I am because of the help I have received in the past. Whether that be education, whether it be support, whether it be a shoulder to cry on. I am only as strong as and independent as I am today because of the help I've received in the past. Some people, some people absolutely get to, you know, strong and independent through no help of anybody and power through it themselves, but that is not the case for me. Absolutely not the case for me. Jazz gets his own segment during the day. Except he's working during the day. <laughs> it's gonna be May. Yep, well, no, not tomorrow. That's Sunday. Tomorrow is the 30th. <sighs> tomorrow is the 30th. Oh, lucky traveler. Look at that. I should have just clicked that to start with. All right, well, F. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow is when the meme will be everywhere. Yep. Tomorrow is the last day of April. Indeed. I posted it yesterday. Yesterday. Instead of mine, I really want to try one of those alone with my brain. Oh no, thanks. Yep, yeah, exactly my thoughts. Exactly my thoughts. Um, I wonder if you could find a place because I I know a couple of places near me that do the tubs, but they also do massage therapy and stuff like that as well. I wonder if you could call them up and be like, "Hey, so I really want to try the sensory deprivation thing, but..." My brain is an anx anxious mess. Like, I mean, that's what I'd say. I don't know what you, you know, describe your situation here. If I go into the tub and I can't handle it for whatever reason, am I able to convert whatever's remaining to a massage or something like that? Can we, is there a way for me to do that? Or is it just completely sunk? I can't get any money back. Like, even if, I was, if it was a 60 minute session and I was in there for five minutes, is that 55 minutes out the window sort of thing? And just say, because I'm sure, I am sure that they have to deal with that kind of stuff from people like us all the time. Because um, I, I don't, like, I'm, I'm sure that people just kind of go, ooh, that sounds nice, let's do that. And then they do it and regret it immediately. Um, so, yeah. Uh, no idea what it meant the first time I saw that one. This is Helix. I had to do an explain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, makeup looks fab as always. Thank you. Once again, I have no idea what it might be based upon. Stonehide Elderhorn. There's the bit in here, the shiny bit's pale green, 
and then there's the red because the pale greeny cream of the saddle slash the blanket and then under that there's like a ready ready orange blanket and then the rest of the sto the rest of the elder horn is like black and really 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 dark brown so there you go as soon as if they lock you in there and come back in an hour. No, they do have like, um, from, I, I was given a tour of the place and they showed me the tubs and stuff and they did have like an oopsie button, um, that you could push if you needed help. Um, so yeah, it's cool. They can be good as opening the lid and just floating because it's super salty, so it helps with the pain, which I was really in there. Ah, oh, nice. Don't have that, never would have got that, that's okay. Meaty, Dunno, Luzza, Neke, Kledgy, and Fade, congratulations to all of you on your bone. Shit. That was almost melodic. Did anybody get skins? I guess I went and had huge rooms. Like a walk-in freezer room. Oh, that's cool. I like to try it as a significant sensory issues, but also anxiety and claustrophobic. You can absolutely leave the roof off. Um, there were, like, where I went, because I was going there because I had a massage booked, but they also gave me a tour of the place um, to show me what other features that they offered. I had a massage, and then I think it was, like, half an hour or so in an uh, infrared sauna as well. Uh, and they showed me the tubs. And the ones that this particular place had wasn't actually like a, a tub. It was kind of like um, a, a small room that had almost stone steps down and then a, a relatively deep pit in the middle, but there was no lid or anything. It was just a really dark room. Like they could black out all the lights completely so it was entirely dark, but there was no like thing on it. If that make does that, I hope that makes sense. Um, so it wasn't like a... It wasn't a pod. It wasn't a pod. It was a room with a pool in it. Um, no skins? Ah, oh, next time, meaty. Next time. Tubs would be tiny in this place. I could stretch out in all directions. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds culty. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So if we're going to go with the Aussie one, I'm going to grab this link. Can I delete all this ref crap off the end of the URL? I can. Phenomenalist. There's only one left in stock. More on the way. So that's good. I need to edit this. I can't edit it. I have to delete it and re-add it with the new link. It's okay. I can do that. Delete this item. Yes. Add product. Next. Um, got two skins. I've looked right. Oh my god, dress. Well done. Congrats. So much of this should have been with IE's go. Uh, place I went had a big open one, which is made to be mobility friendly as well. Beautiful. Love that. Super awesome. I'm not doing. I'm. Yeah, I haven't done anything in game. I know it was the wrong screen, but. Uh. This one might be more expensive because it has Windows 11, and the last one I was looking at had Windows 10. start having a look around not even sure where one closest to me is it's always worth having a look and you can always kind of say hey can I come in and have a look at your rooms and stuff like that and just just see if if even looking at it gives you the heebie-jeebies then probably not the right one you know you'd be okay pretty sure it's a free upgrade yeah probably but it's um it's more like the one I had listed on there before that's now not available was a fair bit cheaper and then the US one was cheaper again, and this one is more expensive. So yeah, it's kind of, but that's okay. It is what it is. If that's how much it costs, um, then that's how much I'll end up paying for it. And that's all right. Your laptop came with Windows 10 during startup and upgraded. Ah, <laughs> nice, Mini. That's awesome. That's awesome. Bum, bum. Mm. 
Mm, hang on. Why are people putting heavy scorpion scale up for 320k gold? Is this just a way to move gold? It can be, yes. Um, check. Le um, do you have TSM installed, Seeker? Oh, your tooltip might not be set up right. If you link it to me, I can have a look and see what, like, the average sale prices and stuff like that. Refloat tanks. Don't do it if you've done your hair recently. Yeah. Yep. All the color will leach out. Same in, same as in, like, chlorine pools. Chlorine pools will leach any recently done or temporary hair, uh, hair dye out. Someone was moving gold, everyone else uses TSM. Yeah. Yeah. That's really funny. Heavy scorpion scale. <clears throat> Mello just got back to me about the turns out they put liners in instead of eyeshadows into the into the box um into the delivery box uh, and they've just said they're going to send it out first thing Tuesday. That's really awesome. Like, their, their customer service has been phenomenal. Like, it really has. Um. Yep, region sale average is 33 gold. Um, I'd say that someone has done a boo-boo. Um. Or, yeah, they're, they're transferring. It's not always selling gold. Sometimes it's transferring gold. Um from like faction to faction and stuff like that because the, the auction house is cross faction now. Um, so something that sometimes I'll put something like that up really, really expensive and then buy it on the tune that has tons of gold to transfer it from Horde to Alliance, uh, things like that, which is not, you know, that's not untoward. It's a bit strange. I don't think it's against Toss though. Um, so yeah, it's not always, it's not always malicious. Oddly, I just me offline. It's because I'm appearing offline. It's okay, don't worry. I figured it out. <laughs> Uh, if I want to redo my color and change color, it would clean out the old, not entirely. It'd just make it streaky and patchy and crap. <laughs> and only where it was actually in the water as well. Wait, when was it not cross-faction? Uh, pretty recently. We used to have the neutral auction houses in Booty Bay and stuff, where you had the goblins who were neutral to both factions so that you could post stuff. But it was like only in Booty Bay. Because the auction houses were Horde or Alliance specific. Mm. Uh, looks like it might have been wad. That doesn't sound right though. It could be. I think it was what? Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Yeah, maybe. I thought one place in Barrens had one too. I don't remember the Barrens one. Um. Uh, so there was one in Gadgetzan in Tanaris. There was three in Booty Bay in Stranglethorn. And one in Everlook in Winter Spring. That was it. And they're all... I don't know if they're... The... I wonder if the NPCs are there still, but they just op uh, operate as any... Never mind then, that's okay. All good. Uh, looks like they're still there. The NPC still has a thing on, um...
There aren't, there haven't been any comments for a long while, but um, there is still a Wowhead page for the NPC in um, Tanaris at least. That's interesting. It's still there. Do they still function as auction, uh, auction houses? Mm -hmm. It's the way I'd like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch out here, just say it's renovating. Can't re-bleach. Oh no. I have an EH NPC in base to their own works. Ah, amazing Kaz! Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. This is the time they have red text when removed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because there isn't any red text, so I'm like, huh, it must be it must still be there. Still an AH, wow. Hey there! Yeah, you! Hope you're well. I uh, have a favour to ask. Want to support Fia? This is weird saying it in third person. Uh, why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to help uh, support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. It is surprising, but it is, it's also true. Uh, we just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a great trigger for the algorithm to actually like me. Um, but you can't stop there. Got to have that continued growth for the algorithm to continue to like me. But it allows for increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship, which means paying bills, which means maybe one day full-time content creator. If you hit that all my links, you can see all of my social profiles. The Instagram one wiggles, so you can see it really easily. Or you can scroll down underneath the video player, and there are links there for Instagram and Twitter, plus the all my links link that we were talking about. There we go. Should it uncord every the snorkel? I breathe in the water. Yeah, I've I've done the same thing multiple times. Definitely not ideal. Beauty Bay AH is the closest place in game for bank AH and mailbox and guild back. Guild bank. Ah, so some people log characters there for efficiency if they don't have the long boy mount. Fair. Interesting. I prefer a live meaty. Yeah, look. I also prefer a live meaty bones the first. Agreed. Shah best starts level uh Shah best begin spawning a little quicker. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna get through all of my um all of my whatsits. I liked Ironforge for that. Uh, I do it in my garrison. I could move my storehouse to be closer to the mailbox, but I am happy where it is. Happy with it where it is. I'm a bit sniffly, just a bit sniffly. I don't feel this, but no, not ideal. Thanks for doing my best to remain alive. Although you guys realize Meaty Bones is an undead hunter, right? Technically alive, it's fine. Just, just go with it, it's fine. Lucky Traveler, let's do this. My hair keeps getting caught on the lights, which pulls on the eyes. Talking of live, have you caught up on the recent interviews? They're only allowing one Drakthir per realm. One less character you need to delete. I did not know that. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that's all right. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, technically, yes. I'm dead, not dead. Yep, correct. I hadn't caught up on the more recent interviews, but I do, I did see that um, next week we're getting the mobile game reveal. 4 a, uh, 3 a.m. on the 4th of May, I believe it is, for us. Or maybe the 3rd. I think it's the 4th, though. Makes sense they've done that for the new classes in the past. Yeah, makes sense only one per round. Pretty sure DK and Demon Hunter were the same. Yeah, they removed, they did eventually remove those restrictions, but yeah. There I am. It's the same as always, dupe. It's because they announce it uh, during working hours for the Blizzard team. Because then they spend the rest of the day fielding questions and answering things on forums and blah, 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 blah. So they do it at 9 a.m. at the start of their day so they can spend the rest of their eight hour shift. Um, 
Building hype and doing damage control. Interesting, they went with May the 4th. They didn't. They went with May 3rd. Uh, it just happens to be May 4th for us because of the time zone. Um, not sure how I feel about mobile game. Not massively into mobile games. The small screens, pro true business practices. Adding this to WoW seems like it'll spoil it, but it's not adding it to WoW, Cookie. It's a new game standalone in the Warcraft universe. It's not a connected to way. It's not an armory app. It's not a, it's a, it's a new game. It's a mobile game standalone. That's inconvenient for me. And same for me. How do you think I feel about being an influencer who has to cover this bullshit? Like, <laughs> and if you're not into mobile games, you don't need to play it. It's very, very easy. Like very fantastic and super simple and all that kind of stuff. You just don't play it. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not a WoW game. It's, it's part of the Warcraft universe, same as Warcraft 3 and Hearthstone and etc. etc. Um, but it's just a mobile game. I hope the mobile game is on iPad. That's where I play my games. Um, it, inter it'll be interesting to see whether it is or not, whether it's like a tablet and phone or if it's just phone or, or what the deal is, but we'll find out in a week. In a week. Um, I'd probably be more into phone games that didn't have a lot of crap attached to them. Fair enough. Were you into the early ones before they discovered microtransactions? Um, how many microtransactions do you think will be in it? Um, it will depend on who's actually producing it, I think. Um, if, if they have licensed the Warcraft IP to another company, there will be more in it than if Blizzard's doing it themselves, I think. I mean, they do have stuff like your loot boxes and things like that, but they are not nearly as predatory and as shitty as like, you know, the, the mobile games where it's time gated unless you buy gems to speed it up and all that kind of stuff. Like I, <clears throat> I personally, I don't see Blizzard doing that style of game anyway. Like it's not really what they're good at. Um, but I mean, look, never say never. <laughs> we, we have no idea. We have no idea. Um, yeah. I played Tetris on my phone at one point back in Nokia days. Made more sense than also carrying a Game Boy, so yes, sorta. I played Snake. Uh, so I play Apple Arcade, hate the micros. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't play games on my phone anymore. I used to a lot, um, but I, I kept getting to the point in games where it took three days to make progress unless I bought the speed ups, and I don't spend money on mobile games. I just don't do it. Uh, I play. I spend enough money on PC games, um, and it's not in my budget, so it's fine. But yeah, it it really it really depends on how this game has been developed, whether it's them licensing out the IP or them doing it themselves. Um, they have had uh, they have had job listings up for mobile developers, but it's hard to tell whether that's for the Warcraft yet to be announced game or whether it's for Diablo Immortals um and of course that's now on PC as well uh so yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of tricky to or Hearthstone like god usually they flag it if it's a Hearthstone job though um but because Immortals is still in development when it says for like if it says for a yet as yet unannounced title then sure but if it just says mobile developer and it doesn't make clear whether it's for whatever wait yeah it, it can be really difficult to tell um, so they could be making it internally. Uh, they could also be making it externally. Um, I don't... Th I mean, can uh, fucking Candy Crush from Activision. So it could be Activision saying, we want you to make this, but wow. Mm. I just... I do hope it's um, at least some kind of RPG thing. Uh, I didn't know Zodiac Blood Mortal is actually coming to PC now, which is interesting. Blizzard Crowd is mostly PC gaming, some console thanks to Overwatch. Kind of understand the Immortal Outrage back when. Yeah, no, the, the Immortal Outrage wasn't anything to actually do with the phones. I mean, yes, they, like, before he said, don't you have a, like, don't you all have phones? As soon as he said that, it was all about the phones. But before that, it wasn't. It had nothing to do with the fact that it was a mobile game. It was the fact that it wasn't D4. That was the only thing people were pissed about. They'd been hyping up, there's an announcement for Diablo. What else could it possibly have been other than D4? This. So that's why people were pissed. And then they made the comment about, don't you have, don't you have phones? And that's when the vitriol turned from it's not D4 to how bloody dare you. Um, 
But yeah, it's, I think putting it on, I agree that putting it on PC is a good idea. Um, it'll make it easier for me to give it a go. I don't know how to stream from my phone. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna talk to Cricket. Ask for, um, ask her for help with how she does her pogo streams. Ah, uh, Vision's now from a mobile version of that gem matching daily in CM. Uh, Hype got too real and Blizz didn't spin it well. Correct. Yeah, yeah. They have learned a lot since then, though. It's been a few years and they've definitely learned a lot. But, um, it was, it, yeah. I think that can be one of the things when you're in a development team and you're super excited about the product you're making. And you know it's not D4, but you're, you're having so much fun playing this, this, this alpha, 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 like, super duper pre-alpha version of this game that you guys are working on and and it looks so good and you're really excited because it's a new direction for something or you're someone who's been working with mobile phone for years and you never thought that you'd have a chance to work on your favorite game from when you were a kid diablo and now all of a sudden you're on the diablo team doing what you've been doing for years but for them and it's just so exciting and they get all this hype that they don't realize that everyone else doesn't feel the same way it's, I get a similar with them with, not obviously not on the same bloody scale, I'm not Blizzard, but I get the same kind of thing with streaming. Like, I'll have this stream that I'm so excited to do, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do this, it's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna be awesome, I can't wait to knock these, these, you know, things that I'm gonna do out of the, like, it's gonna be awesome, and then I stream it, and the viewer numbers are crap, and chat is not engaged, and no one, and it's just crap. It sucks. But I was so excited that I forgot to think about, is this going to be fun to watch or just fun to play? And it was great fun to play, but no one wanted to watch it. And it's, it's okay. You learn from it and you move on. Onward and upward. I kind of think uh, it being a frame game did matter. People were asking if it was on PC or phone before that comment. Well, yeah, that's only because the things were like, it was it was showing like phone views and stuff like that. And I imagine before it came up with the word immortals, people thought, oh my God, they're making D4 and it's going to be on mobile as well. There was, it was so much just terrible, terrible messaging. They didn't give any information about anything. If they had announced it as like a super exciting new addition to the Diablo universe, for, that you can carry in your pocket if that was the hype and they didn't leave the phone bit till the very like the last second if they had announced the phone like with the warcraft thing the fact that they're announcing a new warcraft game for mobile that and that's there's a they're doing that because they learned from the diablo launch announcement not launch sorry um but yeah uh yeah if they'll take me uh, do they have Hearthstone mobile game yet? Um, it feels like it's been a Hearthstone game since it was beginning. Since the beginning, it was. It's always. I'm pretty. Or oh, now that I say that, I don't know about it. But it, yes, there is absolutely a Hearthstone game. It is large. Make sure you have phone over space on your phone to install. I think it's like eight gig or something. Um, and it's uh, very battery intensive, but it exists and it is fantastic. And when I was recovering from my first surgery, I spent an entire ass week lying in bed playing Mercenaries mode. Um, is Fear Blizzard? No. Hearthstone seems very Clash Royale, it could be done. Yeah, no, it's it's been on phone for ages. Uh, sucks that so many people are streaming stuff they would rather not do for views, but that's the world we live in. Well, it's not about the world that we live in, Kel, it's more about the fact that they need to pay their bills. Fewer viewers means fewer income. Like, fewer, fewer dollars, less income, less revenue. Um... So if you've gotten to a point where you're relying on that revenue as your income, you can't afford to take a risk and play something that might not get the same numbers. Because if it doesn't, you can't afford internet the next month. Or food. Or your phone. Or electricity. Make a choice kind of thing. Like, it's, it's a job. It's just like, you know, if you go in and, and you're an accountant, you can't go in and decide your IT for the day. <laughs> because, like, you won't get paid. It's, yeah, kind of the same thing. Uh, I put a hostage in my way years ago. Yeah, very, very, very long time. Yeah, 50 million downloads. It's been, it's been a while. 
it's been a while. But yeah, good. It's, it works beautifully on mobile. Uh, it's just a very large install and it does, it is very battery intensive, especially if you're on an older phone like me. Um, maybe the newer ones hold up with it a little bit better, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. It looks just like the desktop game. And your phone's got to render that, so it takes some energy. Why am I burping so much today? This is really odd. Mm. So mobile works really on iPad, on phone, it's probably a bit slow. Uh, it's not actually on phone at all slow. Um, it works flawlessly on phone. Uh, 2.9 gig on iOS. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder if the 8 gig, because mine did jump to 8 gig, and maybe if it was holding data and stuff like that that isn't part of the initial download. But you know, the, the app works beautifully. It, it, it moves fine. It's just big and chews through battery. That's all. Ah, uh, do you have a message of last piece? Hey! Papers. Ah, fantastic, Mita. Congratulations. Well done. Good evening, Kraz. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely time. Oh my god, Shah, where are you? I don't have time to... I have too many tunes to get through today. Uh, to be fair, most people have a component of their job which isn't great, which is when you go, I'm doing this for the money, but agree it sucks in the world. Uh, is not able to accommodate all I want and needs in one spot, that would be tops. Yeah, but it's, um... It's unrealistic. Especially when, like, I mean, if money comes from sponsorships and stuff like that, then if, if, a, if a stream is sponsored, then you can kind of do whatever you want that stream. Obviously within the bounds of your contract, um, because you know you're getting paid. Uh, but if you want them to come back and sponsor you again, then you'll probably want to do what gets you the big numbers, like usual. Because uh, if, they, if they sponsor you and your numbers just completely go splat, they're not going to do it again. But yeah. Just like any business, you got to decide, you know, what you want to do. And a lot of that is dependent on how many people will buy your product. This is what you guys are doing. You're buying my product with your eyes. Some of you with subs. Some of you with bits, or using affiliate programs, or donations, or whatever it happens to be. But, um, yeah, that's, that's how you're compensating me for my product, which is entertainment. It's kind of trippy to think about here. <clears throat> Can't use battery on mobile games, need to keep it to watch figure on Twitch, huh? <laughs> Does a Shah dance similar to a concept of a rain dance, but not culturally appropriated as it is video game. Yes, good. Brilliant. Would Torin have Shah dance? Maybe. Torin Rose will soon be a thing. Or Instagram! Yes. Follow on Instagram. Sneaky hoofs for twin. Ah, dear. Ah, uh, dear. Kebab anticipation. You're getting kebabs? Seeko. <sighs> I've decided wanted kebab. I think I want to go out for breakfast tomorrow. I want to leave the house and go for a walk and get some air and have some breakfast somewhere where I don't have to make it myself. Looking forward to touring stealth animation, to be honest. Snacks on the veranda at the back. Yum. We'll consume kebab. Good, good.
one. Brilliant! Uh, no mem said next time matey. Next time people complain about hooved races getting stealth but like we've had hooved stealth mobs in the past. The city is from classic for example. Yeah. Yep. Look in in when you're looking at role playing you can like there are so many things that you could potentially do. Like you could get a Tauren to staple foam to the bottom of their hooves or something. Like there's, you know what I mean? There's so many different things. Or, or just make themselves shoes out of soft leather. Why do they have to go around bare hoofed all the time? They don't. They can cover them up. I talked about in the past, giving every race the ability to use every class. Just remember a comic about gnomes having care bear bear form. Yep. <laughs> Was that, um, uh, uh, Seeker, Zam, Zalp, Dunno, Aelin, and Fade? Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Was that, uh, Dark Legacy? So it is an aim now, though. Rogues makes priests in Tenno. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just having a look at the thing magic now. Um,. Uh, where was it? I missed it. I scrolled past it. Uh, mages, priests, and rogues available to all races in Dragonflight is the is the headline. It doesn't say aim though. It says is. But let me just actually read what they said because we all know that Wowhead is fantastic at definitely not misleading anybody in their uh, headlines. Yeah, you know, we kind of have this broad direction. I don't want to make any huge promises, but we kind of feel like we want to move towards a world where the race of a character is not a limiter for what they can or what they can become in the world of Warcraft. We're working towards that, but not all classes have the same kind of, the same kind of content requirements. More of this will come over time, but immediately in Tenno, we're going to be making rogues, mages, and priests available for all races, so everyone will be able to go out and make their sneaky tour and rogue tiptoeing on their hooves all around. These will be introduced in 10.0, with general intentions for us to look at more options down the line, but immediately in 10.0, you'll be able to change your Rogue, Mage, and Priest to any race combinations. Start saving now, kids! Oh, I didn't get to put one down, because it must have- somebody else must have stolen my spot. That's okay. okay. Uh... No, uh, is racing stealth a hoof tour with a group wide stealth? The hooves don't prevent stealth. Yeah. Yeah. Never has been so long. Here it is. Stealth tour and walks on its hands, Mkai. Yeah, there you go. Campaign stare. Never mind, I'll wait for the next patch. <laughs> That's adorable. Definitely, definitely not uh, Dark Legacy. Um, fuck where I head. Look, honestly, we have to give credit where credit is due. There was a, um, there was a thing that they posted recently that I saw the, the title and it mentioned spoilers and I said... Uh, and I, I actually turned to Jas because Jas was sitting there and I said, I am honestly tempted to click on this title just to give them the clicks to affirm that this is the right thing to do. But I'm not going to because this is spoilers. <laughs> so, yeah, like I actually wanted to applaud them for that. Um, and I don't remember what it was. I'm not going to read it because... Uh, 
Um, but yeah, there was one, it's, it's a while ago. I mean, they've posted three fucking pages of things in the last three days. Um, but yeah, uh, there was very, there was something very specifically that I remember saying, I like that and they best continue with that. So credit where credit is due. Oh dear. Since I ran a tournament through the more start, I know it was stealth multiple times. Yep. Yep. They can just stealth themselves now. Valkyrie oh, Paladin, oh boy. Some of it just doesn't make sense lore wise. I just suspend my disbelief. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they've been around for long enough now, though, that they conceivably could be teaching each other this stuff. Just because it's not okay. For, for, like, their family may disown them, but like. So. Maybe Paladin was one of the examples of a harder class. I guess druids be last due to the forms. Possibly, yeah. Because people would just get the shits if, like, you you make it. It's like, yeah, you can be a druid. Oh, but I look like a troll when I shapeshift. Um, but yeah, there's. I imagine that there are a few bits and pieces. So for minutes to get your predictions in. What are you. Ah, oh, there's a prediction. The next 10 minutes? Ah, oh, dear. Uh, Narissa from where I had has recently stated they don't want to report on the story, but they don't really have a choice anymore. They don't have, yeah, yeah, but they don't have to put spoilers in the titles, Kraz. They don't have to say in the title, Batman's parents die. In 10.0. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, that's, that's what I was pissed off about. Report on the story all you bloody like, but don't tell me in the title what the spoiler is, or in the first two sentences of the article, which are in the little bit down the bottom there, like underneath the title. That's, like, put the spoilers there, absolutely. But in the title, spoiler, storyline spoilers for blah, blah, blah. In the most recent data mines, we have found story spoilers. Don't read ahead if you don't want to know. And then tell all the stuff in the hidden part of the article that no one has to see on the click it. Like it's, re it's really that easy. And it functions as clickbait that's not really clickbait, which gets in the clicks, which is what they want. People will click it even if they know what the spoilers are because they want to check that they haven't missed anything. Pumped all my embers into no, because if I win the embers, if I lose, fear gets shah. That makes sense. Shaman is 0.1% to guarantee a drop you need close to a thousand characters. Um, firstly, that's not how chances work. You're not gonna, you can't guarantee a drop. End of story. It cannot be guaranteed. Um, the percentage is one in, it, it's not a percentage, it's one in 2000, which I'm pretty sure is 0.05%. Um, but I could be doing the math wrong there. Yeah. Uh, title you are looking for, I think, will Anduin make a big decision in 925? Potential spoilers. Yeah, that one. That one. The answer could be, haha, no major click. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's, it's dropping a thing as in like, hey, read this if you want story stuff, but also it's not actually, like, we know Anduin is involved in the game currently, in a big way. And hey, he might have to make a decision. That's, that's vague enough that it's not a, I wouldn't consider that a spoiler personally. But yeah, that's, I, I really like that. It's more of an issue with some of the guest authors, the clickbaity titles. Uh, no, nah, most of their, most of their articles are clickbaity these days. But that's okay. Uh, I did mention, before you mentioned the spoilers thing, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Batman's parents die. Uh, Warehead is really good at telling the same thing different, 10 different times at this point. Well, no, it, the way that they do it is, um, influencer has interview with a developer and then they cover the entire interview. People don't click it because they don't know who the developer is or they don't care who the streamer is or influencer in general. And then the next seven articles is in interview with developer, thing stated. In interview with developer, another thing stated. So if people see something about mages, priests, and rogues, they go, oh, they'll click it. Even And that's it, the entire article is the VOD from the live stream and a quote. That's it. That's it. Literally the entire goddamn article. But then there'll be another 12 of those because they talked about 12 different things. Because that because people won't click on the interview. However, they will click on something that interests them particularly. Collectors, alts, evokers, drakthir, flying, uh, raid, dungeon, etc, etc. Like, there, there are all these different topics and people are usually only interested in one or two things to do with WoW, so they won't read everything. They'll just read the bits they're interested in. And if they don't know from the title what Brian Halinka is talking about, 
then they're not going to click it. And they don't get ad revenue. They don't get to keep the lights on unless people click. I understand why they do it. It's just annoying. <laughs> but I understand why they do it. There are things I have to do as part of streamy things that I hate doing because they're annoying as hell. But I gotta. And I'm sure you guys are annoyed by some of the stuff I do too. But I gotta. And you, most of you, I hope, would understand why. But that's okay. <sighs> I think that right here. No way to guarantee a drop. Could have a large number of attempts and still not get it. Yep, dice have no memory. However, could get it first time, which it didn't. I'm on 460 attempts currently. Anduin is involved in the game? <gasps> yeah, no, right. Liz doesn't have bad luck protection for things like mounts. There isn't any way to guarantee a drop. Correct. Anduin chooses lunch at cafeteria over tavern. More at five. <laughs> and 20 ads on the page. Yeah. I I do pay for um, uh, Warehead Premium because I use it extremely lotsly um, for all the like quest pages and item pages and, and blah, 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 blah. And a lot of their guides, like not... The, the news articles, but the guides, a lot of them are like really well written. Um, so I do use where I had a lot. So I pay, I think it's like $8.99 a year for premium. I, there was a, they, they did a thing where you could get premium for super duper cheap per year. And so I have that. And I claim it on tax because I use it regularly, like now, um, on stream. It is it is a necessary subscription for me to have for stream so I don't have bloody random audio ads that cause me to get DMCA'd and uh, suspended from Twitch. Uh, depends to get why they do it. People are generally really interested in what's a hot issue for them. Exactly right, yeah. Though I'd like to see the article actually having some words. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. At least they put the quote in. At least it wasn't just, watch this video, we've timestamped it for you. Ah, oh, words hard. Indeed, fight the system. F those guys. Wowhead is really good. Literally, Blizzard doesn't need documentation because of how good it is. Yeah, Wowhead is fantastic. Um, I do like that Blizzard are starting to include more of that stuff in the game because you shouldn't have to use a third-party website to play a game. That's silly. So Blizzard still does... They, they absolutely should have documentation. They do, but they, they should as well. Um, but, yeah... It's, uh, it's certainly a phenomenal resource. And so, yeah, I don't get ads because I pay for premium. Ah, uh, clicked on the author of one title. Seems Discordian Kitty regularly uses vague titles at Wowhead at least. Perfect. Awesome. I imagine one or two of their writers hate spoilers as much as we do. And the rest just like, eh. Ad revenue. But I get it. I, I do. I absolutely understand why. I just... Yeah. I've seen a lot of the spoiler happens and spoiler will occur because of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have... There's a Wowhead channel in our Discord where it does take a little while for the thing to actually post it, but every time they post anything, it'll it'll drop it in there. So if you are someone who is curious about that kind of stuff, feel free to do that. But if you are someone who is trying actively to avoid spoilers like me, I've got the channel muted. It's there for people who want it because I like to provide, excuse me, I like to provide a service to people who want or need it, um, but I don't want it. So <laughs> I haven't muted. <sighs> Ugh, so sniffly. So sniffly. Ah, uh, that channel is why I learned how to mute channels. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, there you go. Provided a service. You learned a thing. Three minutes on result for prediction. Come on, spawn. Yeah, it's got three minutes exactly and, until the close of the spawn window right now. So, yeah, look. Let's see. We'll see. Hey! Best thing to do with Discord is mute everything by default unless you'd like waking up to 400 notifications about stuff there's nothing to do with you. The little white dots are very, 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 very easy to ignore. Like, it's why the red notification bells are so obvious because the white dots mean nothing. I don't understand how people get, like, hung up on those. They're so unintrusive, like, non-intrusive. So non-intrusive. Uh, hey, Nestlet! Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your to bear. Try to 
<clears throat> no mount. The answer, correct answer is no. Technical teaching by fear. I need to start a web series, don't I, guess? Oh, excuse me. White dots are fine. Stuff on my phone's lock screen is annoying. Oh, yeah, no, I've had them turned off for years. Why does anyone have those turned on? Yeah, to right click read all function discord may or may not overuse that. Put them in folders and you just have to write, click and mark read the entire bloody folder. Very easy. Anyway. <laughs> ah. It's alright, next one. Just that pretty weirdly. I hope you're all having a good day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going pretty well. Productive. Not uh, like I'm, I'm behind on everything. My life is a shambles. But I had a productive day, so that's good. I hope that the uh, the weird day straightens itself out soon. So I've done that. This is why I mute all of Discord. Never have to mark anything as red. Feel free free to check stuff when I want to. Lol. Yeah, I just yeah, it, it doesn't like going through and muting things is more effort than just not looking at the dots. It's just pointless to me. It's an unnecessary step that I don't have time for. Down chat though. Indeed, I am up to date on chat. Give it two seconds. Fault. You have to mute everything by hand. Yeah, but I mean, if everything else has got a white dot, it's fine. Like, it doesn't bother me. You say the dots. Yeah, all the way left-hand side of Discord. Right up again. It's it's like a half dot. Little white half dot that indicates that there are unread messages in that server. Not pings, not the red circles with the numbers in them, but actually just messages that you haven't read yet. Um, Seeker, what phone do you have? Yeah, I don't, because I'm in a lot of places where I may need to be specifically spoken to. Um, so I don't turn things off. Um... Yeah, I, I very obviously use Discord in a very different way to you, Cookie. So our our methods of stuff is just not going to be the same. They're not going to work properly. Um, so the main got the like my memory has two things in work for to write Discord. An iPhone, iPhone what? iPhone what? I. Th this part of the message that says trying to get better pics. I want to swear at you. <laughs> Those are better than any pictures I've been able to take like recently with my phone. What number phone do you have? <laughs> oh, so the main just thought it was a bullet. Didn't realize I had that functionality. Yep, no, not bullets. It's um, that is you have messages here that you haven't read yet. A twelve. Okay, okay. What's on my wish list? Is it a twelve? It is a thirteen. Perfect. All right. Good. Um, that'll give me a little couple years of redundancy in there. I'll be good. Oh, a couple of years of escaping redundancy, I should say. Oh, you can't- okay. Alright, sorry, I just saw your message about the prediction. Yeah, okay, so it didn't drop. Complete prediction. Good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you can absolutely vote in, in predictions, but if, like, as a moderator, any mod can vote in predictions. If you do, it won't let you pick the outcome, because then you could cheat to get yourself embers. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's fine. Everyone's done it. Like every mod on the team who has ever done a prediction, has has learned that way. Welcome, welcome to the family. Like, <laughs> that's really funny. Mm, how is thirteen? No idea. It's on my wish list. Did you just pick some things. Of course, of course. Hmm. Though those are those are beautiful. Those are absolutely gorgeous, and I will be. Um, I will. I will message you to get like 
written permission to use them on on socials and stuff like that. Just butt covering for all of us. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll absolutely uh, steal some of those. You have a much nicer desk setup than me too. <laughs> Mine is a trash heap. Um, I need to clean it and dust it and everything else. And so beautifully lit as well. Like this is the problem with having the the key lights pointing this way is that my desk doesn't have any light at it. Yeah, I need a like I've got a, um, a my in, my influencer bag is around the corner. It's got tripods and ring lights and all this kind of bullshit. I need to set one up behind me and point it at the desk so I can get well lit photos. It's terrible. Um, Fear said butt covering. I did. I did. That is not the color I was expecting it to be, Seeker. So Seeker got, um, so. I have a Wylera hair dream wave, and this is what I use to, to curl my hair. This is slept on curls, so they're a little bit funky looking. Um, but these are, just for position seen as gambling, that's not allowed. Yeah, there are some there are some countries where you can't do predictions, um, which I understand why. It's it's a bit shit, but I do understand why. Um, I the step one promotion was over. It is. Oh, the butt covering. Right. Okay. Good. I'm fine. Um, it's totally gambling. It absolutely is. Uh, you can part. Yes, you can participate and get the little one or two badge. But you can't, like, earn, like, you can't get embers with it or anything. Yeah, that's right. So was on pens. Yes, butt covering, correct. We're talking about butt covering. But we are talking about Wailera as well. So, um, this is the Dreamwave. It's a curler. It's super, 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 super easy to use. And Seeker got herself one as well. And she sent me a bunch of absolutely gorgeous photos, um, of it in situ. Um, and it's not the colour I thought it'd be. I don't know what I, I was, I guess, I think I was expecting to be a little bit more pink. Yeah, the, the very last photo you sent me with the box in the background. The box looks a touch more pink. Also thought it'd be pinker. Yeah, but it is, it's still, it's still gorgeous. I do like how it sparkles. <laughs> oh, Seeker, that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> it was, I was absolutely not gonna ask something that intense and, and like, but that's beautifully worded. You are incredible. I like you. I'm, we made a good choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think like a streamer mods should just get unlimited currency or at the very least a streamer should be able to give a mod free redeem so things can be tested. I agree. I think that'd be a fantastic one. Um, I think that'd be really, really use useful. Um, I am pretty sure that I can test things though. Um, oh, that's still there. I should probably tick that off. Uh, like... Yeah, I can make myself stretch, for example. So I can I can test things myself if it's stuff that needs testing. Um, can't test what happens if another user redeems something. But why would I need to? It all goes through the exact same API. It doesn't matter what the name is redeeming it. It still goes through the exact same way. It's still in my list. It has my name, the time with all my badges and everything, just like it has for everybody else. Mods can redeem and refund their redemptions though, they can. They can, because mods have access to my request queue, so they can redeem something and then refund and like refund and reject. I've seen issues before, reactions only worked for certain users. What do you mean reactions? But if I don't have potential to lose the coins though, yeah, I know, I know. Commands. But commands aren't redemptions with channel points so Some streamers have a redeem where something happens on screen as part of the redeem. Well, that can't be refunded anyway. That can't be refunded anyway. And if that's not working when the, the streamer themselves puts it through, that's an issue with the extension or the program or the bot or whatever that they're using. That's not a problem with Twitch. That's an issue where the programmer, the developer, hasn't allowed it to work for the streamer themselves. But you can also just do that through your fucking bot account. Like, <laughs> that sit there permanently just accruing and accruing and accru actually. I wonder how many embers Koalatron has.
But also, stuff that happens on screen, um, sometimes that doesn't act like the, the bot that you use to register that that's happened and then put that through on the screen, part of that script also automatically accepts the redemption so that you don't have to do it manually. Otherwise, you end up with hundreds of redemptions and you've got to go through and accept them all. And that's a pain in the ass. So it's all it's all scripted. If the if the script writer hasn't written that the streamer can use it for themselves, then that's on them, not on Twitch. Ooh, a raid. All in boom. Ooh, seeker living dangerously, I say. I did get an email during stream from Streamlabs about the currency, and they said, apologies for the delay, we are still looking into this. Thank you for your patience. So, yeah. It's they know. At least they know. Like I really like that they're letting me know with regularity that they are still looking into it and that they haven't forgotten about me. It's nice. I wonder if they have to do that so that the ticket doesn't auto close. <laughs> I'm out. I can't go refill just yet though because I'm within the spawn window for sure. Who did that? You know I can go refill my glass, right? <laughs> I'm just watching and I'm like... Also, um, I don't actually know if you've got the request, the request queue, it's a big, it was, it was, you've got the request queue on the other side of it. Do you have a thing that shows like one posture check, zero hydrates, da, 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 da. Do you have that bit down the side as well? Sounds coin. Yes. No, me actually made me stop leveling. Cooking makes my food prep look bad. I don't cook. Ah. You don't have that seeker. I wonder if that's interesting. You would have access to it. Yeah, I'll drop it in um, mod thing because there's a couple of things. Not paint, snip. How did you get paint out of snip? It must have missed the SNI. Um, this is what I've got. Let me. Na -na 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 -na. Where is it? This one. I'm trying to find which of the channels. Cool. So, do you click a thing? Yep. Yeah, so, if you if you see that right down the side, if you click, for example, hydrate, there's a button down the. Or oh, actually, at the moment, stretch down the bottom. There's a complete all button, and there are boxes next to them that you can click, 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 click and then complete selected. So you don't have to do them individually. It changed my life. It changed my life. Pause the hydrates. Yes, pausing is also brilliant. Oh, hello. Good. Thank you so much for the food. How are you? Not too bad. Yeah? That's good to hear. Hey, Zarin. I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? Hello. Indeed. Wait, give it back. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Thor is out of coins. Oh, no. Um, give me a second. Is there anyone else who's sitting on zero coins at the moment? We, we don't have the ability to earn koala coins in chat at the moment because my Streamlabs chatbot is broken. That is what Streamlabs and I are in talky talks about. Um... So I have to manually, if you run out, I have to manually give you some to play with until next time sort of thing. Uh, how many did I give you last time? I think it was, yeah, I think that's right. Um, it was 100,000, Jesus Christ. When it all in my seeker. No, that's okay. It's been mango and chip. <gasps> yes, Darren. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was delightful and delicious. You too can get your own at home bubble tea by tapping exclamation bubble tea in chat and use my code to get a discount and help me pay for my dentist bills. Um, 
think was Desir out before? I feel like that rings a bell. Yes, okay. Let's fix that. Was there anyone else who's actually out? Um, obviously it's more fun to earn them, but uh, hopefully it'll be solved soon. I feel like they're gonna tell me to use the cloud bot. I don't want to. Hmm. Mm. Where's Shaw? Could use a few. Ah, <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> One million coins. <laughs> Must have won a few really big raids. them from sub bombs? You do. You do. I just break something. I did. Alright, fix it. <clears throat> hey, Trud! Welcome back. Uh, we have one of these, didn't we? I like my million. How much better would two million be? <laughs> Technically. Technically. Oh! Mm, you're probably gonna miss this. I forgot the mount. <laughs> Sorry. Stuffing face with kebab. Brilliant. 
So happy for you. Loza, Aelin, Dunno, Brick, Alitria, uh, Helix, and Absolute. That's Helix Limitus, not Duplicate Helix. Good. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Well done. It's a loyalty token chest. Place those units. There is a link in chat. You need to click it, log in with your Twitch account, drag and drop your units onto the battlefield. It's fun, I promise. <clears throat> it's a thinking. There we go. Place three paladins. A. Ooh, thank you. I was going to come out and refill my thing. Thank you. Is this original? Thank you. With pearls. Mm. So good. So good. All right, I'll be back in a second. I didn't spin around it enough. Oh. Hmm. Very, very sparkly today. Ah, oh dear. Mixed kebab, lettuce, tomato, onion, tabbouleh, hummus, garlic sauce. I can't do tabbouleh. I don't know what it is about it. I just can't do it. But mixed is absolutely the correct way to do it because so why would you choose something when you can ma not make a decision and have everything? God, it's been years since I've had a kebab. I need to look at the other men before it closed. So I go back and imagine. <clears throat> mm. The purple is gorgeous, hey. Mum saw it, had uh, flipped her lid. Ah. <laughs> I'm very sparkly today. Yeah, these are my Noble Garden lights. I didn't want to take them down yet because they're so pretty, but my hair now is catching on them, so I think I need to, yep. Does Chair wear a mask or have a mo? That's a good question. Uh, possibly both. Better than your babs aren't as good as they used to be. It's more like a face mask. This is amazing. I've worn three years. Sharpness of the past has always been an issue for me. Oh, now we have to vote on it. Oh dear, mixed kebab for me too. Yep, absolutely. Extra meat, add barbecue sauce, garlic sauce, take the euros to the next level. Yeah, all the sauce. I love saucy, saucy food. Like, dry food is like the worst. It, it, you know, maybe like chips and like the, the pork crackling in a bag, you can get that kind of stuff. It's, it's okay. But when it's like a meal or like, you know, that it has to be, it has to have sauce. Everything. I love my sauce. Love my condiments. Ah, uh, because husband's Middle Eastern appearance, they always overstuff without asking for extra meat. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. So lovely. 
<clears throat> oh, Kraz, um, I'm going to steal Jas from Knight, possibly, but in return... In return, I'll be there for eight Wednesdays after the Wednesday I'm stealing him. I think that's a fairly trade-off. Sold? Perfect. All right. <laughs> it's actually- look! Look! I put it on the thing! It's in the thing now! <laughs> as long as you'll take me, obviously, but- Hey! Mm. Actually scheduled it this month. Thank you for entering me in the background while writing out math methods to steps list. I'm not falling asleep. You are so welcome, Zarin. God, math methods. Is, um... Uh... Is that... Are we talking like... I'm trying... I'm trying to think, can I ask this question without making you expose, um, like, personal details and stuff? Because, I mean... Math methods was a subject in high school for me. Um, we had like, there was like foundation maths, general maths, math methods, and specialist maths. And that was like the four levels of math you could take. And I took methods and specialist because I'm me. Um, but like, yeah. Perhaps change my Wednesday feel a bit. It's only one day. I know, no, it's a Wednesday, and I know that sucks, but better Wednesday than Monday. Better missing, better missing him on uh, like a farm night than on prog night, in, in my mind at least. Oh, bang. Always. I don't like to assume, you know, like, I mean, obviously I did. Uh, but, <laughs> but I also, like, if, if I wasn't one night because you were trying to fit other people in and it made the comp messy and all that kind of stuff, like, I totally understand because I'm not a part of the guild. Um, and I kind of just waltz in and out as I'd like, which is not, you know, the bestest of things and all that. But yeah, um, I really do enjoy reading with you guys. It's nice and chill while still getting stuff done. It's a good feeling. Mm, I'm just having a few missing but mm, Yeah, I know, I know. Well, maybe if I can teach you how to do some stream stuff tomorrow, Jazz, we might have time tomorrow night to bang out a dungeon or two. You're on the red roster as part-time? Awesome. Mm -mm. I still can't really do Mondays. Um, just because I think everyone- Oh wait! No, you guys are Monday, aren't you? Because nixing Mount Farm Monday would probably lose me half of my viewer base. <laughs> but um, yeah. Look, I'll do what I can. Mm -hmm. Stick some tanking, get it out. Doing a stream permanent part time. I need some help with stream stuff at some point. Pity having some issues in FIY. One day when you have nine minutes spare, I can give you eight fifty two. I'm kidding. Um, I yeah. Do you, do you wanna what you can do to start off with? Um, cause if it could be a, a three minute fix, or it could be a two hour fix. Shoot me at who bloody knows with this shit. I tell you what. Um, shoot me a DM on Discord. I don't care how long it is. Like, go nuts. Like, f like get everything out if that you need to. Um, shoot me a DM explaining what's going on. Um, uh, if you're noticing any stats go wonky. Um, if you have, if it's a visual thing that's happening, grabbing, like, a, a clip of it or something and dropping it in there would be good. Uh, and... Shoo! Sorry, I was only hitting a fork, not a knife. Um, <laughs> and what you've tried already. Um, what you've tried already would be good too. That way I can have a read of it. And if I know what it is, I can smack, like I can t chat right back and be like, it's this, change it. Um, but if it's something that does take a little more time, I can put it in my to-do list for when I have more time. And then if I've got an afternoon where I'm like, hey, I've got, I've got some time spare, let's take a look at that problem. Um, that'll probably the be, be the best one. And of course, if you find a solution to it before I get around to it, then absolutely just tell me and I'll, I'll be like, hey, congrats. But, uh, yeah, no, for sure. Thank you for the blessings, y'all. 
<clears throat> um. Ugh. In the stream. Yay, I'm glad you're enjoying Atlanta. Uh, on what server do Australians play? Ah, uh, there's a bunch of servers. They're all flagged as oceanic. Like, if you log out to the server selection screen, there are tabs down the bottom if you're not EU. If you're on NA, there's United States, Oceanic, Latin America, and I think there's a Brazil one, or it's like tournament or something. But yeah, there's an Oceanic tab. Those are the ones we play on because they're physically located in Sydney. I'm nine minutes, very specific. We should tell my group to put me in part time. Can't control my sleep cycle these days. Yes, we do. What do we get is Bisty Fiesta trinkets, generally on Oceanic. I haven't got much time. Yeah, I, I, I don't, but that's okay. Um, working on that. Um, teaching, gonna teach Jas some, yeah, back end admin stuff because it's gotten to the point where it's too much. I can't do it. Um, I need help. So we're gonna start with Jas helping. And if it's not enough, then uh, mods beware. Um. <laughs> mm, okay, we're in a tuition company. Ah, oh, we're gonna make new questions. That's super cool. That's really, ah, oh, that's amazing. Back when I was in school, before I discovered what forensic biology was, and then of course what um, content, I always wanted to perform, so content creation is kind of an extension of that. But back when I was, I was told like, these are the things you have to choose from kind of thing, I was always leaning towards teaching. Surprising probably nobody. And then it was all, but you're so intelligent and you could make so much more money than that. I'm like, You could be a doctor or a lawyer. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. But, um, hmm. And then... And then I realised there was a whole ass university course, or five, for what Abby from NCIS did. And so I did that instead. <laughs> but yeah, good fun. Ah, oh, it does make sense. I forgot about that. I was only thinking NA and you. Yeah, NA is actually NA slash OCE. And of course, um, you've got Latin America and stuff as well, but yeah. Thank you, Kalu. Cheers. Wiki message later tonight. Perfect. Sounds good. Hopefully it's a really easy fix and it's just a setting somewhere that's not quite compatible. Um, but look, I've done that much bloody troubleshooting in the last six years that hopefully I can uh, extend some of that wisdom. I should have chewed that piece of steak more. Oh, you know when it kind of, it almost feels like heartburn as it goes down? Hmm. <clears throat> so who are you? Hey, I think, how are you doing? When I was back in stream person for someone too, it really is a necessary step at some point. Yeah, it, it, it is, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's not actually stream stuff. It's mostly that I just realized I turned my Tiltify off, but I didn't move my other stuff back down again. Oh no. Oh no. No wonder it didn't look right. Good lord. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, like, managing socials and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of, like, so today I did my stream calendar, which is this thing. Um, so that's, that's, I kind of, I have, like, I have it up on my, I've got sliding win uh, windows, sliding mirrors on my wardrobe, and I use, um, whiteboard markers to write on it. So I plan everything out and I plot it out in a really easy to change way. But then once I'm happy with it, this happens. Um, and that's getting to be a lot easier because I have it as a template now. Uh, and a lot of like Mount Far Monday, for example, doesn't really change so much. As you can see, the transmog hunt really did change up this month because I had to fit in the goals from this month plus raid. Um, and I get a day off because I, I decided I want a day off. So I'm taking one. So. That was not, I didn't mean to burp when I did that. I am so sorry. Uh, <laughs> but um, today I did something new. Today I did something new, which was recommended to me by, um, you guys know that I did the, the sit down with the social media person. And it was recommended to me that I try something a bit new. Um, and so I, I created those graphics today. Um, I know Shah is happening. Um, uh, I want to be Abby Fear probably. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, in uni, I had a white lab coat, like everyone does, but I also bought a black one. Because I could. Uh, <laughs> do what makes you happy. Money isn't the only thing that has value. I'd rather earn a bit less and be happy than miserable with a high bank balance. I agree. With one asterisk. Give me just a second to make sure I get, yeah, I've got my time. So, um, I'd rather learn, I'd rather earn a bit less and be happy as long as I could still cover all of my stuff and be able to put something into savings for bigger purchases than earn, than, than have a high bank balance and be miserable. For one of my core needs, like, uh, and I was actually, I spoke to my dad last night. We had a two hour phone conversation because there's a, uh, I alluded to on Wednesday that there's a really big decision in my life coming up and uh, I'm, it's a thing. Um, so I, I called my dad and asked him for some help. Well, I asked him if I could call him later and then um, he called me when he got home. Um, and so, yeah, we had a two hour conversation because that many bloody tangents, uh, and we, he, he really, really helped, uh, really amazingly helped. But one of the things we were talking about was that I have like part of who I am is that I have this core need for financial stability. There are so many people out there who, um, they use credit cards. Um, I have a credit card. I use it for groceries and it direct debits the full amount out of my account every month. And it's in order for me to build a credit rating because I, I've never had a loan. I've never had a credit card. Well, that's a lie. I did have a little credit card and I, but I didn't, I never used it. It was an emergency purchases only thing. Uh, and I never touched it. Um, I, I've ne I do not have an afterpay account. I do not use any of those fucking bullshit that I know that there's no fees and blah, 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 I don't care. If I don't have the money, it's not mine to spend. End of story. Full stop. Uh, and that's because of my, my, my core need for financial stability. Um, there are a multitude of reasons for that, um, that my psych would have a field day with, uh, a whole bunch of, you know, childhood stuff and, and early teenager stuff. Like when I started actually learning about what was going on with my family finances and things like that, um, like the, the thought of not being able to cover my bills actively terrifies me actively, like if I think about it, I start getting uh, a little panicky. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so we were having that discussion about uh, that financial stability thing. So if I was in a miserable place and I was offered a job that would make me happy, but I couldn't cover my bills, I still wouldn't take it because I, I need, I need for that shit to be covered. I need to know where my rent is coming from. I need to know where my food is coming from, all of that. I, it has to be done. It has to be covered or the answer is no. Um, but yeah, in, as long as all of that's fine, as long as I'm 100% perfectly stable, yes, having a massively high savings balance is not, is not a, a big need for me. I just, I need to be safe. I need to be safe. Um, but anyway, uh, so I have uh, one of these, which has just gone enormous. Good Lord. Excuse me. What are you... Oh, holy cow. All right, can we just... Thank you. That is a new type of graphic that I have made as of today with templates and fun things and stuff. And that... Go on your phone. That's for stories. It's an Instagram story. So, um, one of the things... Yes, I want to remove it. One of the things that social media expert person told me was that I need, like I'm, we was talking earlier about how um, uh, I'm doing great with a, a post every day, a reel every day. Uh, I need to start using my stories more, not just when I go live. Um, and uh, also potentially looking at, at, at IGTV, which, you know, streaming from Instagram, I don't know, look, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's one of the things that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, that's what I did today. So the stuff I still have to do, like in terms of admin shit, I've got to go through clips for the last month and pull them all out. I've got a spreadsheet because of course I do, but I, I track, you know, what I've used, what I haven't used so that if I, if next month I need 30, 30, 30 clips and I've, I've only got 27, I can come back to, to April or to Marches and find three that are suitable that I haven't used yet. So I, I keep track of all that kind of stuff. 
Um, and then I need to go through and convert them from what they are, which is this, to vertical so I can put them on real, uh, Instagram Reels and on TikTok. Um, I need to schedule all that and make like, no, you know, this is when this is going to go live and this is when this is going to go live. And then I get reminders on my phone to do that through the app, which is fantastic. Um, I have to write five tweets a day for the entire month. Um, where's my, oh, I've closed off my thingamajig. Uh, so I write all my tweets, uh, I schedule all the Instagram reels and then also convert them to TikToks. Um, I write all the captions and everything as well. Uh, hashtaggery, all that bull crap. Uh, Facebook posts, there's a Facebook post that goes live every day um, talking about the next stream. That all needs to be written and scheduled. Um, all, yeah, all the tweets. I have a, a, like a map of what is tweeted at what time on what days, that kind of thing. Um, then... Uh, the really big tricky bit is Instagram posts. Uh, for me, that's the, the most difficult one, but I'm trying to get better at it. Uh, and that's where more work is going to have to be invested. Uh, but yeah, Jas is going to start helping me with some of that because it's, it doesn't sound like listing it off. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's like 16, 20 hours of work minimum. And that's if I get real smooth and everything and then I don't go, shit, I've only got 25 days worth of Instagram posts, where the hell am I going to find five more days from? Um, that's when I go make myself a bubble tea and go, yeah, snap, go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, and it's not like, it's not necessary, but it is if you want to grow. You don't have to have a super awesome social media presence if you want to be a Twitch streamer. You don't. But if you want to grow and you want to make it into something that you get an actual income from, you do. It's all part of it. Mmm. Mmm. Speaking of which, yeah, throw me a follow on Insta if you don't mind. It actually helps. Like, I need to make a pitch deck. It's, it's a graphic that has stuff about me and my face and brands I've worked with and all of my social stats. And I send that to a brand and say, hi, I want you to sponsor me, here's why. And they have a read of that and then they decide whether or not they want to. And the bigger those numbers are, the happier they'll be. Three. Aim for one, 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 one. I like that, that's a nice goal. Better than a toot. <laughs> you have 108 friends to get involved, spread the word. <laughs> You just decided to take a day off in this economy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, this big decision that I mentioned before is um, all of Wednesday's stream, I was having a mild level panic attack. Um, I didn't sleep that night. Uh, all of yesterday, I didn't eat. I didn't, I couldn't eat the entire, like I ate the chips on the Wednesday night, but um, I, I couldn't eat yesterday. Uh, and then I had the call with dad and then managed to put dinner away. Um, it's, I need a day off. I, I need a day to, and I can't really do it super soon, but I do, I need a day to sit down and collect my thoughts and plan out, because there are going to be some big changes, um, plan out what my life is going to look like. Uh, and, you know, have a couple backup plans in case it doesn't work like that. Um, because, you know, Nothing ever works quite the way you want it to. Um, yeah, it's it's really scary. So yes, I'm taking a day off, and it's the it's the Warcraft mobile game announcement day <laughs> that I'm taking off. Ah, uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Moving to Melbourne? Not yet. Not yet. I never borrow for anything apart from my mortgage. That is one thing that I will borrow for um, because I feel like that's meaningful debt. Like you have a home to re like to represent that and there's no way in hell I will ever be able to save up to put in savings that much money. It just, it, it's not, it doesn't work like that. Um, so yeah, uh, a mortgage will be something that I, that's probably the only kind of debt that I'd ever feel comfortable taking on. Car loans also would be okay, I think, because it's again, it, like people take out loans to go on a holiday. It's like, if you can't save up to buy something 
what makes you think you're going to be able to pay off the payments on the loan? Like, I just don't understand that thinking. Um, so, yeah, but um, a car loan I think I'd be okay with, but I don't have a license. I don't drive, so I don't need a car loan. Um, I've refused promotions. I didn't want the extra stress. Totally fair. Absolutely. Uh, time is right. I'm sure fear will share result. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know, I know I'm doing that whole dropping things, but this is consuming my brain to the point that it's hard not to talk about it, but I, yeah, I, I don't feel super comfortable. Um, especially because I don't have an answer yet. Like, you know, it, it's, you know, when you, someone tells you something and it's like, well, what are you going to do? And they're like, well, what's going to change? How's everything going to work? I, I can't, I don't have any. So once, once I know what's going to happen, once I have all that kind of, this is, this is what the decision is, um, that's probably when I'll talky talky. Um, because that way I'll be able to give you the story start to finish sort of thing. Um, core needs equals met, then additional income equals negotiable. Yep. Absolutely. Something proper to share there, of course. Yeah, hi, fear. Yeah, I, yeah, I went, I did a hide. <laughs> Pro streamer, look! Graphic looks good. Thank you, Cookie, I appreciate it. Thank you. I tried to make it matchy-matchy without being too, like, it's obviously it's the same, um, backdrop, it's the same colours, it's the same all that kind of stuff to try to make them connected. Um, because it's brand, it's brand-ing. Brand identification. I need people to be able to see and, like, know who I am. Like, if they look at something and go, oh, that's fear. You know, that's kind of, yes. That's what I would like. <clears throat> Go. Tiny Kappa. We wants to take fear out of the picture. Literally. Yeah, look. You're not wrong. Uh, you can also go back to older clips. You accumulate hundreds of them over six years of streaming. I know, but they're not all in my spreadsheet. But yeah, that's the idea. Is that, um... I, I have, I have actually, you might have noticed, I think it might have been in February. I think it was in February that, oh, or maybe even January, that I did use a couple of, like, my all-time, like, highest views clips, throwback clips, um, because I didn't have enough. <laughs> it's actually, because every, almost every clip that comes through, there are a couple where it's almost like, oh, somebody accidentally clicked the clip button. This is not a clip. Um, there are also some where people grab a clip so they can rewind and see something that they missed. Um, and that's fine, but that also sits in there, so I have to actually go through and, like, delete them. Um, but then beyond that, there are a lot of clips that are beautiful and bri brilliant and hilarious, but they're such in-jokes that without the additional context, they mean literally nothing. Then there are some clips where it's a 30-second clip with seven seconds of hilarity in the middle, but if you have a think about when you're scrolling through TikTok or scrolling through Instagram or scrolling through Reddit or any any platform that has video, you start watching a video and if something hilarious doesn't happen or if something doesn't start telling a story in the first two seconds, you keep going. Two to three seconds is usually how long it takes for somebody to keep going. If Yeah, so if it's not clipped correctly, um, excuse me, then it won't perform well on socials. Um, and then, yeah, stuff that's, like, super, super, super inside jokes that need additional context don't tend to do very well. Um, but we have we have enough that are... Because a lot of the stuff I talk about isn't specifically about, wow, um, a lot of it's kind of one-liner oopsie sort of stuff. Uh, so that that kind of it works from... It works from it for anyone. Um, and so that stuff does fantastically on, on stuff because, you know, I had one that went bonkers on YouTube. It was when I did the, the honey and regretted my decision immediately. Uh, and that was, yeah, it went, it went bonkers because everyone was like, oh my God, she hurt herself. Ha ha ha. Funny. So, <laughs> you know, don't need context for that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's tricky. And I, all of this I've learned in the last kind of six months or so. Oh. So bring it. Thank you. I do. I need more hair dye. Thank you so much for the gift. Much appreciated. So that's my that's my hair dye. That was a bottle of Manic Panic Vampire Red. Um, and I really need to redo my hair because uh, I do I do have like a bottle in the cupboard, but I'm so glad I have a backup now. That's phenomenal. Thank you so much for the gift. 
Ah, oh, so generous of you. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, all right, where am I? I think we're in this direction. Yeah, it is, it is amazing. Um, like, all that, like, le all the learning I've done. Oh, it's, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, streaming social media where everyone thinks you make heaps, but really when it's all said and done, you're really making three cents an hour. Actually, I'm curious. <laughs> this is, this will just be from Twitch though. I, obviously I have affiliate programs and stuff like that that I also make cash from and I'd have to look at that. But, um, where's my revenue? <sighs> um, an hours streamed? Do I have that somewhere? Time streamed. Oh my God. Oh, num locks on. <laughs> yeah, look. Um, I tend to not check my hourly very often. Um, yeah. Well, look, let's put it this way. I've streamed 102 hours in the last 30 days. Um, and that's just being live. That doesn't take into account the stuff I do after stream. Like I record the little intro that I stick on my YouTube VODs. Uh, I interact with whoever I've rated because that's making connection, that's networking. Um, and it's also introducing me and my personality to all of their viewers via chat. Um, there's the stuff I do before stream, like putting on the face and setting up all the bits, grabbing some water, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then all the, co the, the, like scheduling all the socials and crap and the, the checking emails that counts as work, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I am, um, let's just say I am well below minimum wage. Uh, Kelty, Meaty, Demon, Silver, Zalk, Trig, Absolute, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well, this is part of your routine apparently. Show it off. It is. <clears throat> I have a new flavor actually. It's in the kitchen. I need to. Maybe on Sunday I'll make bubble tea on stream before we. Before we kick off with the torture that is endless um, cathedral. Because that's what we're doing on Sunday. We're running cathedral on as many tunes as I can get through. All the hunters, then probably all the I shamans. Hydrate. <clears throat> it's the time. It's the time. Uh, mm, especially when you factor all the work that goes into it. Yes. Just don't even think about it not working. Put all your energy into it working. Positive thinking. Like, oh, absolutely, grossly. Like, big time. Um, when... No, I can't say that. Um, but no, this is this is my passion. This is my... It's And when I called streaming my passion project to dad... He said, it's not a passion project anymore. He calls me Missy Moo. He's gone, Missy Moo, it's not a passion project anymore. A passion project, lose money. You're making money. You pay tax on your on your hobby. That's not a hobby anymore. Literally, by definition, it's not a hobby anymore. Um, and this could be life-changing. I mean, it already has been life-changing, but in, in so many other ways that we haven't even seen or thought of yet. And there's no way in hell I can give up on this. I will. I will take help. Um, I will. I will get people on board to assist me. Like Jas, I'm teaching him this stuff tomorrow. Uh, not all of it. I'm. I'm not gonna overload him because I know how exhausting that is to be overloaded with information like that. But um, where I'm absolutely. I'm gonna basically teach him one thing, like one task, and I'll show him a couple of bits, and then I'm gonna leave him to do it. And we're going to jump in a Discord call and screen share, so that and I'll do a different task. And then if he has an issue with anything, he can ask me immediately, and I can look over and I can help him because I can see the screen, and then jump straight back in and do whatever I'm doing. Um, and I'm going to teach him the the like the basic stuff, like the simple simple stuff first, 
and then work uh, and the stuff that um he doesn't need logins and stuff for like uh he has uh, on twitch there's a few levels of stuff right you've got your regular viewers who can be like viewer a follower sub all that kind of stuff then you've got mods like seeker and shiba and jazz uh moderators who can who can help you know bonk naughty people on the noggin they can they're you know help you with the request queue uh redemptions they can do polls and predictions uh all that kind of stuff um and then you have another level before broadcaster so i'm at first like i'm the broadcaster then there's mods and viewers but there's a step in there i mean there's also vips but they have no actual access i mean i think they can skip slow mode if you set it to I think they might also be able to get around auto mod if you set it to, but there's another thing in there and it's called an editor. There's no badge, there's no nothing, it's it's they're an editor. So Jas is an editor, and he can change my stream title. Uh, and there are a few other bits and pieces there. He has access to some data in in my dashboard that Seeker and Shiba don't have. Um so there are some things that with his account, he can help me do them. And I just need to like, you know share him a google a google sheet and he can he can do that kind of stuff there are other things like my social media scheduling platforms where i need to give him a login he'd need to be able to log in and do it because it's all password protected um which is fine but it's like an extra step so we're starting with the easy stuff that can be done um yeah without that <clears throat> uh start that only feet teeth's account you'll be right Oh, we could do it only tea, just to throw to a bubble tea all the time. Uh, same one, just repeatedly. Didn't even say anything about changing colors this time. I can be taught. <laughs> nah, it's, um, look, I, I, I do understand exactly what you were saying. I, I, and I agree to an extent. Um, there are some brands like Twitter. The bird is so iconic that that bird could be pretty much any color under the sun and you'd know it's Twitter, you know? Um, similar with Instagram, like the, the old school Polaroid kind of style thing. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want with that and it'll still look like Instagram. I am not that recognizable. And so I do need to rely on both symbols and colors to be recognizable. That's all. I never, I didn't mean anything horrible by it or anything. It, it's, um, just a few things I've learned, uh, over the years. Ah, uh, to be honest. What some employees expect for very little is frankly terrifying. Please, those unfortunate folks working in retail and switch to effects would be able to all the time for little money. Yeah. Yep. I uh, hope that whenever you take your day off, you figure out your plan. You recharge the battery, so to speak. I think we all forget that mental well being is just as important as physical well being. Look, my mental well being is a whole lot better than my physical at the moment. I can tell you that much. Um, even though I'm super, super stressed and concerned and anxious and all that kind of stuff, um, honestly, if this same thing had come up three years ago, I'd be a mess. I wouldn't be able to stream for a week. I am doing exceptionally well handling it, even though I am still having a physiological response to it. Um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, um, the day off is next week. It's next Wednesday, like this Wednesday coming. So I've got Sunday and then a Monday and then I'm taking Wednesday off and then back on Friday. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be good. I just, yeah, have a, a night to chill out and, uh, but not just chill out. It will be work. It will be work. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I hope that whenever you, uh, that's what I just responded to. Please be a have some more. <laughs> you spent them all. That's so funny. There you go. <laughs> I am a generous, benevolent being. Anyway, the clip's name is the stream's title. It's obviously made by mistake is what I assume usually. I do actually have a couple of clips in my spreadsheet for reposting that have the stream title as the title though. So you, you gotta watch every one of them. And that's honestly collecting the clips. It's not difficult in the slightest. A lot of what I do is not difficult at all. It's very, very simple. It just takes forever. <laughs> Once you know, so it's it's difficult when, um, like, trying to figure out what works is difficult.
but actually making the content and posting it, like scheduling it and have it, that's very simple. The process is simple. And if I can like offload the bits that I know to Jas, he'll be fine. He's a very, very intelligent person. He'll get it. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure that he can't actually delete, even though he's a bloody editor. I don't think he can actually delete clips, but what he can do is put in the spreadsheet, like delete in all capitals and make it the row red. And then I can just very easily grab that, delete it, grab that, delete it. I'll probably check them before I delete them. The, at least the first couple times just to see like, cause it's still, you know, it's the educational thing. Um, you are going to make boo-boos the first couple times you do something. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can trust him. He knows, like, he sees all my shit on socials. He knows. Clips need context sometimes. Sometimes. Oh my god, I am 12 minutes behind on chat. Did you get your mug? Not yet. Not yet. Um, there was... I think it was the... It's been shipped, I think. There was one that had an issue with it. It might have been the mug. Um, but, it, it, like, I got an email saying that there was an issue, and I'm like, oh, I'll check it tomorrow when I check my emails. But then by the time I got to it, the issue had been resolved. Um, so, not yet. It does, however, say that the estimated delivery date is tomorrow. Um, I think it's shipped from an American... And a U. Uh, I don't know. It hasn't arrived yet. But uh, when it does, you will. I will unbox on stream. If you're in Discord, um, I when I get a package, I say so. And then I unbox it on stream. Um, so if you'd like to see when it arrives, then that'd be the way to do it. But if it doesn't arrive tomorrow, on the 1st of May, I'm able to open a thing and get them to grab the tracking information. Just because they deal with so many hundreds of orders, it takes a lot of effort for them to actually get the tracking info and send it out to every single gift receive recipient and all that kind of stuff. So they just put in a, an estimated time, and then if it hasn't arrived by the delivery date, then you can request tracking info, uh, which I think is a good system, personally. Um, but no, not yet. Not yet, but it has been shipped. Uh, I don't know, I want a box of tissues. <laughs> Uh, some clips need context uh, sometimes, including the context in the clip can make it too long to actually clip it. Yes, sometimes the context is more than 60 seconds. It is, it is a problem. It is a problem. And you guys can't highlight, which is understandable, but also annoying. But that's okay. There are definitely times where I stick in a, a clip without context because it's hilarious. And it's like the context almost makes it worse, you know? But yeah, sometimes. I talk too much is basically the, yeah. I am Mr. Mary. How does Twitch actually work with tax? Does it use services like automatic tax or are you self-employed and file a return? So, um, I have a tax form, W something. Um, it's an, a US tax form because I'm being paid by a United States company. Australia and the United States have a tax treaty. So they don't hold very, they don't withhold very much tax from my payouts. They do withhold some, but it's in accordance with the tax treaty with Australia. So they withhold a little bit and they pay out the rest. And then I get a tax form at the end of the year. I've got mine, actually. That's a really good point. I probably can. Uh, tax 2122. It is a 1042S form. 1042S. Um, foreign person's US source income subject to withholding is, uh, yeah. And there's an exemption code, and there's a tax rate, and another tax rate, and another tax rate. Um, and it has all of my personal details, which I will not be talking about. Um, holy fuck. Seri <sighs> Sorry, I'm... <clears throat> it also states my total income for the year, and how much tax has been withheld. It's not much. It's it's a chunk. <laughs> it's a ch that, that chunk would be very nice in my pocket, but it's not that much. Uh, and then I give that to my accountant here in Australia, and that's um, under, on my tax return, there's a section for foreign income, and that's where Twitch goes. 
uh, and then you also report there that this much has already been withheld by the US and then the ATO does all of their calculations and tells me, money please. Uh, last year I had to pay over $1,000 in tax to the ATO because of that. Because there's no, like, uh, a regular, you know, employment in Australia. You have PAYG. You have pay-as-you-go tax. So every, every, you don't even see the tax. You just put in your tax return at the end of the year and you either get some back or you don't kind of thing. Sometimes you have to pay some if your employer is really bad at doing the, the taxi stuff. Um, but for me, I, I, for the last few years, I've had to pay. And not, not a small amount. <laughs> um, because there is no pay-as-you-go for Twitch particularly. Um, so I put all that in, I give it all to my accountant, they do the magic numbery stuff because I am an assistant accountant at my job but I am not an accountant. I do not have the qualification nor am I a tax accountant. Um, I don't deal with that. My ob calculates tax and payroll. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, but then this year they told me that I had paid enough tax that now I have to pay it quarterly. So I pay the ATO every three months, my tax from Twitch. But hopefully that because that, because the amount that they're charging me every three months is based on my income over the last couple of years and the projected growth, this is the other thing, because uh, like how much I'm earning has increased like a fair bit over the last couple of years because I've really been pushing and I've been, I made partner and I did all this kind of stuff. Um, they think I'm gonna have a crap load more growth this year than I'm having currently. So they're probably overcharging me, which means that this might be the first year in like three or maybe four years that I actually get a tax return. Plus when I get my Twitch payments, I put aside money for super and I put aside money for tax and then whatever's left goes into dentistry. And I know for a fact that the amount I'm putting aside for tax is too much. I'm putting aside too much. Uh, which means I just take that and throw it at the ATO and whatever's left, I get to put towards my dentistry, which is really good. I'm really hoping that I, I actually end up with enough around tax time that I can finish off the 23,000 that I need for my dentistry and maybe have enough left over for the laptop. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's not clean and tidy, uh, and I would definitely recommend, like, once you get to the point, there's a there's a, a number you can call for the ATO. If anyone out there is a, a streamer and you haven't paid tax on your income from Twitch, um, there is a number for the Australian Taxation Office, the ATO, that you can call, and you can give them the details of what you've earned, and they can tell you, and how much you've spent, and they can tell you, like, get a personal decision on whether it's a hobby or a business for you, your personal situation. There is a threshold, but sometimes if you're close to that threshold, even when you get over the threshold, you still need to have it confirmed by the ATO that you need to declare it. Um, and then get yourself an accountant. Preferably someone who knows how to handle foreign income. And squeeze as much out of those rebates as you get, <laughs> like claiming everything on tax. Uh, I claim my WoW sub, I claim any video game purchases that I play on stream. Very specific, it can't just be anything you buy that's gaming. It must be used in the earning of your income. So if I play a game on stream that isn't WoW, I claim that. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I've got depreciation going on my PC, but maybe not because I think that might have wrapped up because it's old enough now. Um, but if I buy any upgrades, claim that. Um, uh, internet bill, power bill, not rent, unfortunately, uh, but internet bill and power bill, I claim a percentage of that. The, the tax accountant has calculated the percentage. We, you know, I said how many people are living here and like, I work from home, I stream from home, blah, 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 blah. And so they, they figure out a percentage that's claimable, uh, because it's a home business. Um, all that kind of stuff. It, it all, yeah. Um, and I also tell them uh, if I've received any product from companies. Because sometimes receiving a gift in lieu of payment, you need to pay tax on that sometimes, but it's only over a certain value. But I tell them everything anyway, uh, because that way it's not my fault for withholding information. It's on them for not claiming it correctly. Um, but so far, so good. So far, everything's been like under, if someone gives me a car, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, or if somebody, like if, if Logitech decides they want to send me to, or actually more appropriately, Blizzard, if Blizzard decide that they want to take me to BlizzCon and pay for my flights and stuff, 
that I'll have to probably pay tax on that because it's it's you know it's gifts in term in in lieu of payment sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think I'm not. 100% clear on that, but it's absolutely, you're better to be safe than sorry. Tell your accountant bloody everything and they'll filter through and find what's important. That's what their job is. That's that's what they are trained to do. Uh, but yes, always ask your accountant if you have any kind of questions about how to claim stuff and what your income should be and all this kind of, ask your accountant. Um, don't, like most, most decent creators on the internet, if you ask them that kind of question, will say, like, you know, here's roughly what I do without giving away any personal details, like actual income, but you should definitely find your own accountant to assess your situation. Yeah. Yeah. Rant over. Uh, special privileges to VIPs. Other than that, they're still just users. Yes, but they get a fancy badge too. Editors have deeper access. Someone puts you in that role. One should highly take it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It's mostly I gave it to Jazz so that when I, I used to change games a fair bit and I'd always forget to update my title. Um, or I'd do change what I was doing in WoW and forget to update my title so he could do that for me. That was, yeah, it was, you know how I've joked a couple of times that Jazz is my memory? That's why he has the editor permissions. <laughs> Uh, it just blows my mind how much work streaming is these days. I used to stream back in the days of Mixer before I needed to go out and actually make some money. I still love to do it. As a mechanical engineer, wouldn't be able to match the income without years of dedicated work to it. And even then, you probably wouldn't. Um, I've never been a high earner in terms of like my day job and stuff, I, and that's okay. Like it was, I was never in dire straits or anything. Like I was always okay. I, I know how to live within my means. I'm very, very good at budgeting, and I'm very good at living within my means. Um, but so it was never like, oh, I have to take a massive, but I also haven't quit my day. I've got a day job. I work two days a week as an assistant accountant and that pay, that covers all my bills and my rent and my food and stuff. That covers all the necessities. And then Twitch is my fun money, except at the moment it's all going towards my dentistry. So it's medical money. Do you know what I mean? Like it, that's, that's my disposable income as it were. Uh, I am going to have to start funneling that, a bit of that back into the stream to, to build it up and develop it and, and get it to the point where it's making proper money so that I can cover some stuff, but that's fine. That's, you know, discussions to be had and actions to be taken. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think the big thing about it for me is that I'm just so goddamn passionate about it. It is a pay cut. Like <laughs> it, it's a pay cut from, from working a standard job for sure. Like if I, I have, you know, Twitch and I have day job, if I had just a day job, I would be making more guaranteed, 100% guaranteed. But as I said to dad yesterday, I can, I can be having such a, like, I could be so run down and I've been doing socials all day and my brain is fried and I just want to sleep and my get ready for a stream alarm goes off and I go and I put my makeup on and I do all that stuff and I grab my things and I forget 17 things because I do that, my brain is trash. And I sit down to stream and I turn on the camera. Hi. And it just disappears. It makes me happy. It brings me joy. It It is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And like being able to create content and, and do that, like if I, if I want to have kids one day, it will go a lot, like I'll be able to maintain some of that income while possibly, I don't, I don't know. Look, the more I, th the more I think about it, the more I'm like, girl, you're ridiculous. But um, like it, it will prevent me from losing it, having to take a, a ton of like unpaid leave especially with my body the way that it is like I, I have autoimmune condition and it messes with a whole bunch of stuff and I'm sure childbirth will be not a good thing for me to go through um so if that is a thing that happens in the future having that income even if it obviously it'll drop down because I'm not super super active because I'm taking care of a baby but it will still be something I'll still be contributing something to the household that isn't just keeping the child alive um and there's just it it is such and and with the and with my you know the autoimmune condition if I do have a flare-up and if it gets really bad to the point that I can't go to my day job and I exhaust all my leave and blah 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 I can still do some of this stuff from home. I can do shorter streams. I can wrap myself in a blanket if I have to and like, you know, play video games and, and talk to you guys and hopefully that, you know, that can help me heal a little bit mentally, even if my body is still behaving like a shit. Like it's, it just, it is so good for me in so many different ways. I cannot give up. I can't. 
physically impossible. Anyway. Thanks, mom. Buys lunch order. Yep. Yep, think people should take any role seriously. Uh, you're basically trusting someone to behave in your interest and ensuring ensure you aren't having your earning potential compromised. And that's that's it, hey. Like, people don't people don't kinda it's like, oh yeah, they're just they're just a mod, they're helping me with chat, or you know, it's it's a meme having everyone in chat be a mod or whatever, but like these people can go rogue and they can ban everyone and they can do stupid stuff and no one can silence them. And you know, if you go AFK and someone decides to spout like, you know, horrible, horrible stuff and no one can not no one can delete it because they're all just mods. I can't ban a mod. I have to unmod then ban. Like it's do you know what I mean? It's a it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So really, yes, absolutely. I'm only 14 minutes behind on chat. It's fine, not worried, just curious. Of course, of course. Uh, I didn't think that one out. <laughs> read people. Okay, I will read in my only huh? Editors can delete clip. Uh don't think they can. I don't think they can. Um, last time we rumps an editor as well, um, and last time he tried he couldn't. So unless they've changed that in the last uh, year or so. I guess on the behind in chat forgot the raid. What raid? Huh? Oh the ra ah! <laughs> That's yeah. Let that go first. Oh, that's great. I love it. Ah, uh, it's twice you run the thing. Obviously using your mod privileges. Well done, Sika. Well done. I was in the process. My dad says. I'm gonna be behind. Redeem email only if we got all about raid. Hey, baby, what I got it wrong? It's fine. Oh my god. But the thing is, right, Seeker, every time something has gone oopsie, you have been the one to recognize it and go, oh. And then, do you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, it's hilarious. Ah, uh, Rampagey installment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but every three months, though. So it's not like super ridiculous. And you can B pay it, which is super nice. Super nice. Dentistry, yes! Uh, I have $23,000 worth of Onos oh with my teeth that need fixing. Uh, I've had two surgeries. I've got no surgeries left, which is really good, um, but I'm not quite halfway through the expenditure yet. There's a lot of, yeah, I've got some issues. Surgery means money, years. Living in Ellen. Wisdom teeth surgery, oh no! Excuse me. Um, I hope you're feeling a whole lot better, Hobo. I hope you're doing really, really well and that you're healing great and that everyone, everything's exactly as it should be. Someone in chat really evil wanted to bully fear. They may buy fear a car. I hope we don't have that kind of person here. I, I can't use a car. I don't have a license. <laughs> You'd have to buy Jass a car. And in that case, it's buying for Jass and doesn't affect me at all. Uh... <laughs> Uh, where am I going? Almost straight. There we go. Perfect. Um, I feel like before that the person could buy a bunch of tier three recurring subs. Yeah, sub bomb. 50 tier threes. Spread that following power. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. I uh, pay attention and learn after not paying attention or thinking. That's totally okay. Totally fine. It's a good thing means you're doing well for sure. Right, Octavius? And also welcome on in. Hello. And I've caught up. Brilliant. Yeah, it's, and I, like... And one side of it, it's like, ugh. But then the other side, it's like, honey, you don't have to pay it as a lump sum once a year. That's fantastic. Also, you're earning enough that you have to pay quarterly. Go you. It's a real business. So yeah, no, I'm um, not angry about this. It's just, it was a bit of a shock when I was like, oh, that's a thing. I mean, of course it's a thing. I do the same, like, I work for a business that has to pay tax like that. It's, you know, yeah. Mm. Like actually paying the GST to the government once you've earned it is it's super weird. If someone buys you a car, it's a reason to learn to drive. Or have Jazz drive it for me. Sit in the back or like fancy like sipping my bubble tea. It'll be fine. <laughs> hey Jazz, here's a car for reasons. Enjoy it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. A lot of the time these days, if you actually, if you enter giveaways that are cars, um, you, act, like, you have an option to, um, take either the car or not quite as much in cash. Like, not quite the value of the car, but in cash. Um, I, I found it interesting, because I'm like, what if, what if you enter this just for the shits and giggles, but then you can't drive, like, you can't drive or something? Um, 
like, do you have to go and just sell it? Or like, what's the, what's the legality around it? But yeah, some of them have in the T's and C's that you, you can, the prize is either the car or you can, you can take it in cash, but not as value, not as much value. Um, kind of like, uh, when you win the lottery, a lot of the time you can elect to have it paid out in one lump sum or paid out over blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Sometimes, not always, not all. Obviously, read your T's and C's before you do anything. But, uh, yeah. You are in for a treat. Kind of disappointed I didn't win the lottery last night. Did anyone? Ah, <laughs> uh, if I save 100k, can I make baby mod and record myself? Absolutely, you can. Well, this is the thing if you record a sound command, what's the procedure? You send me the mp3. As long as the mp3 doesn't get me banned from Twitch, I'm fine with it. Absolutely you can. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> no, there was a 20 million Powerball last night, Thor. I have the app so it pings me when the um when the what's its get really high, the jackpots. I do have a little bit of money that I can eat. No one did. No one won. Interesting. I mean neither did I, but like <clears throat> I didn't do too badly, but I didn't, I did the no divisions, no, no payout, but I got one row where I had four of the numbers. I got one row where I got the Powerball and no numbers, no other numbers. Good. Wonderful. Um, but it jackpotted to 40 mil. Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. <laughs> That would certainly make some things a little bit easier, that's for sure. Is that 100k? Nice! Nice, biggest change to win in lottery is not to play, but if you win, it's a good price. Oh, biggest chance to win! Yeah, look, the the thing is, like, someone's gotta win. Why not me? And I have a, a small, very small amount of disposable income um, from the day job, so... Oh well. It's a nice thought to have. And, and sometimes when you're in the, you know, depths of whatever it is, sometimes having a bit of a daydream about what you might do if you win can be enough to pull you out of it, which allows you to do the other things you need to do to get to a better place. It's, um, like, uh, antidepressants, um, except obviously far more expensive. But, um, you know, the, the thing with antidepressants, if, if you are in that pit, antidepressants aren't going to make you happy. That's not how they work. What they do is, like, if you're stuck in a pit, they're the latter. It gives you a way to get out of the hole, but you still have to do the work yourself. Um, where the the day that I, I used to be on antidepressants, I'm on um, different meds now because uh, my diagnosis has changed. But back when I was on those, um, the day that I realized that they were working was I kind of stopped for a second in the kitchen and I'm like, I'm doing meal prep. I haven't done meal prep in like a month or two or five or something. Um, and what, what had basically happened is that I'd been in such a pit that I couldn't really do anything. I, I just, I, they, I was barely functional. And the antidepressants took the edge off enough that I had the energy to do meal prep, which would give me, you know, healthy food, which helps improve mood. It, it allowed me to actually go for a walk and have the energy to not be like lazy and, and catch the bus all the way. I could get off a stop earlier because I had the energy to walk the rest of the way. And that exercise would help get me further out of the pit and so you know what I mean like so it's yeah having a daydream about what the ticket could be what what the ticket could grant in future um can sometimes be a nice thing to think about sometimes not always um Okay, 
Where are we? What are the odds? Like, one in eight million for the Pavel? I actually don't know, and now I want to. Give me a second. Uh, Fade, Draz, Fort, DNC, Elytria, Seeker, and Demon. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Let me... Paladin. I'll get us off cooldown. Um... I have quests to turn into. Boop! Hmm... Awesome. Place those units, guys. Do the thing. Uh, Powerball, Queensland. Because I'm sure the states all do different ones, don't they? Maybe it's under game rules. Oh, it's a PDF. Um. Oh, this is a big document. Oh, there's 104 pages. Powerball, 48. Definitions, entering, minimum number, entry form, system entry. No, no, no. Let's do this so we don't miss Shaw. Um, top up with the field. I hit multi week, advanced drawing. Entry, distribution. Jackpot. <laughs> System prize combinations. I hit prize combinations. It doesn't it doesn't say powerball. Win chance. Win probability. That's what I want. Ah, um, probability of winning a lottery complete guide. It is not one in eight million. It is not one in eight million. For Powerball. Ooh, this. This is on Lotto Land. I don't know. This is Oz Lotto. It also says Irish Lotto, Euro Jackpot, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know. Uh, but it says, it says Powerball here. I don't know which Powerball it is. It could be a different country. But it says it's one in 292,201,308. That's not quite one in eight million. But it's, um, it's a thing regardless. There you go. Fun numbers with fear. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Apparently the Irish Lotto, so that's, that's the jackpot odds. The chance of winning any prize in Powerball is 1 in 25. But that could mean it doesn't quite pay for your ticket, or it's the jackpot. And anything in between is 1 in 25. Those aren't bad odds. They're also not great. They're also not great. US had 473.1 million jackpot, had a winner last night. Yeah, your lottos over there are enormous. Like, enormous. 
Uh, do you like stuff? Want to support Fia? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. We've just recently hit 1,000 followers, which is a huge big thing for the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me. Allows increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all the profiles at uh, all my links. You can type exclamation socials. Uh, or you can scroll down underneath the video player. And there are some links there as well in the about fear bit. Off to the right hand side. Yes. Yes. Probably in that area. It's a $2 shot at a daydream. Yeah, exactly. A little bit. Because fear is always like that. If you don't play, you can't win. But the challenge is really small, of course. Uh, chances with a C, not with a G. Uh, but yes. Yeah, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Um, we did the we did do that. Good research thing. Interesting. Interesting. Powerball is now pretty much nationwide for the states. I think pretty much is there a few states holding out against it for reasons. Yeah, probably. Probably. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which Powerball that's talking about, but I can't imagine that they're, like, too vastly different, you know? Oh, that is America. Okay, so as as with both the Irish and UK lottos, America's Powerball also went through a major format change in 2015. Changes increased the jackpot odds considerably, but also allowed for a bigger prize pool and more rollovers. Result was a record-breaking jackpot in January. Biggest lottery jackpot of all time, worth a staggering 1.586 billion, uh, which is approximately 2.05 billion in AUD. Um, and I remember that one. I remember, and everyone here was buying tickets in it, even, you know, in different countries, because you could do it through the, um, uh, like through, through Lotto Land. But uh, everyone was like, yeah, it's fine. We just, oh, fuck. Do I need to? The Arbiter sees all truths. I think I need to, nah, we'll just, we'll just go to the garrison. It means I probably won't be able to go back to the garrison, but um, let's see. <sighs> I forgot that I had started to level that one. Uh, I think? No, why was I? I was there for a reason, I just don't remember what it was. <clears throat> I don't have a Dalaran Hearthstone on this one because it's one of the new tunes. Um... My gorge odds, yeah. Every time I play the email telling me I've won a free ticket, yay. That's awesome. <laughs> That's the thing, hey, if it pays for its own ticket, then hey, brilliant. Free ticket. But yeah, um, everyone was betting on the, like, it, everyone was talking about, yeah, yeah, you can use this website to buy a ticket for the American lottery. And I'm like, that's not how it works. You were buying a ticket gambling on the outcome of the American lottery. Like, it's very specifically, it's on the outcome. They they had some stuff talking about, you know, if if you win, you will receive a prize equivalent to blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't, there were, there were some things in there that was like, you wouldn't be willing winning a two billion bucks. Like, no way in hell. Um, but anyway. Uh, that's fine. Look, hey, people have fun with it. And if, if they've got the... So it, that's the thing. If you've got the disposable income and it's not harming you, if it's not an addiction, I see no issue with it. It's when it becomes that problem. That's when it starts. Yeah. All right. We're going to heavenly... If I could spell it correctly, that'd be great. There we go. Imagine winning the Powerball at least three generations. It doesn't have to work. Yeah, but then imagine the first generation that does have to work. God, they're gonna be little shits. Uh, I don't need to buy tickets. Always imagined if I did, I would want to help as many people as I know. Uh, many people I know as possible. Even a few thousand dollars could be life-changing people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, we were talking on Wednesday about how one day I would absolutely adore to be in the position where, you know, we uh, we have a charity stream and at the end of the stream I go, oh, we've raised $2,000? Awesome. I'm going to match that. And for it to be no big deal. Like, that would be... Like, even if I had had to, like, set aside money to be able to do that and I can match up to X amount or whatever, I still 
would love to be able to do that or do a charity stream in that, you know, however much we raise up to five grand, I'm, I'm going to match it sort of thing to encourage those donations for a good cause. Like that would just, that would, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. That would be, that's ideal. Um, that would be, yeah, that'd be phenomenal. I don't see it happening in my lifetime. Not at all. Uh, but a girl can dream. Anyone of any gender can dream. <laughs> I was mentioned at the moment, idiot, she's playing up physical health is distracting me at the moment. Wasn't there a billion dollar US Powerball recently? Yeah, that was what it was talking about. Um, I know you probably said that before I said that, so that's all, yeah. Um, but it was, um, yeah, result was a record breaking jackpot in January, the biggest lottery jackpot of all time, worth a staggering 1.586 billion, uh, which is approximately 2.05 billion in Australian dollars at the time that this was written. Uh, which of course has changed a lot since 20th of April 2018. Good lord. <gasps> How much the world has changed in four years. <sighs> but yeah, it was enormous. It was, and people all over the world were using websites to bet on the outcome of that country's lottery and stuff because it's just, it was so much money. Uh, if someone gave me 100k completely out of the blue of the change that would make to my quality of life, remove that much extra pressure on a home loan would be huge. Oh, for sure. For sure. Finish paying for my dentistry. Buy the bloody laptop. Down payment on a house. My goods are crafted with great care. <sighs> the same amount of money as a lot of there's a lot of Twitch subs in it. Well, okay, hang on. What was that? 2.05 billion. Math time! Uh 2.05. Two, ah, now look, 2.05, no, 2.050, yep, that pushes it into billion, good. Divided by, how much are the AUD subs? Are they 7.99 or 8.99? Um, can I see this in my own chat? I click this button, 7.99, perfect. By the way, seven ninety nine. That is two hundred and fifty six million five hundred and seventy thousand seven hundred and thirteen subs with some change. Divide that by eight hundred. Three hundred and twenty thousand seven hundred and thirteen months worth of full time income for me. Eight hundred tier one subs is that'd be full time income for for me, like to cover my bills and shit. I did, of course I did the calculations. You know that. Um, so then that's months divided by 12 for years. And yeah, it's 20, 20, 26,726 years worth of monthly income. Methinks I'd have uh, to do a will. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'd spend that. Like, uh, craziest prize I've seen at Lotto is 300 mil. I don't remember that one, but I definitely believe you. That's, yeah. Uh, Australian ones don't get super ridiculously high. Um, but that's probably a good thing. The country would go batty if it hit a billion. Excuse me. Such a goal though, however much you raise up to the cost of Macca's cheeseburger, I'll match. Oh, I watched the stream yesterday, would give out 2,000 gifted subs if he got a mount. He made those promises quite a few times. He's the kind of person that would also give that away. That kind of stuff would be, be like, amazing. I would love to do that. Like, oh god, yes. So that's 16k or so. Whoa, yeah. Well, it depends on like where you are and stuff in the the uh, what's it's. But 2,000 by 7.99 is uh yeah, just under 16 grand. 15,980 dollars in Australian currency. Yeah, I think they said the tax was over a quarter of a million on it if you win. Yeah, sorry, quarter of a billion. Yeah. $7.99! Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, also, hi Kay. Welcome back, Rel. Hello. Think that I cover you? Oh, I reckon it might. I reckon it might. But yeah, 800 subs a month is uh, is full-time for you. Comfortably. And that's, but that's without sponsorships. That's no affiliate income, blah, 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 blah. Right? So, um, but yeah, 800 subs is full-time. Uh, in case you're curious, currently on 155. Pretty damn good. Not quite 800, but that's okay. 
it's it's this thing this thing I've learned to do, which is to be happy and content with what I have, while still aiming for more. And that's all right. I just need to win a lottery to make Fira a full timer. Easy peasy. Yep, go do it. And then be able to part with the money once you win. <laughs> Highest we've had was just over thirty mil. Interesting, interesting. With your one coin in our little wee country. Highest we had was 38.4 mil. Hey, hey, grats on the great charity stream. Thank you, K. 550 raised. How awesome is that? I'm so happy with that result. So, so happy. Uh, also, you get over a billion plot requests and become full time paid staff so I can quit my job. Um, look, I have to say, first dibs on that would have to go to Jazz. But once we're done with that, we'll, yeah, we'll see how we go. Mm. That also means I have to do like a shitload of paperwork though. To bring someone on like as an employee and pay like super and tax and all that kind of stuff. Look, when we get there, I'll talk to my accountant. When we get there. Um, but mm, like I was saying earlier about how um, uh, I'm teaching Jazz how to do some of the back-end admin stuff, but there is a chance that it won't be enough, right? And that I'll need to, like, come to the mods and things like that. And I was, like, I've been thinking about this to the extent that I know I would prefer to do it via invoices. Because in terms of me, um, paying on an invoice and stuff versus paying, like, a salary or just sending you money, like, I can't, I can't just send somebody money to do stuff. I can't. I have an ABN, everything is registered. I, it is probably illegal. I don't know that it's actually illegal, but it's probably illegal. Um, so it'd kind of be like, like I do with Shiba. I purchase a product from Shiba. Shiba sends me an emote and an invoice and I pay it. <laughs> so it'd be kind of like an invoice for services rendered. Um, you know, uh, posted social media, two hours amount. Uh, and then I'd just pay that and then you can handle the stuff on your end <laughs> in terms of the tax income and all that kind of crap. Although if it's literally like once a month or once every couple of months for just a couple of hours, you're not going to have to worry about like tax implications and super and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a hobby, you know, you are a hobbyist social media manager. Um, but yeah, I like at, to, to at least start with, it would absolutely be done with invoicing um, because it just, it's so much easier for everyone involved. <clears throat> mm, it's freaking amazing. Oh, and they raised, so we did 550. The whole event was over 30,000 raised. Just amazing. So, so happy for them. And they, the, I emailed them all of my stats and everything because part of my contract. And um, they came back and said, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be able to jump into your stream. Um, we look forward to working with you again in future. Um, like they, they really, like they, ha they were, they were happy about it. So that's, and that's what you want. That's what you want. Because, um, I, I think I mentioned that I was doing the stream for Pank One Network and it was sponsored by Pank One Network, but like most companies, they do it through an intermediary. So there was a company who like took all the detail for Pank One and then went out and found influencers do the thing and then made a short list and then came back to them and then they chose what they wanted and then all that, like they're, they manage everything so that the, the network, so that the charity can focus on their charity stuff, right? But this company in the middle doesn't just do charity work. So that's fun. I've told them I definitely enjoyed working with them and I, I look forward to doing so again in the future. Because those contacts, man, this industry is not big. <laughs> this industry is not large. They talk. It's great. Um, so we did good, and I did good, and they're happy, and that's what matters. One billion Jess will be fine. Yeah, probably. One billion dollars for you. Yeah, but that's my personal money. So then I, like, if I won the lottery and it was my personal cash, I don't win the lottery with through the ABN. Do you know what I mean? So I'd have to talk to accountants about if I put that money into the business, what are the tax implications? Do I have to pay tax on it and then the business has to pay tax on it? Like how does all that, I'd have to figure that shit out first. Obviously that money would not be touched beyond maybe a celebratory dinner um, until I sat down with a financial planner an accountant and just figured everything out. Because, oh honey, you know what I'm like. I don't, I don't do anything willy nilly, nothing. Come on, help a sister out, yeah. 
I have some to handle the paperwork for you. Oh my God, you'll have a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I have someone who handles the paperwork. I need to talk to them about the paperwork and what I need from them. Ah, <laughs> oh, so many generous people. It's truly amazing the good people. Agreed. 100% wholeheartedly agreed. Oh, great news there for you. Killing it. Thank you. Great success. Uh, it would be a lot of investments. It would, yeah, it would. They'd, um, yeah. I, I genuinely, like, I cannot say that I know how it all works because I don't. I've never had to deal with that. Um, so I'm sure there'd be some funky stuff in there that I'd learn about. Uh, but first, have to win the lottery. So let's do it. Hello, Jay. Happy Friday to you too. Well done, Rel. Congratulations. Hydrates. Look, you. Um... Thank you, Seeker. I just saw your messages. Hi, the sun well. <gasps> Jay! With the sub! Thank you so much for joining the Fear Nadi. Welcome. Yay! I'm so glad. I'm hoping that that is an indication that you're enjoying your time here. And I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Yay! Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. So, three hours ago, I had a stretch redemption. Oh. That was a pop and a half. Uh, then I had a chair stream, but I'm pretty sure I did that and didn't tick one off. So I'm gonna tick that one off. Then I do another stretch. Oh, did you hear that? I felt that down my spine. Back to where I get alert, do distress. Yep, I get that, okay? Enjoy, go distress. Hope you are lovely and wonderful and well. And can do the thing. I think tonight I might have continue reading Sylvanas. I have read some, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and read for almost a week. So I think I'm going to sit down and do that at some point. But we'll see. Um, ugh, need to do the socials first because it's a new month on on Sunday, which means I have one day to do a month's worth of fucking stuff. Technically not. Um, if I am not feeling well. and so, Like last month, um, I only got seven days done. And then towards the end of the seven days, I did another seven days, etc., etc. But I hate doing it like that because it's constantly weighing on my mind. If I get it done, I don't have to worry about it for a month. Uh, posture check. Hydrate. Awesome, logic take headset is nice and loud. Yes, here from the bed. Don't get the chair stream thing. People love it, but it's not like the chair will engage. Yeah, except like my chair is a little bit different. Um, <laughs> chair has a whole personality. He's just a bit quiet, that's all. Most supportive member of the stream. It's a meme. People like memes. Mm. But yeah, it is also giving people a chance to stand up, stretch their legs, use the bathroom, grab a snack, grab a refill on their drink, like all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, not being dead air. Like if there's, if like, because we've built chair up to such a meme, I go and come back and there's three pages of chat that I've missed because everyone's saying hi to chair. And that means that people are entertaining themselves while I leave, which is a good thing because it means fewer people leave and I, I don't end up with fewer viewers just because I needed to pee, you know? It 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 works out well. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad that it works the way it does in this community at the very least. Uh, I can totally understand it not being quite as good in, in other communities though. I hope you're enjoying the story. I am, I am. I'm just getting to the bit where it's all going to be started. Like I'm all the first few chapters. I didn't know anything about really. Um, so I'm starting to get into stuff that I think I've read from short stories and stuff. God, that was so close to a full 20 minute spawn. That sucks. Ah, and I can't, I can't hearth. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go and pop ourselves in the inn and log out instantly. Um. <laughs> yeah, we like chair so much we have two emotes for chair. Thank you very much to Shiba for those beautiful creations. Uh, I do chair stream usually once mentioned. She needs to check something, use R. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate that because it's like, hee hee hee, I have an excuse now. It's great. Very helpful. Uh, Che carries the stream. Er. Cool. 
Uh, Jera is a very supportive member, absolutely. Could we get a shard drop soon? Me too. I would really like to go and do Undaster or something instead, but oh well. Blurp, come on, shard. <laughs> I'm finding a lot of things I didn't know on motivations, etc. Yeah, listen to a little bit of the audiobook on my commute to and from work. Patty's doing such a fantastic job. Yay! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, I'd love to do audiobook stuff. I don't have time! Maybe once I teach Jess some stuff, I can start recording. Another stretch. Oh. Crunchy. <sighs> Bubble tea. Bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da 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 da. I'm listening to the Wheel of Time series. Did you get Audible sponsorship in the meantime? Listen to others read to you while you social media. I've been having like Netflix playing in the background mostly. Um, I just finished up watching, uh, they've got season three and season four of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, um, it's so entertaining. At least it is for me. It's, it's like, um, like so, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to explain it. It's, it is actually good, but it is definitely a guilty pleasure. Uh, and then once that finished, it recommended to me the John Gacy tapes. Um, the serial killer, murderer, dude. Um, and I like true crime, so I was watching, listening, listening to that uh, while I was doing my stream calendar today. Double speed because my brain, yep. Fair. Lucky, hello! Welcome on in. Hope you had a wonderful stream. What were you up to? Hello! Oh, am I not? Oh, that's a bit silly. Um, my best mate uses murder podcasts as bedtime stories. Yes. Amazing. As long as I don't have bloody jump scares in them, right? Like, that's, that's it, hey. New Final Fantasy! Ah! Trying to completionist, my throat is so sore. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, sore throats suck. I think that's the direction we roughly wanted to go. Mix. Oh, wait. Oh, I can fly from... <gasps> Amazing. I'm on a monk. I'm on a monk. How does the completionist stuff go in Final Fantasy? I've heard it's kind of very different. Some Stephen King. Ooh. Uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Thank you for the cast of Command Seeker. Much appreciated. Definitely, um, you don't actually have to follow the link to, to follow Lucky, by the way. If you click on Lucky's name, you can click the follow button right there. It's a relatively new update, I think, and uh, very, very useful. So that's what I just did because I didn't realize that I wasn't following. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> my bad. But here we go. We're done. We're good. Everything's fine now. So we still have one to come. She love, of course, of course. Should I complete everything? No official thing I've looked up. Just been doing all the side quests. Gotcha. Understood. Um, however, I did also stalk you a little bit and I noticed um, you don't have a panel for any kind of wish list or anything like that, would you like an invite code to Throne? So Throne at the moment operates on a waitlist system. So if you sign up for an account with Throne, um, they're a privacy first, that's what I use for my wish list, privacy first uh, platform. Um, your purchases don't get your address or details and you don't get theirs. So everybody is protected, not just you as the streamer. Um, and it's a, they have a waitlist because the platform is is still growing and it's growing very quickly. When you make an account, you're on a waitlist. Uh, but I have codes that I can I can give you one to allow you to skip the waitlist, and then you can start building your wish list and advertising it on your Twitch channel, and um, followers can uh, buy you gifts 
if you so desire. That would be really cool. All right, give me a second. Because I've, I've been accumulating invite codes and I'm like, how do I do this? And I thought, I know. I'll send it to people who raid me. <laughs> I'll, I'll stalk them and find out if they have one already. And if they don't, I'll, uh, I'll send them one. By the sun well. <gasps> Rel, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Lucky. So generous. Much appreciated. Oh, that's not how you spell your name. This is you. Brilliant. Okay. There's a code. I've just DM'd it to you via Twitch. Um, so you go to Throne. So you can follow the link to my wishlist if you'd like. And then from there you can like sign up to create an account and then you can use that to skip the waitlist. You're very welcome. And Human URL, absolutely. Amazing Rel. <laughs> is it all very generous? Love that. Love that. I want a raid works as good as it possibly can. Yes, absolutely. I appreciate it's been an absolute blast. Oh, good. You're, you're, like, that's awesome. That's super awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad to hear that. Oh, dearie me. In fact, I got a gift today. Throne has been, oh my god, so phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. But, um, yeah, Soulbringer sent me a bottle of my hair dye, which is wonderful. So kind, so generous. And it's lipstick. And this top. And a Fitbit. Like, <laughs> It's been a little bit ridiculous, if I'm going to say so. Like, my gosh. Oh, you guys are just ridiculously generous. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I am not going to question it. <laughs> oh. uh, Alitria, Loza, Demon, Silver, Litter, Zam, Mizuma, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. In we go for another round. Another one. Paladins. I can't place another pally yet. Um, my token's 10 units. Alright, so we're leveling units. I'm going to place the centurion then. This one do? I'm not a paladin! Uh... Hmm. Interesting. It's just me. Uh, I have to give the vet just to check up on the baby horses. Have a good stream. No worries, Zach. We'll see you next time. Thank you I'm for hanging out. Paladin. Thanks for hanging out. Ugh, dearie me. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so tired. <laughs> but, like, also somehow, like, fulfilled, you know? It's, it's a weird sort of... Weird sort of... <clears throat> Should everything also die? You need to go eat before I pass out. Yes, get some food. My gosh, go eat. I got to play the ever fun game. Is apathy sick or is my body being an asshole? Like I mean both though. I mean both. Stupid flare ups. Agreed. My code is worked. Yay! Awesome. Wonderful to hear it. Yeah, apparently, like, I was... So they've got a partnership program. And I've applied for it, because, like, I've applied in the first couple weeks, because why not? Um, but they assess, like, there are a whole bunch of things, like, you know, evangelize the brand and how many gifts you've received and da 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 And one of them is, like, inviting people to the platform. And I was like... I have lots of codes. I should probably use those, <laughs> but I didn't know how. Like, do I just put it on in, on on the like Twitter and see how it goes? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't. I didn't know how to. Yeah. So I I thought this is a good way to do it. Yeah. Because we do get we do get a decent number of not like loads and loads, but we get a decent enough amount of raids that 
No, who knows? Maybe. Not good at all. Hey, Ali, doing well? How are you? Welcome back. Ah, oh, dearie me. This is such a nice thing to do. Yeah, like it. It's like. I, again, talking about, we were talking before about like winning the lottery or like having a lot of money and stuff like that. And I was saying about how it'd be really nice to, um, to, uh, were the thing, uh, charity stream and be like, oh, we made two grand. I'll match that bonk. And like done, you know, like how awesome that would feel to be able to, to give like that. And I mean, another version of doing that, like if you've got someone who's rated you and, you know, you've given them the throne wishlist thing and they've gone and made themselves a wishlist, there's a few things on there. And then, you know, they come and rate again. And then like after stream, you go follow the thing and you find their wishlist and you buy them something to say thank you or like, you know, do it while they're live because seeing reactions is cute and fun. Um, and just, like being able to just go do that. And like any time I see a GoFundMe pop up in my, my Twitter or whatever, just go through and give them some money. Like... I would love for it to not matter and to be able to do that kind of stuff. And yeah, it just, um, one day, maybe we'll see. First step full time, but we're a bit away from that. So we'll just grind that out. Build the social media. Step, step 0 0.1, <laughs> grow social media. Ah, uh, good, good. Wait, Lotto, I want to win too. You're right, right. How awesome would it be? money to share the love to exactly exactly how like my gosh doing some kind of like uh uh do the ludipraiser challenges doing ludipraiser challenges and being like uh, whoever comes in first gets 50 bucks and and like doing prize you know what i mean like it's uh, most of it's by chance but just kind of going in and having some for well zam would have to be banned but <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or like um, uh, Mario Party, like you know, with with prizes up for grabs and stuff like that. It'd just it'd be so freaking awesome. But um, or you know, when I talk to Logitech and if I get stuff for giveaway, say hey, can I give you them? Can you send me an invoice and I'll pay it so that you can ship it to 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 the UK or something? Just invoice me for the shipping and I'll I'll cover it. Um. Yeah, that'd, that'd be really good. I'd love to be able to do that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, I have some community things. I'd love to invest in money as a thing. Absolutely, you've got to take care of yourself before you take care of others. It's unfortunate, but it's true. There are some things where you can actually, where you can give your time if you don't have the money, but I don't have either. So, <laughs> so that's the thing, but we're working on that. We're working on that. We'll see how we go. Do I have paper? I want to buy my templates for the Alex Straza cosplay. I want to watch Netflix on TV, on the TV in the lounge room, and cut out templates. I just love I'm getting dizzy. Go eat! Oh my god, Lucky, go and put food in your face, please. You can always come back afterwards if you need to. Like, go eat. You're no good to me as a viewer if you passed out. <laughs> go eat. Ah, dear. T to clarify, we love our lurkers. It's totally fine. I just don't want the lurkers to be dead or otherwise unwell. Um, <laughs> going now. Good. Have some tasty noms. Oh, sure. <clears throat> How do you like Mardon? What do, what do you think of Mardon? It's, it's large. <laughs> I wonder how many tunes I have to go. I'm not counting that. Um... Look, we're getting, we're cutting it fine. We might have to, depending on how many we got left, we might have to do some overtime, which you guys are going to be so complaining about, right? You're going to hate that. It's 
zu unserem Kudern. Oh nö. Nee. Oh nö. Nee. The overtime, whatever will we do? Encourage others to sub so good for time. Cough. <laughs> Kidding. Mostly. Look, it's... Honestly, those kind of jokes and stuff, they're fun to make. But also, I... Gosh, I'd like to be full-time. be really nice. Alright, how many tunes do we have left? That guy was huge. Yeah, that's the Shah of Anger. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crap. Um, so that's a minimum of 80 minutes. And a maximum of 160. That's two hours and a bit. I can't... I, I might not be able to finish the 50 tunes. Will you all be very, very angry with me if I don't stream until midnight? I am very tired. <laughs> I do I do need rest. I do need rest. Um Oh, well done. Look at the raid. No, he won't be angry star. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sleepy time soon for fear. <gasps> Excuse me. I can start off with the remaining tunes on Mount Farm Monday. Like that I'm happy to make that compromise if that's what people want. I can finish off the rest of it because it'll still be the same lockout week, which is why I did it on the Wednesday, because if I did it on the Monday and then the Wednesday, the rock lockouts would have reset and it'd all be messy. Um, I can, I can absolutely finish off whatever tunes are left on Monday. That way I've actually done my 50 attempts. 45 minutes might go quickly. It might do. We the thing. So if we've got like 45 minutes to go and Shah spawns on the 10 minute mark for every single one of them, we can get through half of what's left. That's a big if. How pretty is this staff? Can we just ex can we just like acknowledge that this staff is pretty? Thank you. Easy uh, health before anything. Do what you must. Of course, I very much appreciate that. Ah, uh, the rage will consume me if you don't finish. Fear this is sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will finish on Monday. I know, I know it was sarcasm, but how about I do whatever I can up until regular finish time tonight and whatever tunes are left, I'll cap them off on Monday because that way for my own sanity, I've done the 50 as well. I think that's probably going to be the best choice. Not Sunday, because Sunday is for lack. Yes, lack. Um, oh, I think it was Zam that had the uh, Ludopraiser Challenge Wheel of Death, wasn't it? I think there is there. I think there's still a link in the sub chat in Discord, um, because that's coming up on the eighth of May. No, I mean not for a little bit, but um, it's still coming up. Sounds like a healthy choice. Yes, slack. Yes, you have to yourself exactly as much as I can. I'm still not still not doing super good at that, but I'm I'm learning. Um, until so this is sarcasm font or symbol I feel the need to make sure it's clear, of course. You can always do the slash S at the end. Like, I am, I use Reddit. I understand slash S. So that's, uh, but also Kappa. Kappa is like the Twitch symbol for I don't mean this. Um, but, uh, look, it took me an embarrassing amount of time after I started streaming to realize what Kappa actually meant. How do you take care of yourself? Can't imagine though many people will be mad by that choice. Yeah, look. There are, there are definitely people out there who don't think of content creators as humans. Um, like, you know, it's your job to make content for me to consume and blah, blah, blah. Um, like, it's an actual, that's an actual feeling that people have. They get angry when, when a, you know, TV show doesn't come out on time or angry when a game gets delayed or angry when somebody cancels a stream or, or whatever it happens to be. Um, and it is a, it's... Personally, I feel it's quite an immature response. Um, like when it's genuine, obviously when you're shit talking, it's fine. Um, but I think it's an immature response. Not as not immature as an insult, but immature as in a young person who doesn't quite grasp grasp stuff yet. Um, it's the you know there is that there is that age bracket where people don't understand that they're not the center of the universe. Um, and all that kind of, and that's you know it's just it's a stage of development there's nothing necessarily wrong with that 
but there are some people who don't get out of that stage. Some people can't, they don't grow through that. Uh, and some people don't, they genuinely don't see people like me as, as human. Um, especially, especially if it's like a YouTuber or something like that where it's not live. Because it's like, you should have just made a backlog of videos that you could release while you were unwell or whatever. Which, honestly, sort of a fair point. But also, not really. Like, if they skip an upload date, usually there's a bloody good reason for it, because this is their income. Just like, you know, it's it's like taking an unpaid day of leave. You don't want to do that. You only do it when you absolutely bloody have to. So, yeah, it's, um... But, all of that being said, I don't seem to attract those kind of mindsets. <laughs> I've attracted you lot, and you lot are all about that take care of yourselves and be nice to each other, aren't you? Mostly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just another reason why I freaking adore this community. My goods are crafted with great care. <clears throat> uh, not a Redditor. Didn't know about that cap. I uh, didn't know that about cap, but there you go. Fantastic. You've learned two new things today, Mystic. You really can turn your brain off now. It's a, uh, we, I always say, you know, I've learned, you, you learn something new every day. I've learned my new thing. I can turn my brain off. Don't have to learn anything new today. No, anything else, because I'm done. Uh, there are jerks everywhere. There are, but a lot of it, I don't think a lot of it comes from a maliciousness. I genuinely believe that, I, I mean, sometimes I do absolutely get stuck in that pit of trying to, you know, see the best in everyone and all that kind of stuff, which has definitely burned me multiple times in the past. But I do think that it is absolutely a maturity thing sometimes, where they just, that's genuinely how they feel. It's not a hate thing. They don't dislike the person. It's like, what do you mean you're not uploading? But you upload every Tuesday. What do you, what do you mean? There's not, that's not how this works. Plus people who have issues with like, um, the needing consistency in schedule, if someone else messes with that and they don't have the, the upload that they usually watch on a Thursday afternoon, it's not there that day. It can throw everything out of whack. Like there are there are genuine reasons out there for feeling that way. Um, but none of them are particularly good for the creator. Um, the creator needs to put themselves first, regardless of how those people feel about them missing an upload day. Even if it loses them a subscriber, Hydra. you, you got to do it because that's the thing. If you don't skip it, if you push yourself through it, and you don't and you don't take the day off or finish up on time, or whatever, there's a chance that you put yourself out so bad that you can't do it for a week. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, you have to, yeah, it's small cost now to avoid a bigger cost later. Uh, like fast food workers, yeah. Yeah, well, anyone who's casual. Like, it's not just fast food workers, it's literally anybody who's casual. Can, they, they take a day off and they don't get paid. Um... That's why casuals tend to get more money. Um, their pay rate is higher on the same level. If you've got two people working the same job, the same thing, and one of them's permanent part-time, the other one's a casual, the casual gets more money per week. And it's to make up for the fact that they don't get paid leave, at in, like they don't get annual leave, they don't get sick leave, carer's leave, etc., etc. Um, because the idea is that extra 25, at least in Australia, the extra 25% that they earn, they're supposed to put it aside to cover those days where they need to take the time off. Um, but none of them realize that. And so they don't. They just real. They just think, this is my pay rate. The 25% extra is supposed to be covering for the days you have to take off. But um, it's not something that's taught or imparted by parents or, or anything. Or the, the job, it's not the job's, you know, the workplace's responsibility to, to inform them of that. They just know that that's their pay rate. So yeah, they need to educate themselves and understand that you need to take 25% of your bloody pay, right? Your pay. Oh no, it's 25% on top, so it's one fifth. 20% of your pay should be going into savings, minimum. And if you can't afford to do that, then your job should be giving you more hours, or yeah, you get a second job so that you're working the right amount of hours to cover what you need to cover. Uh, but of course it doesn't, it's not always that easy. I'm not telling you just go out and get a job. It's obviously, I know that, but that's how it's supposed to work. Um, anyway, take care of yourself. Health is important. Absolutely, Chaos. Thank you. Hey, I see. You're very welcome, Mystic. Not a worry. Lovely fast food workers. 
Sometimes you use Kappa ironically as with some kind of metaphor identifier. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I make mean, customers thinking fast food workers, not humans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, be more mad if you keep going into the kinky yourself getting mad. I kind of feel sorry for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, look, I'm... I've matured enough that I'm not in that position, but there was absolutely a time in my life that I probably felt like that way. We just didn't really have content creators as a big influence when I was 12, 13, you know? It wasn't really a thing. We had TV. <laughs> um... 20 years ago? Fuck. Uh, so, uh, does it mean I can go back to bed? Of course you can! You can go back to bed whenever you want to, Mystic. Yes! Coffee looks worthy of the hydrate. Ah! Oh, bubble tea, not coffee. Don't like coffee? Bubble tea. Original bubble tea, uh, original milk tea, uh, with pearls, tapioca pearls on the bottom. Delicious, and you can get your own. 5% off, use code Fiamma. It's really fucking toasty. Mm. Mm. And to be honest, my sister who have ADHD can come across uh, like one of those and often get misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's there's all sorts of reasons why that kind of stuff can happen, and like obviously nobody out like if no. <sighs> No external person is responsible for an individual person's response to a situation. Like, you know, a creator, I, like if, if a creator knows that a large chunk of their community is going to have a hard time skip with, with you skipping a day because it's part of their routine and they need it and blah, 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 blah. It's not their responsibility to maintain that for them. They've got to do their own thing. And the person who has, uh, for lack of a better word, the issue needs to learn coping mechanisms. It's, um... Yeah, you can't rely on others to, like, you can't rely entirely on others to fulfill your needs. Uh, it's just, it's a recipe for disaster. Um, you've got to have alternative options. You've got to plan yourself so that if something somewhere goes, um, you, you're you okay to, to go on with something different sort of thing. Um, always have a backup. Always have a backup. Harder for some than others. Absolutely. I know. I think some people feel a sense of ownership or entitlement if they're a sub because they're paying for the content. Not something I agree with, but something I've noticed talking to others. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have had people crack the shits with me because I don't respond to Discord DMs. Uh, and I, I don't often. I do sometimes. Um, so I get... I get a fair few Discord DMs. Not so much recently, um, but a bit like beforehand and it's, it's kind of quietened down a bit because I think everyone realizes now how bloody busy I am but um there was a time where I was getting excuse me tens of DMs a day not hundreds I've never been that big but tens of DMs a day uh and very 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 occasionally very occasionally you'd have someone who's just subbed like a brand new sub um who has DM'd me you know it'll be like hi how are you what are you up to and then hello are you there it says you're online, why aren't you responding? Etc, 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 and it gets more and more aggressive until like, I am a subscriber, how dare you ignore me? And I'm like... No. If someone sends me a DM and I don't... Like, if it's, if it's a question, sometimes I'll be able to do my best to, to answer it. Um, if it's just like a statement, like I, I do occasionally, like especially when I've done like a charity stream on Wednesday, for example, uh, I did get a couple of DMs thanking me for doing that and, you know, a message about somebody that they know or whatever going through it. Um, and so, you know, they didn't, they didn't want to talk about it publicly because they didn't want to have a whole conversation about it, but this is my situation. So thank you for doing what you do. I don't often respond. Sometimes I'll like, I'll do a reaction. Just to acknowledge, like, I've seen this, I appreciate you, here is two seconds of my time that I can spare. And then, do you know what I mean? But, like, oh, you, you can't, you, you just can't. I have my DMs open for anyone who's in the family house, like our Discord, um, simply because I know stuff can kind of go, so th things can happen and sometimes I need to be, told or whatever or if someone feels uncomfortable they can come to me and all that kind of thing 
Um, and I don't think that the server is, la is large enough yet to be warrant not doing that. But one day, maybe, they will absolutely, if it gets to the point where I need it, I will absolutely shut off my DMs and I will set up a mod mailbot that not only I can see, but that all the mods can too. So that it's not just on me to respond to that kind of stuff. And that way it redirects it so that if I am busy, someone else can answer the questions. Um, but if I can, then I can, I can jump in and say hi. But, uh... Yeah, the entitlement to somebody's time because you pay them $2.50 a month, sorry, $2.49, um, is $2.49 US dollars that, uh, that a tier one sub, that's per month. And if I'm doing four weeks times four streams, numlock is on, four weeks times four streams a week times six hours a stream is 96 hours. If I go 2.49 divided by 96 hours, uh, I'm being paid 2.6 cents. 2.6 cents per hour per sub. If you think that entitles you to plenty of my time, I have some news for you. <laughs> like, obviously I'm absolutely gonna engage with you in stream because this is the thing I love about streaming is engaging with my community and chatting and having conversations, but privately, I do not have time. I, I just, I do not have time. Um, but I love doing this though. This is, this is amazing. Um, uh, I, that's like the kind of, that's kind of like the idiots that tell cops I pay your wages. <laughs> Try and save at least 60% of my income. People ask me why I don't live better. This is why, yeah. I uh, was trying to pass a bill, making it a harassment offense to be rude to customer service workers. It's such sad, such laws are necessary. Yeah. Look, it's, unfortunately it gets to that point. Like it's like video games, right? You talk about, um, especially competitive games. Um, I'm going to use League of Legends as an example because it's notoriously toxic chat. Like, like people know it because of the toxic chat. Um, uh, Imagine the situation where you've got someone who, you know, they're working a really difficult job um, and they're not, they're underappreciated, not just underappreciated, but they get yelled at, like actively abused at their workplace. Um, the family aren't super nice to them because they're not as successful as the, the family thought or wanted them to be. Uh, they have a partner and the partner's not super great either. There's some like, maybe, you know, they get along most of the time, but there are some issues with it right now. And they're just, they're so stressed. They're so wound up. They're just, whew, they're not having a good time. Uh, and they come home and they want to play some video games to chill out and relax and their love is League of Legends and so they jump in and, and they play the game and there's someone on the team who they feel is holding them back. Whether or not it's true, it's how they perceive it and their perception, like how you perceive something isn't necessarily wrong, but do you know, you, you get what I mean. That your brain is wrong, but it's but the actual information you're getting is correct as interpreted by your potentially faulty brain. Good. Um, and so they see someone and they're like, yep, we're going to win this game. And then there's this one person who buggers it up. And it's just the straw that breaks the camel's back. And all of the rage and the vitriol and the, the frustration, it all comes out at that person in, in, in the game, in the chat. I guarantee you that's exactly what's happening time and time and time and time and time and time again. It's teenagers who are frustrated with their parents and frustrated with school and frustrated with um, inability to sneak around with their partner and, and get laid or whatever it is, um, if or whatever they decide that they want to do. That any any of those things that they can't do because someone's telling them no, and so they do they they play a game to try to de-stress, and it just makes it worse and it just comes out. Um, obviously, this is not always the case. Some people are just assholes. And it's also not an excuse. It's absolutely not an excuse. There are healthier ways to handle those frustrations and stress. But we stigmatize mental health care. It's a, it's a systemic problem. It's not just, yeah. So like all those, like people have, and it, healthcare is the worst. Healthcare is the absolute worst because not only do you have all these random little stresses for the day, you couldn't find a car park, blah, 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 but also someone you care about is unwell enough to be in a bloody hospital. Those healthcare workers cop the brunt of it because they are dealing every single day with stressed out loved ones who just, they just want to know what's wrong. 
They just want to see their loved one. They want to visually confirm that they're alive and that they're okay. They want to talk to them and ask them if they're okay. And you bloody hell, you're standing in my way. Like, I cannot imagine. Like, my mom's a nurse. She dealt with it on the daily, on the daily. And she just said, you know, you're dealing with people at their worst, not just the people who are sick, but the people whose loved ones are sick are even worse. And it's, yeah, all of that kind of stuff builds up. I really, I wish that we didn't have to pass those kind of laws. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, and I hope that one day mental health care is acceptable enough that people lash out and then kind of, I'm sorry, I'm very, very stressed. I, I just, this is what I need. How do I get that? Give me the instructions. And not, not necessarily nice, but at least polite and civil and like, yeah, that would be, that would be nice. I mean, I've had my moments. I've yelled down the phone at customer service people. I've sworn and then gone, I'm so sorry. I'm not swearing at you. I'm swearing at the situation, but I still shouldn't have done it. Please help me. And usually after that, they're pretty damn helpful. But uh, yeah, it's uh, if they can be. Sometimes they just genuinely can't be, and that's it's an issue for another day. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, sometimes life is rough. Hey, ah, is this another? This must be another. Um, what's it? Ah, so you take care of yourself. Drinking helps you. Yeah, I know. I know. I need to. I've got some hydrates. I'll do them in a second. I'm gonna get myself there, and then we'll. Get myself to Shah and then we'll do the drinky drinks. Put down great segue into plug. Had to wait until bubble tea shipped to the UK. They're working actively on it. Their latest, um, I, their latest investor email um, said that they've partnered with a couple of companies um, who have done this before, so that they can actually work on putting a structure into place to do it. Um, what they're looking, it's not a cost thing. I mean, part of it's a cost thing um, in terms of like because bubble tea stuff, like the syrups, they're heavy. Tea's not. The syrups are quite heavy. Um, so trying to keep shipping affordable is something that they're looking at. And also traveling. Um, the White Pearls have had issues traveling from Melbourne to Queensland. Um, we've gotten two tubs now with mold in them uh, because of like just the, the, the method that they're coming here somehow isn't it, anywhere else in the country. It's been fine. But in Queensland, there's just something not right. Something's causing them to, to not be good. Um, so like if it can't, if it, if it's having issues getting to Queensland occasionally, they need to make sure like, how are they going to get it to the UK? Okay. Um, do they just not offer that particular product to ship to the UK or like, how do they go about it? Um, so yeah, there are, there are more than just the, there are more issues than we thought, but that's okay. They're, they're working on it. They're working on it. Yeah, my understanding. Yes, not yet, not yet. Um, Australia, New Zealand, US, Canada. Those, those four. At the moment. Ah, uh, Bubble Tea Club in UK, if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, really? They go. Percent from Seeker. Ah, uh, see what I can find off that. Thanks. Um, the other thing is we can also work with you to figure out how to like butcher it, make it, make your own, like. There are certain ingredients that we were talking about making sugar-free ones the other day for like diabetics and stuff like that by getting like the tea and then doing this and this and this. Obviously you can't get any of the supplies from Bubble Tea Club, but I reckon we could probably finagle some stuff, like figure it out. Parasocial relationships, Eep. Yeah, it's like, you're not paying me to be your friend. You're paying me to entertain you. It's a little bit different. Uh, Litter, absolute. Uh, DNC, Elytria, Jimmy, and Trig, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And in we go for our final cataclysm. Look. Just check where I'm at. Yeah, we're good. Oh. I'm uh, a subscriber. I obviously, I deserve VIP treatment. How dare you ignore me? Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, look. It's a, it's a... I would say you'd be surprised by some of the stuff I get, but, um... You probably, you probably wouldn't be. 
Uh, did you see the new trailer for next expansion? Yes, it was, uh, was that two weeks ago? No, one week, one and a half weeks ago. Yes, absolutely. I watched, I, I watched it live. Well, it wasn't, it was pre-recorded, but I was, I, yes, good. <laughs> I did. If someone mistakenly thinks your account has been compromised when it hasn't, uh, it would never happen. I expect a lot for my 2.6 cents. Not. Those cheap bastards feel so entitled. That's a crap wage. It is. It is. But that's from one sub. You gotta keep that in mind. That's from one tier one sub. Uh, we're currently sitting on 158. Um, but of course that's not the only income I get from Twitch either. And some of them are not tier one. And it's like, yeah, it's all... You are in for a treat. It's better than it sounds once you get kind of, once, once you get going. But, um, it takes a lot of work to get going. 11.99 AED a month in case you wanted to know another currency. There you go. Fantastic. All right, I'm in war mode. Luckily, there's no one else here. Um, ends up being 3.26 USD, 2.6 you owe me at least 0.003 seconds of your time and I demand you pay it. I do. If you send me a DM, I react. <laughs> if if I think it's worthy of. Uh, I would not be eating them today. She lies to herself. That was probably about chocolate. Um, or chips. Here I am struggling to write DM people since I don't want to take their time. Look, there's there's absolutely reasons to do so. Um, but most of the time, most of the time it works just as well uh, to say it to like to say something publicly in a in a discord server um obviously there are some things that people don't want to share publicly like for example when when i got those dms after the pancreatic cancer research uh, the uh, fundraising stream um if someone didn't want to share their story publicly but they also wanted to explain to me why it was so important to me and why they were so thankful i was doing something they did that in private but that doesn't require a response um you know just react with a fiamma hug and that's kind of that in, that encapsulates entirely what i would have said anyway uh, as long as people are okay with that being a response then everything's fine everything's peach again um it's just the people who kind of expect that you'll write pages back to them like if they ask you a a, a question and and demand you know super in-depth answers and all this kind of stuff like um, I've had DMs from people asking me to take a look at their Twitch channel um, to, you know, give them advice and tips and stuff like that. And I'm like, I just don't respond. I don't have time. And going back and saying no is like, it's probably better for me to not respond than for me to say no. Uh, and, ch and usually, usually when people don't get a response to something, um, they'll jump into chat and say, oh, did you see my DM? I'm like, uh, probably, but I get a lot of DMs. I'm really sorry. What, what was it about? And then they'll ask the same bloody question in chat and then I can answer it here. And not only does that like actually come in on my like paid time, if that were, as it were, but it also helps potentially tons of other people in chat. Like it's so much more effective rather than sending these DMs to all these individual people. Talking about it here, much more appropriate. In my opinion, at least, everyone's going to be different, uh, and there are some streamers who have like, um, uh, like a service that they offer, like they have a Patreon or whatever, and if you, uh, or, or a, a coffee or something like that, and you can purchase like thirty minutes of one-on-one -on -one time in a voice call to to look at your stuff or something like that, um, which is fantastic for them because they actually then they get paid for the work that they're doing. You know, that's that's awesome. Um, I don't have the time to offer to do that. If I did. Maybe I would, because it's actually really fun helping people. And then, you know, not only would they get a bit of advice from me, but chances are I'll pick up some ideas from them. Benefits for everybody. But I don't have the time. Um, uh, healthcare equals Umbrella Corp, but necessary, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know, in Australia it's pretty good. Um, well, with Medicare and everything. Uh, here to cheer you up. Hey, hello, gold. Brilliant. Hope you're having a fantastic night. Ah, uh, to prove the point, mod actively pests the streamer to do a thing. Yeah, look. <laughs> look. Um, did we do that battle? We did. Good. That's how far behind I am. Um, well done, Zam. 
Baltico need AUD to hold up on their trade deal. We now have and send us a load of Tim Tams. I have no idea what I do with Tim Tam is, but I want to try. They're delicious. They're kind of like penguins, but better. Ah, uh, Tim Tams are so good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so Tim Tams are like penguins with more chocolate on them. The chocolate to ratio, the chocolate to biscuit ratio is a lot better. Like a lot better. Um. Look at one's the best. Taco Men. Oh, it's not AD. Ah, gotcha. They sound so good. They are good. They're really, really good. Sub notification didn't come up. Huh? Ah. It hasn't come up in my notifications list either. Um. Let me. Let me restart this and maybe that will. That's super odd. It didn't. It didn't come up in chat or anything at all, did it? Um, that's odd. That's super odd. I wonder if maybe the like payment thing. Maybe the payment hasn't quite gone through yet, and so it's given you the badge, but it hasn't popped the button or. I'm very confused by that cookie. Thank you for pointing it out. But thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Conversation, sensible conversation. Engagement and sensible conversation here, I'll support. Well. Look, there we go. Thank you for the sub. And it's a resub too. Nope, reloading and it's come up. <laughs> Perfection. Brilliant. Six months. New sub badge for you too. Enjoy. Enjoy. Much appreciated. Thank you. Takes notes. Also, hand back eating soup. Delicious. What kind of soup? Okay, for not passing out. Self care. Yeah. See what though? It's disheartening to not hear back from folks, but it's an unfortunate reality we have to navigate. Yes, it is. Especially when it's like on a platform like that, where it, you know what I mean? Like it's it's a public social media thing. Like it's my it's my social media presence as a business person kind of thing. Like, yeah, it's. It is really, and I, I absolutely recognize that, you know, sometimes that's what's, you know, a thing, but it's just too hard. It's, it's just too hard. And the, the bigger the influencer, the more difficult it's going to be to respond to people. Um, when I was smaller, like my first handful of subs, I'd get DMs from them almost daily and they'd be like, and I'd, I'd DM back like eight hours later and they'd instantly respond again, asking another question. Like they, they, like they were trying to keep up the conversation sort of thing. And I like, I, I, I can't do that. And back then I could to an extent, but I can't now. I absolutely can't. Um, there's no way in hell I'd be able to do that. It's just too much. Um, we do have sub chat in discord. There's like a, there's a, there's a channel that only subs can access only active subs with their discord and Twitch linked. Like you need to go into your Discord settings and link your Twitch account and then it'll refresh and allow you access to that channel if you've got it, um, if you're a sub. Uh, but it's like, that's probably, I'm pretty, like, I mean, okay, the channel is not super, 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 super active, but I definitely do my absolute best to engage in there. Um, and of course, I, I I lurk in my own bloody Discord. I read every single message except the stuff in spoilers. The mods handle that. Um, but I, apart from that, like every other channel, I read every every single message. Um, I just don't respond to all of them because sometimes by the time I read them, they've already been responded to, and I, my input isn't needed. Um, uh, sometimes I just do a react because it's a hell of a, like it doesn't necessarily need any more than that. Like I'm I'm quite a I'm quite an efficient communicator at times <laughs> when I'm when I'm not just yammering like this, uh, but yeah, it's it's a whole different ball game. It re it really is. It is unimaginably difficult to have a personal contact with X number of people. It just oh god, oh god. You know, it just can't. It just can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. Uh, gonna be cup of honey tea, giant bottle of water to go in the soup. Delicious. Have to mix the honey in the tea, not drink the tea after necking the honey. Look. <laughs> There's a clip of that. Um, poor thing, but he injured herself with it. I, I absolutely did injure myself with it. Uh, 
and godly humanity and that honey and the tea itself i agree i was like yeah i don't need to dissolve this how about i just do like a shot of it and so i kind of you know ah no it stung it burned like fire burned like fire in my throat it was so bad um uh, nice new twitch works really well <laughs> if I DM someone saying thank you, letting them know my thoughts about a stream, etc., I try to write it so they don't feel they have to respond. More than me letting them know how I'd made them how made me feel. Yeah, I that's like perfect. Perfect. If you want to drop someone like a, a good job kind of thing, right? Totally okay. I get the like when I when I post my story and I go live on uh, like when I post my story on Instagram that I'm going live, I get a ton of message reacts, and a lot of the time it's like you know the the the, the, the um. You know, the triangular thing with the streamers? Yeah, um, one of those things. Or it's like a, a heart or a smiley face. Just react to that. And I'll go in and I'll double tap them to say like, you know, I'll, I'll like the react. I know it's it's the conversations we bloody have in this day and age with fucking social media. But that, I feel like that's enough. Like, I don't, I don't think it warrants like a thank you so much or I hope you enjoyed the stream or like I mean maybe one day when I've got a social media manager and they have the time to sit there and reply to those I don't <laughs> like so you know just a double tap is kind of and but even then sometimes I miss some because there's just too much uh it's a vegetable soup yum should the recipe before in discord so the slow cooker before stream piping hot delicious probably good for the self-care too hearty and nourishing absolutely um Yes, want to support Fia? Follow on social media. Following is a free way to support content creators and it makes a huge difference to them. I know it's ridiculous, right? Uh, we did recently hit 1K, but we cannot stop there. We must continue to grow so that the algorithm continues to like me and doesn't put me in the naughty corner. Um, <laughs> it also allows, obviously the algorithm allows for increased visibility, which allows for more growth, which allows for more sponsorships. And what do sponsorships do? Pay the bills. Um, but yeah, there's a link there, the all my links. Uh, you can type so exclamation socials into chat or you can scroll down underneath the video player and there's the about Fiamma banner. And to the right, there's my links. There's a Twitter and there's an Insta and then there's the rest of them in like one link. The Like it's like a link tree, but it's called all my links. Honestly, really like the way you engage in these kind of conversations. Friendly vibe is exactly what to emulate. Aww. Yay. So, no, I'm so sorry that happened. It was It was hilarious. It resulted in a fantastic clip. How can I complain about that? Uh, now that she's survived and got more followers for it, maybe a good trade-off as a once-off. Still not good in the moment. Yeah, look. Steak with Japanese curry. Ooh, yum. Delicious. So good. But look, um, the interacting with everyone thing was definitely easier three years ago. <laughs> there are more of you, which is phenomenal. And I know there are more of you because I'm so interactive. But it does make that more difficult. Um, I know one day it's going to get to the point where... It's, I mean, I hope one day it gets to the point that there are so many of you that it's even more difficult to keep up. But that's a really important hole for moderators to fill. And can I just say, like, Seek has been here for, what, two minutes? And has been doing a baller job of it, my god. But, like, that whole, you know, greeting people as they come in, in case I'm behind, giving quick answers to quick questions, um, all that kind of stuff, those, those levels of engagement as well. Uh, super super helpful um, because yeah it does it does get to the point where I'm 15 minutes behind on chat and I'm like nah, and I have to quickly like do, 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 try to give like one of the you know I, I always say when you're starting out streaming practice turning a three word answer into a 10 minute rant just in case chat's dead right I'm now getting to the point where I'm having to learn that it is okay to go back to a two word answer. And it's a lot harder than I, after training myself for six bloody years to rant. Do you know how hard it is to summarize? <laughs> it's not easy. It is difficult. The Instagram link is shaking. Yes, yeah, if you go to the all my links, the Instagram link wobbles to be like, click me, click me. It's so good. It's hilarious. There's more of you, but there's still only one fear. Yep. Yep, that's exactly it, Fancy. All my mods are the best they are, aren't they? I'm, oh. I mean, like I say about how much I love my community and how happy I am to have gotten, like how, how happy I am to have attracted you guys as my community. Uh, but same bloody thing goes for my mods. Holy shit. Uh, 
I've like, we've really done, and it wasn't just me. So um, early on, there were a couple of people who kind of stuck their hand up and like, hey, you, you seem like you need help. Would you like me to help? And I'm like, yes, please. And a couple of them are stuck with me, like Jas and Kiwi and Rump. But then as we kind of kept going, we didn't feel like we needed more mods because we, we had a really good handle on it because the community is so awesome. But then as we have grown, you know, like, Rump is on the other side of the planet and he can't be here for most streams. Um, Kiwi has some real life stuff. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. But he has real life commitments that he needs to attend to and so he's not here very often either. And then there's Jas, and of course Jas is here a lot of the time, but he often misses the start of stream because of his commute home. And then he often misses chunks because of raid. So, like, once uh, when I was put on the launcher, once Blizzard uh, approached me and asked to put me on the launcher, uh, one of the things that they recommended was bringing on more moderators because, not because of, it was like general, here are bullet points we give to everyone kind of thing, but the big thing was more mods. Uh, and so we did grab a few people and uh, and Sheba has stuck with us through that. And so Sheba's now, uh, we, we've, got, we've got two mod only channels. Well, there's a few more, but the you know different anyway we've got two main mod channels we've got like mod chat and then we've got boss mods and um we implemented that like structure when we brought those extra mods on at the start of the the launcher thing because um in boss mod stuff i talk about like opportunities that have come up for me and i ask for advice around money things and um just all sorts of like actual like affect the stream sort of decisions like really big sticky questions and stuff and I remember when we made, when we popped Sheba up to boss mod and the first time I asked something, she was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like, it's fine. You'll, you'll figure it out. Uh, and now when I ask something, Sheba has thoughts and opinions and he gives them and it's amazing. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, you grow and you learn. Uh, and now of course, Seeker is the newest moderator on our team. Mods make or break a stream. 100%. If you've got a good mod team, you can do pretty much anything. It's like, they are such an important part of, of everything. Such an important part. And um, so yeah, we have uh, like boss mods, which is now uh, Rump and Kiwi and Jas and Shiba. And of course myself, I think that's it. Now that I say that. And the bots, <laughs> and the bots. The bots are also in those channels. Um, and then, yeah, we've got mod chat where it's more, um, uh, there are sneaky peekies on stuff. Like for example, so if I'm, if I've gotten an email with a note, with a, an offer to like, a, like potential sponsorship or something like that, and they've asked me for rates, I jump into boss mods and have that conversation and be like, what the fuck am I doing? Um, and then once I go back and do that, and once they say, yes, okay, that's when I'd go to mod chat and be like, guess what's coming up? Guess what I'm announcing next stream? And I give them like the sneaky peek and stuff. And we also converse in there about uh, things that might've happened in chat if people have done the thing or, or if there was a, if there's a person that they're keeping an eye on during a particular stream, they might con converse about that in there um, and help on, on dashboard stuff like we were doing with Seeker before. Um, all that kind of like general moderation stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, so it's, it, it's, I think I, I really like the structure we have and without them, I'd be nothing, honestly. I would have been overrun with requests for feet pics and I would have had to evacuate the platform. So <laughs> ah, dear. Um... Right, true oh, socials, Instagram link is shaking. Yes, more of you, but there's still only one fear. Yeah, but the, yeah, and I think that was what triggered the conversation about the mods being, they're not me, but they're certainly a good um, help in, in stretching me a little bit further. Uh, mods are the best, agreed. I've talked more of these four streams than I have in like the last few months, good. Yeah, it, your throat will get used to it. Just seriously stay hydrated, honest to God. Pop in a hydro, I mean, Obviously, once you when you're starting out, the hydrate redemption isn't super 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 useful because if you have fewer people, then there's not going to be as many redemptions. Uh, but making sure that you drink lots every time you feel a natural pause in your sentence, have a mouthful. Like if you're and if you're like reading like the next message, 
hasn't made a difference, needs to summarize and goes on a rant, classic, yeah. So while you're reading the next message or two and planning out how you're going to respond, have a mouthful. It helps a lot. Um, so I probably sound like I'm rambling half the time. Honey, have you met me? <laughs> and I probably sound ridiculous, really proud, proud of how far I've come with severe social anxiety. Helps when you can't see the faces. When it's just text on a screen. I mean, the first the first few times, like the first year or so, you're really conscious of like, I am on a camera and all that. But then by the end of it, you're just like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, it's hilarious. I'm going to tick off that hydrate because I just did it too. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, that's right. There we go. Uh, absolutely do not sound like you're rambling. Uh, if this is the thing that helps make real thing make things real world easily incrementally, it's wonderful. Excuse me. Without going into it, absolutely know where you're coming from. Well done, I'm pushing yourself outside the box. That's hard. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Um, I'm popping to have a chat. Yes. Brilliant. Uh, so I let myself be proud of the little steps. It takes practice, but you'll get there. I, I was the same. I was like, it doesn't matter how much progress I've made. It's not done yet. But yeah, it, it took quite a bit of time to do the whole baby steps thing. But once you get there, oh fuck, it's a bloody good feeling. It's it's really, really good. It's worth, it's worth working at. Um, really like when you pull back the curtain a bit on how this whole Twitch thing works. Good, I'm so glad. It has been suggested to me that I should make a Patreon about it um, in order to get more money. Like bluntly, because I need to pay my bills. Um, so <laughs> It, it has been suggested that, like, you know, if someone says something on here that prompts a rant, that I, I cut the rant short on Twitch and then, ex you know, take that clip and then play it and then attach, like, a five-minute rant after it and then put that on Patreon for extra money. Um, but, oh, I don't know how I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's a thought. It's, it's a thought there in case it's needed. Um, always good to have expansion ideas if you have to, like, in case you need them. Oh, so just clever. I've been wondering how to do it. My brain focuses on one thing at a time. Uh, drink and, yeah, look, drinking and reading is two things. Practice. Practice it. Like, literally grab a book and, like, open it up and take a drink while you're reading the first sentence or two. And just practice. Practice reading and comprehending as you drink. Um, it's like the Shahs and fears the Yashash, but in a good way. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll go with that. Let's take it. Look forward to it. using panic attacks, breakdowns, even having voice chats on Discord, engaging with people. It's communities like this that made a possibility. Yay! Not to get too sappy. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, that's really sweet. I'm, I'm happy I can help, you know, like helping and connection are two really, really big things. And the, the fact that, you know, having this connection here has helped you work towards overcoming something. Even if you haven't overcome it yet, you're still working towards it. That's that's a huge thing in my books. Oh! Shit, 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 shit. I'm not gonna get there. No. God damn it! If I hadn't have set my half, I would have been there. It's okay. I made my choice. It's 10. We're starting early. I do have it set that way. You, I might have to reset it. Well, that plays. Oh, Lucky, do you have stream readers? Bob was hilarious. 
It's what I used to do all the time, and then I kind of stopped because I just sort of did the thing instead. Uh, I played another ability to run my own as me and have no idea how it works. Um, you need to sign up as a captain. Um, and you have like a viewer account and a captain account, but it will help with exposure because people will look for smaller battles to place their units in because if they do that and then come sit in your chat, they're more likely to get the bonus shit at the end because you have to be in the battle and you have to, yeah. So the smaller streamers, they're more likely to get that and it adds like your, your view account will go up and all that kind of fun stuff. It's honestly, it's bloody good for engagement. My my viewers, even though I was sitting on a pretty healthy plat, like I was sitting at a pretty healthy stage with, with my viewers when I started playing Stream Raiders, I still saw a jump and smaller streamers see even more of a jump. Um, so if it's something that you do want to grow, keep in mind that they're not often active in chat. Usually they'll be lurking, but it's better than nothing. Congratulations to Mizuma, Hypocrisy, Absolute, Zam, Ali, Trig, Loza, and the other Ali. Eletria and Ali got you. Both got bonus shit. Congratulations to you all. Well done. Um. Ba, 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 Um. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go here. Na 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 na. Do not play sound. Good. Okay. Uh, all right. We're gonna go here. Ah, uh, Wilhelm scream. Yep. Correct. Sips water, rocks out. Yep. Ah, uh, good. All right. Thank you so much everyone for being here. We're gonna jump over here and we're gonna do this one because today is the last stream of April. What? I know, it's unbelievable. But this is what we've got coming up for May. On Sunday, we have Transmog Hunting and Ludibrazer Challenges. Get those add-ons installed, exclamation LAC in chat. We'll give you all the deets you need to get going to join us on Sunday. Recommend you do it before Sunday so it's not malfunctioning. Mount Farm Monday on Monday, we're going to finish off the tunes. I'm going to make a note of which one that I'm up to and we'll go from there. Uh, Wednesday, I'm actually going to have a day off because I bloody need it. So I'm going to. Uh, and then Friday, this time next week, BC time walking, baby. There may be some changes to the schedule. Don't get like too attached to it. There may be some changes, but I don't know what they are or where they're going yet. But I know there may be some. So keep an eye on it. I will update it in Discord if I need to. They'll be on the socials, all the fun stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because come on, please. So what I got on, I'm just, I've been, I've been talking so much about this. If you don't, I'll be very sad. Um, Poka Poka ruined my tame. Oh, apathy, oh no. This stream, you're very welcome, Lucky. Very welcome. Thank you again for the raid. Uh, alrighty. Speaking of raids. Grab your copy paste if you do not have the. If you don't have the. Ah, oh, seeker, I'm just gonna let you do it for now. Um, you know you can start raids as well. Fun fact. Don't do it midstream or I'll be very sad. Uh, <laughs> grab your copy paste if you don't have the Fiyama Hype emote, either because you're not a subscriber or because you haven't uh, unlocked it using your channel points just yet. Both of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message. Delete Fiyama Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it into Closure's chat when we get there. Uh, I'm going to see you on Sunday for transmog stuff and things. Mm. Uh, we're going to do Cathedral, and it's going to suck. Like, literally nothing but Cathedral the whole day. It's... I'm. You know what? Maybe we set a Ludipraiser time. No, I can't, because if I switch, it cancels out. It's fine. Um... Whatever, it'll be fine. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you on Sunday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys. Spooky Town!